Hey guys, the name's something brief, but call me nothing. And today is the special girlfriend episode for Judgment. This has been a long time coming, that's for sure. But we're about ready now to tackle all of the potential waifu material that we have in our contact here. Alongside that though, I want to say that I will be doing a few friendship events and side cases because a few has popped up. Well, friendship events mostly, but once we finish those, we'll have our side cases too. So we have one here. We have to finish up the massage girl from Kans Kansai. And then probably after that, we can finish up Yosuke and Madoka too. With that being said, I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna go over to Dyson Cube real quick and give me some more money to use for the girlfriend event. Because I will need a lot of it. And of course, Renji here is in the way of Dyson Cube. But at the same time, this is also a re-record because I tried to do this last night, but Thunderstorm, Power Cottage, and Reptus of Recordings. So, yeah. The crazy thing about it too is that moments before it happened, it was- the thundering was starting to get really bad and it was making me very. And I was like, maybe I should stop recording just in case. And I did. And then five seconds later, no joke, the power went out. So even though I did stop the recording, it didn't have enough time to actually process and save properly. So that's the only thing about it. But despite me being relieved that nothing happened. Ow! Ow! Despite me being relieved thinking that nothing happened. Something did happen. So now I've changed the way that I record things just in general. So now hopefully nothing like that will happen again. Yeah, so this new format should be good for... Whatchamacallit? Preventing corruption from improper... I guess shutdown of the program? That's one way to put it. So yeah. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in a bit. Nuncho! Oh my god! Wait! Your name! Your outfit! Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe it. This happens again. Oh! Okay. That didn't happen before though. Wait, there we go. Okay, we now have 4 million yen, and that's about to disappear just as quickly. Or rather, much more quickly than it took me to get it. Oh no, here's a gun. <sighs> Man, this isn't about to be a repeat of last time, is it? Well, I'm not going to know if they have a gun or not, but either way, I'm just going to run. Alright, the reason why is that I want to go to a popo so I can get some, whatchamacallit, some hug bombs and get some experience. So, let me see. Let's make some growth extracts. And then... Oh, wait, we haven't uh, gotten any yet, so... Buy some hug bombs. Now drink our extract. Where is it? Here it is. Then drink our hug bomb. Now is that all of it? It was. So now we have 6,000 to work with. Okay. Um... Oh yeah, since we're about to do the girlfriend stuff, let's uh, do this. Get the upgrades for all of the stuff. Oh! Get this too. I don't think I got this. Oh yeah, here it is. The upgrade lowers the speed of the dice roll during dicing cube. Yeah, that would be nice earlier, but you know what? It's fine. Okay. So does that mean I have six now of everything? Whoa. Wait. Okay. So let's need to buy one of everything again. Ooh. Okay, so I wanna check. So I have 4,900 right now. And after drinking the hug bombs with the growth extract, which I now have six of, uh, that'll give. What was it? I said 4,900? Okay! That's 41. No, 5,100 just about that I got in total. Nice! 
Now, I'm still quite a ways away from getting any of these. And I don't want to use all of my money to get experience quite yet because I'm trying to use that money to buy gifts for the girlfriend stuff. Um, I was going to get something else too. I forgot what it was. Oh, it was this. Bottomless stomach. So I'm going to have something to do while I wait for messages to refresh and all that. Uh, so I can see myself going back to this pretty soon. Let me get more dice to work with. And yeah. So it's time to get some X boost upgrades too. And with that, we should be good to go. Let me go ahead and start messaging Sana and get started with all of these little stories. Okay. Yagami-san, this is Sana Mihama. Thank you so much for the other day. You really cheered me up, you know? Hmm. I'll go for this. I'll cheer you up anytime, Sana-chan. The show must go on. Oh yeah, actually, I should just go for all the stuff that I chose the first time around, too. <laughs> then I won't let you down. Hope you'll come sing, uh, come hear me sing again soon. There we go. Doesn't mean she's there already? She is, okay. So, actually, let me go this way. And go see Sana sing. Alright, here she is. So the order that I'll do these girls in is, will be by the order that we met them. So Sana, Tsukino, or rather the f that we finished their storyline. So Sana, Nanami, Tsukino, and then Amane. Hey Yangemi-san, did you come watch me sing? Yes. Uh. Of course. You gotta stay current on the latest Sana-chan hits, you know? <laughs> Aw, that makes me feel really special. Then I'll put a little more oomph into my performance today. Just for you. Man, why does he get out of special treatment, huh? My heart roars with the flames of jealousy. Or maybe it's just my heartburn. <laughs> Sana-chan looks so happy. Wish she'd look that way for me. <laughs> well, here we go. But okay. A message? Uh... Yagami-san, did you know there are some videos of me online? Well, I do now. Did you upload those yourself? Yes, I have been. Even before I came to Kamurocho, I would upload videos here and there in hopes that more people would hear my music. Dang, I had no idea. And you're still doing that now? Well, I kinda stopped ever since I moved into town. But, the other stuff has gotten a lot of hits lately. Big enough for a talent agency to contact me. They said they wanted to meet up in person. Um, hmm. I chose this last time. I'm glad you're finally coming up in the music scene, but still. I get worried sometimes. Aw, you're actually worried about me? That's so cute. Well, I've heard good things about this place, so I don't think last time it's going to repeat itself. I am a little nervous, though. Um... I feel you. I understand, given everything you suffered through already. Even so, I still want to give them a try. Hope it goes well. Hey, hey! Oh yeah, another thing too with all the girlfriend stuff is that... At the very end of all of their little storylines, there will be like a final scene where you get to choose whether to make things official with them or not. So, spoiler alert, I guess. <laughs> but I'll be holding off on all of that until everybody gets to that point, so that way I can show you guys kind of like my rankings for them, quote unquote. And what I think about them. And we'll see whether or not they'll be the same as they were the first time that I played this game. So yeah. I just got a dirty cloth from him, and it's time to buy one of everything if I can. Yep, I can. Is Bakami time playing over the speakers? Uh, no, not this time. Uh, if anything, that's the biggest thing that I'm sad about from losing with the corrupted recordings. My reaction to hearing Bakami time over the speakers. Uh, and I mean, of course, that and... 
the hours of voice acting that I did for all these characters, but you know what? That's fine. I'll happily do it again. <laughs> While we're waiting, actually, I want to ask you guys. Who do you think I chose the first time that I played this game? And do you think it's going to stay the same, or do you think it'll change? Well, you can't really answer that one, can you? So instead, it would make more sense to ask, who do you think I chose for my first playthrough? And who do you think I'm going to choose for this playthrough? Oh, hi, Sana. Uh, so let's see. Um, if it's not too much trouble, can I ask you something? What's up? Is there any chance we can meet up? I'd like to thank you for the other day. Sounds good. And I actually wanted to see you too. What? Really? Yeah, I've been wanting to talk to you again. That's sweet! Where should we meet then? How does Theater Square sound? It's kind of by Kamuro Theater. Cool! Can't wait! Alright. I'm way ahead of you, Yagami. Yeah, and tutorial prompts. <laughs> um, okay, so who's over here for this friendship event? Oh, it's Tashiro-kun. Okay. Speaking of which, do I still have his disguise? Um, I do. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. Uh, alright, let's go down to Theater Square and meet up with Sana-chan before it gets you a fight. Okay, so we just need to wait here for Sana. There she is. Yagami -san. Hey, did I keep you waiting? Not at all. I actually just got here. Go! Thanks for coming on such short notice. Oh, oh yeah, right. Thanks for inviting me. Glad we can finally hang out. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Alright, what should I give her? Um, let's give her this. A white sweater and black jacket give this outfit a mix of cute and cool. I actually have a present for you. What? Really? Here. Wow! A racing jacket? Oh, but... Hmm? You don't like it? No, oh, no. I'm overjoyed. It's just... If I wear this with you, wouldn't we kind of match? No. Oh, good point. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> Which is true. It's like that black jacket with the white shirt and then the red skirt instead of pants. We'd look like a real couple. It'd be good to wear this on a date, wouldn't it? Y yeah Matching outfits are... cute, I guess. You can now ask Zanabihama to wear the racing jacket outfit on dates. I will look at the what the other outfits yet until we get there. Anywhere you want to go in particular? Well, since I've lived in the country my whole life, I've never really got the chance to see the big city. Honestly, I just want to go somewhere fun. Release all that built up tension, you know? Hmm. What would be a good idea for us? Alright, let's go in the same order that I did last time. You ever played darts before? Hi. Of course! My friends and I play all the time! Cool. Then why don't we head on over? Alright, Sana-chan. Show, show me what you got. <laughs> <laughs> to tell the truth, I'm actually really good. Ready to lose? Oh. I... No, 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 no. Sticky day. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, it's like here. It plays here too. Alright, that's enough of that. I already did that for April Fools anyway. Uh, okay. Oh, I don't think I'll be losing anytime soon. Sounds like you're pretty sure of yourself. Then show me what you got. Okay, but I won't hold anything back. <laughs> Bring it on! Okay. Wait, no, 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 no. Why would I use that one? I want to have this. Miracle darts. Yagami-san, shoubu desu! Huh? Okay. So how, how does this work? Oh, it does not sway, like, much at all. Oh, and the sweet spot is so big. 
Yes. No, how nice of you to just magically teleport to where my cursor was. Thank you. Uh. Yes. Ton eighty. Alright, it's Sana's turn. Now she really good with. Alright, triple four. Low value, but hard to hit. Bullseye. Oh, wow. Not bad. It's too bad you're about to lose, though. Alright, what's the winning ticket here? Bull, triple 17, single 20. Okay, I can do that. Uh, right and snap dab in the middle, if I can. Uh... There we go. Dart out. Oh, you totally destroyed me. You're way too strong. Heh. <laughs> if you want to win against me, you're gonna need a lot more practice. Hmm. <laughs> you just wait till next time. Victory will be mine. I'm having a blast so far. Do you want to sit and catch your breath for a bit? Maybe? That would be good. I am getting a little tired. Alright, time to just chit chat. So, what should we talk about here? I think I started with this one over here. Sana-chan, do you have any hobbies? Mm. Other than music? Well, let's see. I would say cooking. Now that's a helpful hobby. Any secret recipes you're willing to share? Yeah. Huh, I wish. I can really make it simple stuff. Like curry. Mmm, there we go. I'm actually pretty big on curry. Good, because curry is one of my all-time favorites. I've been trying to recreate my mom's curry from scratch. You'd know why if you tried it. It's the best there is. How's that coming along? <sighs> Honestly, I can't seem to get it right at all. So I decided to go off on my own little venture. Like using more traditional ingredients, or experimenting with different spices, for example. Huh. Eh, sounds like someone really knows her curry. <laughs> so, what are your hobbies, Yakumi-san? Uh, probably fighting, no. <laughs> uh, I chose this one last time. Coming up with cheap recipes, coming up with cheap recipes, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can cook too. Yeah, my basic cooking strategy is to think up the most filling, delicious, and cost-effective dishes imaginable. Mm -hmm. Ah, now that's an idea. I don't have much money myself, so please do elaborate. Sure. Let me think of an example. Uh. I actually chose all of this because you're allowed to. <laughs> How about a tenkasu bowl? Trust me, it's not as it's not as bad as it sounds. Mm -hmm. Tenkasu? You mean those crunchy little tempura flakes? Precisely. If you want the tempura bowl flavor without the tempura bowl price, all you need to do is top off a bowl of typo. Wow. Top off a bowl of rice with tenkasu, add your soy sauce, and you're done. The nice thing is, tenkasu is really cheap, sometimes even free. Though I guess it's not very nutritious, huh? Mm. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to try that anytime soon. Got any other recipes for me? This one was really funny. I was laughing so hard while I was reading this. Well, this isn't really something I recommend, but... Mm -hmm. But? Go on. Bring a plain onigiri to a department store, then eat it while trying out all the different food samples they have. As long as you don't mind the risk of getting caught or throwing away your dignity, you can you, you can get real full this way. It's so funny the second time. Um, you're not being serious, are you? Heh, <laughs> that's why I said I couldn't recommend it. Come on, don't tease me like that. Got any other recipes? Okay, 
So if you fry tofu in lard and sprinkle it with yakiniku sauce, voila, it actually tastes like meat. Not only is it healthy, it's cheap. So that's one of my favorite recommendations. Haha, <laughs> sounds like an easy to make steak. Oh, I bet putting melted cheese on it would be good too. That does sound good. It's even better if you cook it with a little bit of miso until it's slightly burnt. <laughs> I hope you guys aren't hungry. Mmm, <laughs> I can almost taste it now. Uh, no. Got any other recipes? Nope. That's all I can think of so far. So, how do you like Komarocho? Used to that big city by now? Hi. I think so. At first I was intimidated by the people here, but I realized a lot of them are actually pretty nice. You do have a lot of fans looking out for you, including me. Mm. I chose this one last time. Just don't forget to be careful. There are plenty of shady characters around here looking for an easy target too. Take the... Kain Gang, I think is what they're called. Basically a bunch of clowns dressed up as gangsters. Oh, I know them. They're actually pretty nice. What? Did you say nice? <laughs> sure did. In fact, they used to give me the creeps, but now they come and cheer for me every time I sing. Neat, huh? Zana-chan, you never cease to amaze me. There is, there really is a lot of power in your music. <laughs> There's even this one guy. Oh, what's his name? castai son He's definitely my most eccentric admirer. Uh... Kasai, huh? I've heard that name before. Well, have you heard he's the leader of my cheering squad? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he brings his whole crew with him, dressed in pink happy, mind you, and they practically cheer for me non-stop. That sounds scary as shit. I'm happy for you though. Did we talk about this? No, we didn't. So what kind of guys are you into, Sanachan? Hmm, now that's the question. It's kind of hard to say. Okay. How about older or younger? Which do you prefer? Hmm, I'd say older. I want someone dependable, you know? Yeah, I can respect that. What about you? Do you tend to date younger or older? Uh, younger, obviously. <laughs> younger for me. Oh, really? Then... How much younger? Well, I'm 35 right now, so... Oh, and do you know that I'm 19? <laughs> hint, hint! I could probably go 20 years up! Hmm... So, this is what you're supposed to say, but I did not do any math and I just chose 20 because that was the last number that I heard. <laughs> I don't know... 20 years maybe? 20? Wait, if you're going younger that means... You would date a 15 year old? <laughs> Hell no! Sorry, I kind of just blurted that out without thinking. There's no way I'd do something like that. Aww. Of course you wouldn't! Jeez, don't scare me like that! Yeah, that was a big ol' uh, one brain cell moment for me right there. The first time I did it. <laughs> That's all we have time for today. I've got to get back to my Nintendo Switch and play Animal Crossing or something or a letter like that. Uh... Hey, look! That's the girl from one of those videos going around. Oh yeah, the songstress of Kamurocho, right? Yup, and she's damn cute too. Wonder if she's dating that guy. Uh-oh. They're really talking you up there, huh? I... I guess... Come to think of it, those videos of yours have gotten pretty popular lately. <sighs> yes, well, I'm glad that people like my music, but at the same time, I can't help feeling a bit overwhelmed. I wonder why you feel that way. Should we get going then? So this I think so. I've had enough publicity for one day. You know, you sure are something. It's like you became an overnight celebrity. <sighs> well, I certainly never expected it to happen so quickly. Who would have thought a couple of live performances in front of Theater Square would get me this far? Hey, 
People like what they like. And personally, I think they see something special in you. That's what draws them in. <laughs> well, I'm certainly happy to hear that, but it's... I don't know. Scary? To have so much attention all of a sudden. Yeah, if there's anything online, you, you can't control how fast you gain notoriety of any kind. And it is scary for sure. Maybe a talent agent will help keep things under control. I'm sure there are some good ones out there. Hi. I do plan on asking one if I meet the right person. Call me if you run into any trouble. <laughs> okay, I will. Thanks for taking me out today, Yagami-san. I had a lot of fun. Plus 100. Woo. My pleasure. I had a good time too. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Time always goes so fast whenever I'm with you. I'm glad we could spend the whole day together. So am I. Guess I'll be seeing you later then? Sure. Oh, and text me sometime, okay? Sure thing. Bye-bye. <laughs> ah. Alright, time to text her back. Hey, it's Sana. Thank you for today. I really had a lot of fun. Uh, I did too. Let's go out again sometime. Yes, please. I'm always available, so please let me know whenever you're free. Will do. Don't go leave me hanging now. Alright, and now we wait. Uh, while we wait, I guess now is a good chance to hit up all of the restaurants and get those points. Even though technically I have some progress on that already with the trophies. But, uh, I've gotta get all of this done though. Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but when we do get to the conf uh, to the final scenes for all the girls, I will say yes to all of them for the trophy, but I don't like the fact that that's even the trophy in the first place. Especially with the way that some of these storylines go, it's like, eww. It's just kind of scummy. It makes Yagami out to be a terrible person, to be honest. Even though he's not that way at all. Oh, here we go. We got a message from Sana, just as I was about to check too. Guess what? This guy who came to my concert today? Apparently he came all the way from Kansai just to see me! Dang, he must really be a fan. I know, right? But, you know? I know what? I'd be even happier if you came to see me. I'll definitely be there next time. Really? Yeah, I promise. And does she magically appear? She does. Ooh, wait, hang on. I really jump right now. And this will give me a chance to clear out all these notifications before we uh, get into any dialogue. Okay, we barely got the notifications, but you know what? That's fine. <laughs> Ooh. That's hot. Yagami-san, you came! Of course. I promised, didn't I? <laughs> You're such a sweetie. Uh, man. What does he get all this special treatment, huh? <gasps> I... I just don't know how to feel. I mean, I am happy for Sana-chan, but... Oh, the pangs of jealousy. <laughs> Lucky bastard. I think I switched the voices of those two. Again. For that matter. Oh, and there goes everybody. <laughs> Alright, Sana-chan. I've got news for you, Yagami-san. What's a good word? So, I met with someone from the agency, and they asked me if I wanted to sign with them. I'm about to make my debut! No way! That's amazing! Right? Anyway, the agency noticed my videos were trending. They want me to sign before I decide to go with someone else, lol. Sounds like you're in high demand. Are you going to accept that offer? Of course! This is my moment after all. Things have been going so well ever since I met you, Yagami-san! Ah... Uh, 
I'm glad that you think that way because I'm definitely not the good luck charm that you think that I am. <laughs> oh, there we go. Sana chan. Yagami san, I went to my first professional recording session today. I was super nervous. Ooh, for your CD. When is it coming out? Next month. They're already advertising it online. Then let's meet up to celebrate. Congrats, then we should celebrate together. Is that okay with you? Absolutely. How about we meet up front of Kamuro Theater? Okay, see you there. Oh yeah, I gave her an outfit as a gift. Should I see who should wear it? <gasps> Is this Neil? Um, I never- I didn't give her the outfit the first time. Yeah! Hey, you know that outfit I gave you? I'd love to see you in it. Oh, really? I'll wear it then. Cool. Can't wait to see you. <gasps> oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Once I finish this uh, menu down here in this restaurant that I did not know was even down these stairs in the first place. Then I'll go see yes, Sana. Just do drinks. How weird would that be? You just come into a restaurant and you just order your drinks and leave. It's like, it's not a cafe or anything like that where that's kind of like expected, but it's like a full-blown restaurant. Or even a high-class restaurant for that matter. Just come in and it's like, hey, can I have a Sprite? It's like, um, is there anything any else you want, sir? Like, no, that's it. It's like, okay. I feel like they'll probably kick you out for that. <laughs> or just send you on your way, at the very least. Alright, time to see. How will she look like? <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she looks so weird though without like all the extra, what should I call it? The lapels from her coat. But yeah, uh, it's because her face is like kind of chubby, so it, it doesn't really feel like it matches the outfit. Sorry to keep you waiting, Yagimi-san. <gasps> Ooh. It does look nice though. <laughs> nice, Sana-chan. Ja that jacket looks great on you. <laughs> you think so? I didn't have any outfits like this, so I wasn't sure how it would go. But I'm glad it looks good. No problem. More importantly, congrats on your de big debut. Thank you. Um, Yagami-san, I have something for you. Yeah, here we go. What's this? A record? Yes! This was made by the president of my agency to commemorate my first album. Wow, that's pretty elaborate. I'll make sure to listen to this back at the office. <laughs> and boy will we do that. <laughs> Hope you like it. What should I give her? Um, do I want to give her anything this time? I should. I'll give her this ring. So I actually have something for you. What? Really? Yeah, check this out. <laughs> wow, that's such a cute ring! Aww, it is shaped just like a heart! Yeah, glad she likes it. Arigatou that's really sweet of you, Takayuki-san! I'll treasure it forever! Now, where should we go for today? This is where I went next. Wanna check out the arcade? Sure, as long as we can try out the UFO catcher. Except we will not be. Greetings, songstress of Kamurocho. Oh, um, hi there, Kabata-san. <laughs> so I heard you're finally signing with the label. I see you've done very well for yourself. Uh, thank you? Of course. Still looking beautiful as ever, I see. <laughs> you know, I even bought a new phone just to take your picture. Even the order in your pores will show up on this thing. <laughs> um, ew? By the way, who's this you're hanging out with? Ah, that would be... Just a friend. Hmm. Nice jacket you got there. Where'd you get it? Janky d jackets for jackasses.com? Wow. Speaking of websites, I made you a Sanachan fan shrine. You should check it out. I'm pretty much your biggest admirer, so could I, like, have your contact information? 
so I can send you the URL. Huh? Thanks, but I'd rather not give that out. Don't worry. I promise not to share with anyone weird. And I'll make sure not to bother you late at night. Much. Yeah, so I don't mean to interrupt, but we were on our way somewhere. But thank you for voicing your support. Nana-chan, hurry, run, run. <laughs> that guy just now, is he also one of your fans? Kabata-san? Yeah, he's been one of my biggest supporters since I was just a country gal experimenting with music. I mean, sure, his fan letters are a bit passionate at times. And yes, he does seem odd, but he's not a bad person. If you say so. I hope I didn't give him the wrong impression. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, what if he... I don't know. Thought we were dating. Wouldn't that hurt your image as an up-and-coming singer? <gasps> well, it wouldn't be me that would give that impression by this point. <laughs> I could see how that makes sense. You having something to eat in public it doesn't seem like much... Like such a hot idea anymore. What if he went into more of his kind? Ah, then our day's totally ruined. I was still looking forward to it too. Yeah, I know. In that case, how about we head to my place? <laughs> you mean? Yeah, we won't have to worry about anyone seeing us there. <laughs> Wait, are you saying you want to? <laughs> does that mean what I think it does? <laughs> huh? Uh, what I meant was, why don't we head over to my office? I also happen to live there, so... Just think of it as stopping by my workplace. So this oh, that makes sense. Okay then. Yeah, so that wasn't awkward at all. Praising is important. So this is your home office? <laughs> it's actually pretty stylish. I like it. Thanks. I try and spiff it up for my clients every now and then. Isn't there supposed to be a bed somewhere though? Since you live here and all. Ah, I just sleep on the sofa, so you're sitting on it. Saves space, saves money, saves time. I don't know, Yagami. That, uh, back pain that's slowly gonna creep up on you over time is definitely not gonna save you anything. <laughs> you're silly. Not to mention, a bit wild. Speaking of being wild. I forgot to forage for food. Literally, there's nothing in the fridge. Some host I am. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Oh, no. Actually, I was thinking that maybe I could cook for you. Eh? Would you? Sure. I can make you pretty much anything as long as I have the ingredients. Yeah? Well, then I'll be right back. Hi. Want me to go with you? I can't help but feel a little bad about this. <laughs> you looked worried, Yakimi-san. Don't be. I enjoy this. Alright. <laughs> Ta-da! All done! Whoa! It's my special curry, made with an extra dash of dashi to give it that unique Japanese flavor. Hope you like it! You have no idea how much I appreciate this. You know, I only had curry recently in like, as in this year, I'm pretty sure. So, it was an interesting experience to say the least. Hmm. I bought so much random stuff. What else did she use to make this? I can tell she added melon to the base, which is I think that rice oil from a few, episode ago, a few episodes ago, right? And this vegetable here. Is this daikon radish? Then there's the chicken. It's soft. It's moist, and full of natural curry spice flavor. And normally, I think that curry and dashi would clash, but Sanachan managed to give them an even balance. I gotta let her know how I feel about this dish. And this is what I chose. Mmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Is it... good? It's not just good, it's delicious! I'm just gonna let it sit for a little bit on his face. <laughs> he goes, oh my god. <laughs> really? Oh yeah, it's mouth-watering, mind-blowing, life-changing even. 
like you like it that much? No, I love it that much. Even the inventor of curry could probably learn a thing or two from you. Yay! I'm so glad you're enjoying it, Yagami-san! Ah, uh, that's also another thing too that I am gonna miss having my first uh, reaction for. <gasps> Dang it, power outage. Talk to me, Yagami-san! <laughs> Talking to a girl in my office about something other than work is kind of nice. Ah, uh, I guess you haven't done that with Mufuyu yet, huh? Now, what's something we can talk about? Mmm... I think I started here. So, Sano-chan, what made you want to get into music? No, 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 I started on the opposite side. Oh wow. Well, I've always liked singing to begin with. And whenever I did sing, people would always compliment my voice. So I ended up doing school competitions and all that. <laughs> Before I knew it, I found myself wanting to become a professional singer. That's pretty much it. Wow. And look at where you are right now. Ah, uh, it's not luck. At least not in this instance. Not everyone can do what they want in life. You must have some... You must have some real talent to have made it this far. You think so? Oh, yeah. Take your fans, for example. You have this special something that keeps drawing them in. <laughs> well, I hope they'd be drawn in by my music. What about you, Yakimi-san? Have you considered yourself... Would you consider yourself a fan? You bet I would. Yay! Then maybe you'll be my number one. Someday. By the way, this has been on my mind for a while. Yakimi-san, why did you become a detective? Hmm, now there's a question. If I had to single out a reason... It's... Because we don't need to wear suits. Huh? That's all? Totally. Suits are way too stuffy. And besides, they make my shoulders all stiff. Dress casual, wear comfortable. That's just how I roll. <laughs> <laughs> You're just messing with me, aren't you? Actually, I was being serious. <laughs> really? But you look so good in a suit. Then how about I wear one for you next time? <laughs> you will? Then I'll hold you to it. Have you written anything new lately? Hi. Yeah, I've been working on some lyrics for a song that's been in my head. Wow, what kind of song is it? Mm. You really want to know? Of course. I am your number one fan after all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed to say, but it's a love song. Oh? What kind of love song? It's about... Tell me the terms of your feelings. Like, when your heart touches one thing, but your mind says another. <laughs> That's what I've got so far. So, it's about someone with a wavering heart? <laughs> Something like that. Are you basing it off actual experience? Hi. Yes. What I realized when writing the song is that I'm head over heels in love. Huh? You are? With who? <laughs> That's for me to know and for you to find out. Ah, the suspense is killing me. Actually, I've been wondering something, Sanachan. Is it really okay for you to be coming over like this? What do you mean? Well, it's just, you know, I wasn't sure if you were dating anyone or not, so. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> In that case, it's totally fine. I'm currently boyfriend free. Well, that's a relief. Huh? It is? Yeah. <laughs> if that was your natural reaction, then I'm relieved too. Besides, what kind of girlfriend would I be if I went to another man's house and started cooking him curry? You make a good point. But now that you brought it up, you're not taken either, are you? She's asking if I have a girlfriend. Nope, still single. Unfortunately. No way! A good looking guy like you? I know I shouldn't be happy, but... Besides, I'm not the kind of guy who invites the girl over and has him make curry when I already have a girlfriend. 
I would hope not. That's all we have time for today. Well, it's been a pretty relaxing day, but maybe we should call it for now. Aww, not ready. I can always stay longer, if you don't mind, of course. Isn't it exciting, talking until midnight? Then, do you want to stay the night? Huh? Am I supposed to sleep on the sofa? Ah, point taken. Well, I should probably be getting home as it is. Bummer. And that's the downside of not having a bed in this case, right? By the way, Sanachan, I just wanted to say how impressed I am with you. I bet you'll be a superstar in no time. Mm. You really think so? Everything is happening so fast, like I'm living in a dream. That may be, but it's the dream you're striving for, isn't it? Besides, realization always comes after the fact. After the fact? Yeah, once you realize how talented you are, that there is a reason you made it this far. Did it all fall into place? <laughs> I sure hope so. Oh, these two again. Whoa, it's Sana Miyama, the one that's got all the indie music on my tube. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> mm? Oh, so it really is her. Wow, she's even prettier in person. Oh, wait, no, these are <laughs> two different people. Did you guys like my last song? We sure did. It was so good, we practically lost our minds when we heard it. Quick! Take a selfie with the both of us. This will blow up and chatter for sure. <laughs> hey, wait a second. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you, what do you punks uh, 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 think you're doing? Uh, Santa Chan is enjoying her private time right now, so quit bugging her. You hear me? I will stand by this man in Santa Chan's defense. The soul of the songstress of Kamurocho requires peace and solitude. <laughs> Yikes! Hitabuna-san and Mota-san. Thanks, I guess? <laughs> hey, no problem. Wait, isn't this dude... Don't tell me. Are you guys on a date? Wow, Sanachan, There really is more to you than meets the eye. <laughs> oh, no. That's not like that. I only asked him to help me out with something. Yeah, what she said. We were about to call it a day, anyway. Hmm... You know, Sanachan, you are considered a star now. Some fans might get the wrong idea seeing you with a guy. Like, what's his name, for instance? The guy who's one disappointment away from having a neurotic episode. You would be referring to Gabata, correct? Sanachan's uncouth stalker. Hmm? Hold up, you mean that guy is stalking you? Yeah. Th no? He's not a stalker. He is a passionate fan. That's all. You haven't seen his chatter, have you? The stuff he posts about you sounds way more pissed than passionate. <laughs> well, seriously, he was raving like a lunatic about how you were breaking the idol code. I think you best be careful. But she's not trying to be an idol though. That's the thing. Don't let it get to you, Sano-chan. If anything happens, you can always rely on me. Hi. Okay. Yagami-san! Thanks for taking me out today, Yagami-san. I had a really great time. There we go. Me too. Glad you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> it's always like, where did the time go? Well, hope to see you soon. That was nice. Sana here. Just wanted to thank you again for today. Hope you enjoyed my curry. I'll make me some more next time. And just like that. Almost halfway. But I guess I'm coming over to your place again. As long as it's for you, I can make curry anytime. Ah, that'd be nice. I should also try to get into making some curry of my own too, because the curry that I had for the first time was kind of basic, I would say. I just had the curry sauce, the chicken, and like some carrots, I think, and some other stuff in there too. 
but otherwise, I feel like it could have been more better or more suited to my own taste, but I just need to figure out what I want to put into my curry for next time. That's the only thing. Nope, oh, here she is. Alright. Do you remember Kapata-san? He's the one Katamura-san was talking about the other day. Kitamura. Wasn't that the guy who was raising a big stink about us dating? That's the one! So he came to my live performance today, but it seems like he's still suspicious about you and me. Hmm. Uh, I chose this uh, the last time. Well, well, then we must have looked like a damn good couple. Oh my! Anyway, let me know if Kabata-san causes any trouble. I'm sure you'll be just fine though. Okay, will do. Oh, and that's that. Oh, there we go. Sara? Yagami-san, can we meet up? There's something I need to tell you. Of course. Is something wrong? No, it's more like I need to sort out how I feel. Are you free right now? Yeah, I am. Let's meet up at Theater Square then. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Alright, here we go. Let's see what Sana needs to talk to us about. Didn't Sana-chan once say she wanted to see me in a suit? Now that I have one, I might as well wear it. Oh yeah, right. Ah, uh, I was freaking out over this when it happened. <laughs> wow, Yagami-san! That's a really nice suit you have on! It looks really good on you! And you are? Wait, Sada-chan? What's with the hand? <laughs> oh, hand. Hair! <laughs> it's a wig, silly! Now people won't notice it's me! Just like a real celebrity, huh? Having to go incognito. What should I give her? Hmm... Classic... Yeah, let's give her these earrings. Yeah. Yeah, check this out. She likes that. <laughs> now where should we go today? How about the batting center? It's a pretty good stress reliever. Oh, sounds good! i actually never been the one. Perfect. Now let's get going. Oh yeah, right. Going to the batting center with my suit. <laughs> So, this is what a batting center looks like. Wow, it's not as sketchy as I thought it'd be. Hope I can actually hit the ball. Why don't I show you how it's done? Ooh, go for it! Now it's my chance to impress her. Better not strike out. Oh yeah, so we can only use this one and this is gonna look weird. <laughs> Suit on, baseball bat, golden baseball bat, and gloves. There we go. Missed exactly one like last time and I did not mean to. Oh, what am I looking at? Oh my gosh! I had no idea you were this good! Ah oh, wow, you are tiny! You are like a pro out there! I don't think this is supposed to happen. All I did was put in a little... Effort today with the oh 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 <laughs> hello there is really nothing to it wow I didn't know you were so athletic you were awesome <laughs> that was really fun Yagami san I think we could go back to your office sure then you can finally take that wig off. Now, what should we talk about today? Hmm... For a moment, I really couldn't tell that was you. You give off a completely different vibe when you're blonde. <laughs> so which do you like better? I think she. this is the answer that you should pick, but I chose this the first time. Hmm... I prefer your usual hair. So, you're saying I don't look good blonde? No, that's not it at all. I just prefer a more natural look, I guess? So, you're like a girl with straight hair and a bob and a low-key hair color? Well, yeah, 
I guess so. No, this works too. Oh, get to know. So, how's the industry been treating you these days? Well, I'm a lot more used to the spotlight than before. The only thing that worries me is my is one of my my uh, one of my agency's policies. What kind of policy? Well, since they place a high priority on marketing their talent as young and romantically available, <sighs> there's a no dating policy until you're 27 years old. So that's what's bugging. So that's what's been bugging you, which is kind of ter a terrible policy in of itself, even inside of Japan's own culture. Because they have this thing uh, against women where if you're not married by a certain age, you're seen as undesirable. And I think 27 is close to that age, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah. That is a problem indeed. Um, how is that a problem for you? Well, it just is. May I ask why? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> Hey, are you messing with me or what? <laughs> Maybe. But still, robbing a girl of romance at such a critical time in her life. That's a cool bloody thing to do. Yeah, right, there we go. Alluded to what I just said. Well, it's not like I didn't see it coming. I've always been ready to give up my personal life for my singing career. Or at least, that's what I used to think. These days, I'm not so sure. Maybe you just need to take some time out and reflect. You've had so much to deal with ever since your debut. Hi. That's true. But there's also another reason. And that is? You promise you won't laugh? Grass my heart. Yeah. Uh, no, okay. I don't remember if I told you this, but... There's actually someone I like. Oh. And when you were writing the lyrics to your love song, they were referring to someone real? Hi. Yeah. Thanks to him, I can finally put my feelings into words without worrying about it sounding fake. But if I have to let him go, then I'm afraid I won't be able to write from my heart. <laughs> After all, love is what powers my music. Sanajan, about that guy you like. Hi. Well, what about him? I think I might know who he is. Or at least... I have an idea. Seriously? Of course. Detectives have an eye for this sort of thing. But if you felt like giving me a clue to work with, I certainly wouldn't mind. Not that I'd need one or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Not very subtle, are you? I suppose I could drop you a hint. Out of charity. You're the best. Okay then. So, the man who captured my heart... What about him? He's kind. Dependable. Someone you can count on to make you laugh or smile, even when you're having the worst day ever. <laughs> That's why I like spending time with him. In fact, it seems like we never have enough, since it always goes by so fast. And whenever we're together, I find myself wishing our day would never end. As unrealistic as that sounds. Damn. Sounds like one incredible guy. Do I know him? <laughs> That's all you get, Yakimi-san. <laughs> so much for inductive reasoning. I didn't learn a thing. Ah, uh, good old dense Yagami. That's all we have time for today. Yagami-san! I appreciate you letting me coming over like this, Yakimi-san. Anytime. Feel free to drop by whenever you need to unwind. Think of it as your own private sanctuary of sorts. Mm. But wouldn't that conflict with your work? Hey, I can always use a new assistant. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah? Then how much would you pay? I uh I'll get back to you on that. Ah, uh, here we go. The self sabotaging fan. I had a lot of fun today, Yagami-san. Time just flew right by, didn't it? Sure did. Let's hang out again soon. Definitely. I'll keep you updated. Thanks for taking me out, Yagami-san. Alright, you take care now. Uh, Kabata. Kabata. 
You are a foolish man. Alright, what do we have? Thana here! Just letting you know I had a wonderful time today. Hope you had as much fun as I did. When I was with you, I found myself wishing time would stop for just the two of us. Hello, well, I am being serious though. Uh. Does that mean? For sure. I'm starting to understand how you feel now. You're gonna make me blush. So I gotta know, who is this guy you like, Donachan? Not telling. Uh, not now anyway. She'll tell us eventually. <laughs> oh, here we go. Sana! Hi, yagami san What are you up to today? Thinking about you, of course. What? Really? It's kind of easy to know what Sana will like. <laughs> Actually, I was thinking about you too. What a coincidence. I guess great minds think alike. <laughs> I guess they do. What are you up to, Sanoshan? Also, how does Jagmi not tell that she is okay? <laughs> I'm about to go and meet with some agency staff. Apparently, they want to discuss some things with, uh, with me. So I'm related things, I hope. I'm not sure. They just called to ask if I could come in and answer some questions. They sounded more serious than usual, so I'm not sure what to think. Hopefully it's nothing too crazy. Ah oh boy, little do we know. Here we go. Do you have a moment, gagami san I want- I wanted to talk to you about my agency. Sure. I'll see you in front of Kamuyo Theater then. Okay. Sorry I keep bothering you. Hmm. Nah. No present this time. So let me get uh, some drinks from this bar first and then we'll go over to see her. Okay. Let's see what Sana wants to talk about. Sorry to keep you waiting. No worries. I just got here too. What should I give her? Hmm. Um. I gave her this last time in the work too. Yeah. Here we go. By the way, Sana-chan. You said you wanted to talk about something? I do, but... Why don't we go out and have a little fun first? I need to clear my head for a bit. That could be arranged. Now, where should we head off to? We never got to go to the arcade. Wanna check out the arcade? Hi. Sure, as long as we try out the UFO catcher. Now oh, it's the same price as last Yagami time. Yagami-san, I really want that plushie. I'm collecting them. Now, I'm not sure which one is focusing on. Can you get it for me? Leave it to me. Alright. So if we here... I wanna go for where the center of gravity is. So that's right, right below the head of the puppy. There we go. Alright, now let's get the other one just in case that's what she wants. While we're at it, let's try to get one of those guys that's standing up back there. Yeah, that's fine. We got what we needed. You did it! Wow, that's so cool! I can't believe you actually got one! Haha, <laughs> I think I finally got the hang of it. Can I really have this? I sure hope so. Thanks so much! Promise I'll take good care of it. Now, Sana-chan, before we get started on our talk, why don't we head over to my place first? 
That way the public won't be all up in our business. Hi. Sure, I'll take you up on that. All right, let's see what let's hear what Sanachan has to say. So, what's been on your mind? Um, My talent agency recently received a photo of us taken right in front of your office. What? Why would anyone do that? Um, I have no idea. The sender didn't leave a name. What they did leave was a letter, basically trying to prove I was violating the no dating policy. With you. Damn. I can't believe I let this happen. Whoever did this must be seriously messed up in the head. <sighs> I know! My manager nearly lost it. Told me if I really wanted to be a professional, I'd have to stop engaging in unprofessional relationships. <sighs> in other words, stop seeing me, right? Hi. That would seem to be the case. I can't stand the idea of not being able to see you anymore. Especially because it's some dumb rule. Yeah, even just as like a friendship perspective as well. I know what you mean. But your manager already got tipped off by someone with a stick up their ass. So I'd rather not escalate things. So this okay, so what should we do? Well, we should at least be careful for the time being to avoid any further misunderstandings. If anything, you could keep on wearing that wig of yours and we can meet up undercover. So I heard you release a new CD. Has it reached most, uh, has it reached triple platinum already? Haha, <laughs> I wish. Unfortunately, it's not even close. I'm just glad we didn't run into any issues getting it out there. <laughs> it also seems like more and more people are getting into my music, aside from my regular fans. So that's always a plus. What about the new song we were talking about before? Is that one on there too? Hi. No, but it's almost done. Sounds like everything's going pretty well for you, at least in this area. Yet, somehow, you still seem troubled. <gasps> troubled. Hmm? Now that you mention it, I kind of am. There's still a lot on my mind. I'm amazed you could still compose great music despite so that. This, nah. That's actually what's motivating me right now. When I think about my worries and fears, it flows right into my songs. You know, funnily enough, I think a lot of like the great artists, you know, like just in other fields too, writers, painters, musicians, and all of the like, did have some kind of like depression. Like quite a few of them. Not all of them, but quite a few of them. So it has some correlation. Or at least, yeah. It's like you're channeling it straight from your heart. That's some talent you've gotten right there. I hope I read that last prompt. <laughs> I know we barely just met, yet it feels like I've known you for a really long time. Almost like I've done this before. Now that you mention it, I feel the same way. We've been hanging out together for a while now. And even though we're 15 years apart, I hardly even notice most of the time. Eh, what a couple of oddballs we are. <laughs> That's true. Sanachan, do you consider me a friend? Mm. Well, of course I consider you a friend, but you're also more than just that. <laughs> I respect you, Yagimi-san. You're a man that I can rely on. Is that all? Huh? Hmm? Oh. I wasn't done, you know. Why did you have to go and say that? Sorry, that kind of slipped out on his own. Then, what am I to you? I think of you as more than just a friend. You're someone special to me. Someone special? Yeah. Are you okay with that? <laughs> of course! In fact, that makes me very happy. Because you're special to me as well. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting a little embarrassed. Uh, this is the last chance we'll be able to do this, so... Hey, how about we take a picture? Our future selves will thank us. Oh, of course! <laughs> just just like this. I'm so tall that it's kind of awkward to like do anything. We're kind of out of focus too. Oh god, I don't like any of these filters. 
Ah, oh, this one's fine. Make everything look a little warmer. Right? There we go. That's a cute picture. Unfortunately, the top of my head is cut off. <laughs> How's this? Yep. Looks just fine to me. Wow, you're actually pretty good. Can you send this to me later? Of course. That's all we have time for today. Yagami-san? Do you remember when I said there was someone I wanted to be with? It's getting to the point where I can't hold back my feelings, no matter what the agency says. Not too long ago, you said that love was the power behind your music, right? And I think you shouldn't hold back. Wouldn't your agency only stand to lose if their policy impacted the quality of your work? Perhaps you're right. Ultimately, you should do what feels what you feel is right for you, and I'll support you either way. Then what should I do? I doubt they'd bend the rules just for me. You won't know until you try. Why not talk it over with your manager? Easier said than done. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Why don't you start with that song you wrote? Won't that prove what's really important to you? Mm -hmm. My song? Yeah. Aren't you writing a song that describes this exact situation? It's about all your worries and fears regarding love, right? Why not have them listen to that? Your music has the power to move people's hearts. Just look at all your fans. Maybe it'll work on your manager, too. You think so? I do. But you should take some time to figure it out for yourself. Doesn't have to be right away. Hi. Okay. Thanks for listening, Yagami-san. Thank you for the coffee. Should I rinse the cup? Nah, just leave it at the sink. Mm -hmm. Got it. Oh, and I noticed you have some leftover ingredients for curry. If you're hungry, I can always make you some more. Would you like that? I would love it. As long as it's not too much trouble. Hi. Not at all. You just leave the cooking to me. Mm hmm? Hmm? Ah, I'm all out of mirin. Should I go out and get some? Yeah. You stay seated, mister. This is my way of showing you my appreciation for all the times you've helped me. So sit back and relax. Hey, you won't hear me complaining. I could use a break. Hi. Good. And I'll be heading to the convenience store. Be back in a little bit. And then we never heard from her again. It's getting kind of late. What could be taking her so long? Yes, it can hurt to check. It's not a good sign, that's for sure. Right, she went this way to the Popo on Pink Street. Uh, oh god. I'm just wobbling around everywhere. Uh, oh, there she is! With Kapata. Uh? Tell me, who's that guy you keep hanging around with? Your boyfriend? Your date? Friends with benefits. Which is it? Yonis! It's nothing like that! Now, would you mind leaving me alone? I have something important to do! You're banging him, aren't you? You of all people should know. Idols aren't allowed to do that. Huh? You've got it all wrong! I would never act that way! And I'm not an idol either! Then explain to me. Your dedicated fan has been loyal to you this whole time. Why you were sneaking around together. Dana-chan! Are you alright? So you finally show your face. You, you're a bastard, you know that? I'm tricking Sanajan just to get in her pants? That's ridiculous. She doesn't even wear pants. I've done no such thing. Oh, well, I saw her going in and out of your office multiple times, wearing the same lewd expression. It was like a dog in heat, enjoying every last hump. That's what he turned you into, Sanajan. A horny bitch. Okay, what is seriously wrong with you? I think I pieced it together now. You must be the one who sent the photo to her manager. Some fan you are. Huh? So what if I did? Don Chan's the songstress of Kamarocho, which means she belongs to everyone, not some sleazy scumbag like you. I'm not a sleazy scumbag at all. 
<laughs> Whoa. Sorry about that. Here. There we go. Ah. Uh, at least that wasn't a nut shot. So you have that going for you. Well, maybe that'll calm you down a bit. You don't understand me at all. I did this for Sana-chan's sake. If she's about to make a huge mistake with her life, then it's up to me, her diehard fan, to try and prevent it. Huh? And what mistake would that be? Choosing who she wants to be around and what she wants to do for herself? No! Her mistake was betraying her entire fan base by hooking up with manipulative, manipulative little weasel like you. Sana-chan, you need to be more aware of your duties as a singer, a as a cultural icon. Ah. Let me ask you something. What exactly is it that you like about Sana-chan? Uh, uh, huh? Is it her music? Her looks? Her personality? Do you even know the first thing about her? Huh? What are you trying to get at? Look, if you really consider yourself a fan, then what you're doing right now makes no sense whatsoever. A real fan would support the person they believe in, even if they didn't always agree with their decisions. Right? What? What would you know? Ano? Yabata-san? You once wrote me something that I remember to this day. I really love your music because it captures raw human emotion and expresses it in an authentic, relatable way. <gasps> you remember that? Hi. Yes, but it made me so happy when I first read it. It still does. Watashi. I've kept it stored safely ever since. And whenever I'm feeling really down, I take it out and read it all over again. Yeah, you do. Believe me, I really do appreciate your concern over my well-being. But my inner feelings, that raw human emotion you spoke of, are the driving force of my songs. Even love, the IRL kind? Hi! That's right. So, if you really do like my music, please try to understand this other aspect of me. That way, I can keep on making music that's true to the heart. And you're a big part of that. You gave me a chance before I was even anybody. That means you're in my heart too. Donna-chan. For... Forgive me. I hope he learned something today. He did. I'm sure of it. I appreciate you spending time with me today. Thanks to you, I feel like a huge weight's been lifted off my shoulders. Four to five. Glad to hear it, Sana-chan. Alright, be safe now. Sana here. Thank you again for today. Are you hurt at all, Yagami-san? Do you feel any pain that won't go away? My body is fine. It's my heart that hurts. Because I got so worried about you. That's... sweet of you. But honestly, I'm okay. And it's all thanks to you. Sounds like your agency gives you one problem after another, huh? It would seem so. I hope I don't collapse from all the pressure. Ah... Uh, and that should be the last thing for Sana before the final scene with her. So we can stop there and then work on somebody else now. Uh, but with that being said, I'll also take this opportunity to show you guys her song and also give my thoughts about some aspects of the storyline. Alright, I guess I'll post up right here in a talk. <laughs> so. This was an interesting storyline for me personally because there are several aspects that I want to touch on. So one thing is idol culture 
The second thing is the no dating policy. The third thing, kind of, that I've already talked about is the ageism thing with uh, women in Japan. And I think that's about it. Oh yeah, and I guess the final thing would be toxicity and toxic parasocial relationships. So yeah, we have quite a bit to talk about. But to get started, uh, idol culture, and this kind of goes hand in hand with the toxic, fan, uh, toxic fandom stuff, but the thing about it is that it's so different from what we're used to here in the West that it's kind of like unfathomable that like just because you're a artist you're not allowed to date anyone because you have to be marketed as single, attractive, and romantically available. Even though that in itself will contradict itself because that means that none of the fans will ever have hope of getting with their idol, their art, their oshi, their artist. Because they're not allowed to date in the first place, so what the heck? But yeah, besides that fact, we're dealing with adults here. And most of the time, at the very least. So, preventing them from dating anybody in the first place is just kind of stupid in of itself, honestly. Yeah, the policy works and it does bring in a ton of people, but probably brings in the wrong crowd in the first place because if you ever get a case like Kapat uh, Kabata right there, and that was Anna chan, <laughs> then you're kind of screwing yourself over for everybody involved because. All it takes is one little misunderstanding, one little assumption from stemming from jealousy or whatever. Like when Sana and Yagun were just outside of their office and Kabata took that picture. To make things spiral out of control to a ridiculous degree. And unfortunately, it is a real thing that happens. And if you're familiar with VTubing in general, then you know for sure why I say that. But. Otherwise, yeah, I've already mentioned this stuff about the age with women, so I'm not gonna go over that again, so yeah. Um, I think that was everything that I wanted to say. Oh no 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 no, there was some, one thing that Yagami said about if you were a true fan, you would support people, support the people that you like, even if you don't agree with what they do. And to a degree, I kind of get what he's saying, but it's worded poorly because you definitely should hold the people that you respect to some kind of accountability because especially in this online environment it's just so hard and so exhausting to try to deal with so many different kinds of people from your manipulators to your liars to just outright insane people in general and social media is definitely not helped at all with giving them a voice, a platform to just do all that stuff to everybody. But yeah, that was a nice jump bell. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing with uh, keeping people accountable because if you really do support them, then you have to make sure that they continue to grow and be the best version of themselves without withholding them to this lofty ideal that they have no realistic way to accomplish, to live up to. So, yeah. That's the thing with parasocial relationships and just supporting people online, right? Uh, so, TLDR, as this song is out name, um, idol culture? Profitable? But in itself breeds toxicity in its fan base, and thus Fans will contradict themselves, be hypocrites, in turn of that, and hurt the people that they support because of any kind of controversy, unfortunately, even though they're supposed to be their fans. And yeah, like Yakimi said, keeping people from dating and probably the prime of their lives, even though you can do it much later on, it, it's been shown to work for other kinds of people. So. Yeah, it is definitely kind of a weird thing to do from a Western perspective, once the same once again. But yeah, I think that was everything that I wanted to say. So, with that being wrapped up officially, we can now start with Nanami. Alright. Uh, I appreciate you going to such lengths to rescue me. The police were saying it was incredible you even found me at all. You were so cool, Yagami-san. Um... I chose this. Yeah. I'm just glad you're safe. 
Thanks. Ugh. If you hadn't come along, I don't even want to talk. I don't even want to think about it. Are you taking time any time off work? Actually, thanks to you, I end up safe without a scratch. I hardly even need to. Hmm. Okay. Well, don't push yourself. Oh, I got this. Working helps me forget all the bad things. Lol. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm really surprised I got through everything that I wanted to say pretty smoothly or for 90% of it because when I was talking about it the first time, that I was stuttering like it was nobody's no. business. <laughs> but I guess uh, just kind of repeating myself the second time helps me be more eloquent with my words, which I really was not expecting. So yeah, uh, back to eating everywhere, getting drunk, and waiting for... Nanami? Nanami. Yeah, that's how you say her name. Nanami. No, Nanami. Yeah. Nanami-san to give me a text back. Actually, wait. Do I do it myself? I do. Aha. Should I text Nanami-san? Nanami-san. Um, how have you been? Hey, just wanted to say hope you're doing well. Thanks. I am back and better than ever. Oh, I'm sure my boss appreciates that. LOL. <laughs> what are you doing right now, Yagami-san? Just working. Working on a case? Yeah, something like that. I bet you're able to solve those cases in the blink of an eye. Yeah, I'm pretty quick like that. Don't want to let things drag on. LOL, I am the exact same way. This is going to be a pretty easy time, at least starting out. <laughs> oh. Am I not allowed to get drunk yet? Um, where is she? Here she is. Nagami-san, if that are possible, I'd like to thank you for helping me. Ah, don't worry about it. But I have to. You saved my life. Please, tell me if there's anything I can do. Then let's go out on a date. You want to go out? With me? LOL. Of course. Then let's go out and eat somewhere. Good idea. Okay then, I'm free right now. Are you? I am too, actually. Great! Then where should we meet up? Would Theater Square be a good spot? Yeah, I think so. I'll wait for you in front of the arcade then. Okay, I'll be on my way in just a bit. Can't wait to see you. Haha, <laughs> likewise. Oh, should I buy a present? I think uh, all the stuff that I use for Sarachan won't be a good gift for her, so I'll pass on buying the present. Alright, with this, we are done with this bar. These take the longest because you have to get drunk and then get undrunk so you can keep getting drunk. Okay, in front of the arcade, right? Here we go. I just realized I don't have that much on me. In order to have a good time, I should have at least 50,000 yen. Oh, well, time to go make some more money. <laughs> Oh, this is new. What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's the best weapon heat action here, I'd say, in VR. Oh, I might need to try the double swords to see what they look like. Oh, okay. There's a secret code. Well then, 562. Good to know. I think I'll be fine for a while, unless I spend it all in one place. Which I probably will. There should be enough to get me both level 3 attack damage and health.
And then I'll probably be left with like a million left. Something like that. Let me see. No, no, Kim. You can't have any of my money. I'll stop around 2 million to see how much I'm gonna get truly from these tech bombs. But let's see. Let's go ahead and take this growth extract. Uh, where is it? Here it is. And then let's go ahead and see where we start. Uh, so 9,000. Ooh, so I think actually we will be able to get these two. But let's see, 9,000. Alright, and the grand reveal. 29,000. We got just a little over 20,000 experience just from doing that. Let's get boost attack and boost health. Yeah, I was right. I got both, exactly. Okay. Hmm. With the little extra that I have left, let me get this and this for heat actions because it has been a while. So, oh yeah, I need to get these. Hmm. And they're just like a whole bunch of expensive stuff here too. Ah. Uh, do I want to keep going? I kind of want to. Hmm. I'll do it one more time. I can't help myself. <laughs> Oh my god, my health bar. I just looked at it. <laughs> oh, I'm not- I should not be dying very easily from here on out. Well, let's see. I wonder where these last two guild books are gonna be. I hope I didn't miss one of them. Because it feels like I should have gotten one of them sooner. Uh, that's what I'm worried about. Where's Regard? Here it is. I'll get escape counter too. And then from here, I can get... Do I want to get anything? I don't think so. Yeah. I'm good for now. So we'll save the rest of this for... Stuff like in here. Yeah. Alright. Now we can finally meet up Nanami for our date. Okay, I'm still getting quite a decent amount of SP from doing these challenges too. Hmm. But not enough for anything that I want, so let's uh, go ahead and continue. There she is. Yagami-san. Oh, who? Wait, okay. Hey, Yagami-san. Did I keep you waiting? Nah, you're totally fine. You said you wanted to take me out somewhere. Hi. That's right. That's the least I could do for someone who saved my life. There we go. That was about the voice I gave her. Oh, that's right. Maybe I should give Nanami-san a present. Yeah, I gotta remember, the emphasis is on the first syllable. Okay, this is her outfit. A chic design for a stylish woman. It's just a nice little old suit, but it looks great. I actually bought you uh, something for you, Na Nanami. Huh? Really? Yeah, here. Wow, thank you! You have good taste, Yakimi-san! Buying clothes for a woman isn't easy, but this is totally my style. Heh, not a problem for someone with a detector's power of observation. <laughs> Don't get too ahead of yourself, Sherlock. You now ask Nanami Matsuoka to wear the jacket outfit on dates. Mm. Hey, I'm the one who dragged you out, so what's up with the gift? Eh, I kinda- it would felt- uh, would've felt weird to show up empty-handed. Empty -handed. Why don't we go unwind somewhere for a bit? That way we can work up an appetite. So Sounds like a plan. Anyway, you want to go? Anywhere you want to go? Mm. Hmm, let's see. Oh, I know. How about we check out the drone races? I've been researching drones for one of my projects at work, and before I knew it, I found myself totally hooked. Oh yeah? I have a drone if you're interested. I've even been in a few races. Wow, you're into drones too? I never would have guessed. I can only imagine how exciting a race can be. Is that the only thing you wanted to do? Well, I could always go for some exercise. Maybe we could go to the batting cages. Or maybe we could play some darts. Those are some good options. Now which one should we go with? I went to the drone races first. How about I show you what a drone race is like? Ooh, that'd be great! I can't wait to check it out! So this is where all the drone races take place. I'm gonna go ahead and sign up. Hi. Cool. I'll be waiting. I'll be rooting for you. 
All right, let's customize. You want to show her our pigeon? Hmm. UFO. Oh yeah, Joan Yan. <laughs> That's not Joan. Yeah, let's keep the uh, the OG pigeon right here. So let's see. Do I have anything better? Hmm. Not quite better, but yeah. So nothing there. For speed. Ooh, these are just straight up upgrades. Uh, what do I currently have? H. So if I want to do that, I could trade off handling for speed, which I think I will do. And this will just give me more turbo overall, so no reason not to get it. Okay. Um, ooh, this is a good all-rounder. But if I want speed, I would go for this instead. Hmm. I think I should be fine with this. I do need a little bit more handling, just about. Take two off of turbo and one off of speed? That's, that's fine. There we go. I was sort of all rounded. So, we'll just do the simple road. <laughs> ah, here we go. What do you think of my drone, Nanami? Yes, ah, yes. It's, it's, it's a drone. <laughs> Alright, nice, I got it. Out of my way, everyone! <laughs> now to just fly around in circles for the next minute or two. Exciting gameplay, am I right? There we go! We won! Alright, let's see how far behind us. Five seconds. Wow. Would you like to upload your finish time for this race? Uh, nah. That's not the fastest that I can go. Alright! Wow! Look at you! You actually got first! <laughs> I guess you could say I'm pretty fly. I said this last time and I'll say it again. You're lucky that she tolerates puns, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> ah, now that was what I call a good time. Maybe we could sit down somewhere and chat for a bit? Yeah, that sounds good. We have been standing all day. That, and I promised I'd take you out. You currently have one free meal remaining. Haha, <laughs> alright then. Where should we go? I wonder how she feels about drinking on the first date. Maybe I should just go for it? Why not? I'm thinking we should drink. What do you say? Wow, you totally read my mind! Let's do it! Ah, I'm a genius. How about we try this place out? Sure, let's do it! Oh, and the table specifically for just the two of us. Alright. I'm glad that stalker of yours is finally out of the picture. Hi. Yeah, thanks to you. I almost thought he'd never go away. That just tells you how long he'd been bothering me. Sounds like he was really obsessed. Obsessed is a mild way to put it. He was downright crazy. He would keep asking me out no matter how many times I turned him down. He'd even wait outside my front door. It's like nothing I said ever went through to him. What an awful experience. <sighs> and when I told the police, you know what they said? We can't help you because he hasn't actually done anything. Which I feel like is kind of BS. If that is true. Which I feel like it shouldn't be. Even if it is. <laughs> Can you believe that? Yagami-san, I was scared for so long. Then I'm glad he's behind bars where he belongs. So am I. That's why I really mean it when I say you saved my life. I didn't think you'd do so much for me. Someone you'd only met once. That actually got me thinking about what lengths a person should go to to help a, a stranger in need. Ah, I only did what came naturally to me. You mean you purely acted on instinct? Are you trying to be some kind of superhero or something? Haha, <laughs> me? A superhero? I guess I'll take that as a compliment. I wonder though, is that stalker the only guy you'd have trouble getting rid of? Mm. Well, there have been other instances I'd rather not discuss. But I should tell you this right now, I'm not the type who falls in love easily. To me, work is far more rewarding than romance. I see. Hi. Yeah, so playing the whole relationship game doesn't really fit my lifestyle. Just thought I'd get that out there. It's the natural lead into this topic, so why not? I'm curious, Nanami-san. Nanami-san, what's your philosophy on love? 
I wouldn't quite call it a philosophy, but... But... Well, I just think it's also manufactured. People are always falling in love on TV or in real life, only to break up days later. Everyone talks about romance like it's the number one thing to live for, yet there's so much more to life than just that. Besides, who wants to depend on someone else to make them happy when you can, when you can just do that on your own? It's unhealthy. I'd have to agree. There's a lot more to life than romance. So you understand me then? Yeah, I think it's important to have some fun and excitement in life, but that doesn't mean it has to come from love. There are plenty of other things that can give you satisfaction, like your hobbies or your career. My dogs exactly! And whenever I tell people I'm happy without a man, they look at me like I have a couple of screws loose upstairs. I just want to tell them, so what? I have plenty of other things to live for. Even compared to someone who's happy in a relationship, I still think I have it pretty good. I'm satisfied with me. If that's really how you feel, how you think, then I'm in deep trouble. Trouble? How so? Well, that means I can't date you. I'm... I'm sorry? Oh, I get it. You're teasing me, aren't you? Haha, <laughs> just a bit. But seriously, Nanami-san, I know what you mean. You do? Yeah, I feel the same way. The idea that there is void in this life, in your life, unless you find your other half, quote-unquote, is really contrived and overdone. I'm honestly quite shocked. I never thought I'd actually meet someone, let alone a guy, who thinks the same as me. Oh uh, yeah? Hi. Yeah, Yakami-san, you and I are definitely on the same wavelength. Well, that's great, but given that we're kind of on a, kind of out on a date, that might not be the greatest wavelength to be on. Uh, she does bring up some weird points though. You should definitely make yourself happy first before you try to chase anything else like romance. Because having a partner in your life won't just magically make yours better. So, Nanami-san, tell me a little about yourself. Hi. Okay, what would you like to know? Uh, let the interview begin. You said you are researching drones for work. What exactly do you do? Well, I work at an online advertising agency. It's actually a startup company. Wow, that sounds intense. I wonder what that's like. Haha, <laughs> I get that a lot. I will say we're pretty prolific, mostly because of our work environment. We've even been on TV a few times. That's really good for a startup company. It's nice, because they let us work at our own pace. Plus, our office is really modern. You should see the cafeteria. As someone who works out of a dingy little hole in the wall, I'm officially jealous. Anyway, what kind of work do you do? Hmm, mostly writing articles and vlogs, as well as event coordinating. I'm basically an advertising director. All in all, it sounds like a pretty cool position. I'd say it fits your image. Oh, uh -huh. and what image would that be? Well, stylish for starters. Someone who cares about both their appearance and their job. Basically, the ideal worker. You flyer to me. Not that I mind in the least. While we're still on this topic, I'd like to know more about your career. You're the first detective I've met after all. Well, there are plenty of def us detectives out there. Cases, on the other hand, are not as easy to come by. Have you ever dealt with any cases that were a little out of the norm? Oh, I've had my fair share. Mm -hmm. Like, like what? Let's see. For example, it was about a year ago, someone asked me to find a cat. The thing is, it was already supposed to have died. What? You were tasked with finding a dead cat? I don't get it. Apparently, my client saw a cat that looked just like the one they used to own, so they called me in to investigate. Eventually, I found the cat they described. It had this unique sort of fur pattern and a look and a light to be chased around. So, after chasing around for what felt like hours, I discovered it was actually the very same cat. What happened was that it wandered into an old lady's house and, thinking it was hers, she kept it and raised it as, his own, as her own. Wow, so that cat wasn't dead after all. Your client just lost track of it? Yep. Imagine how he felt after finding out his supposedly deceased pet was actually alive and well. 
Yeah, a lie from well in someone else's house. But still, that must have been a relief. More or less. However, there was no way to prove whose cat it actually was. So my client and the old lady were at odds with each other. Then, how did they decide to settle it? With a handshake. You see, the cat knew how to shake hands. No way! Cats can do that? Apparently my client taught it how, so yeah. And when he asked the cat to shake, it did, confirming it was his. Problem was, the old lady had gotten too attached to it. After all, she once had a cat that looked just like it herself. To make matters worse, that cat was the only family she had left. Taking it away from her would have left her devastated. <laughs> Poor lady, that's really sad. Yeah, but you know what? That cat seemed to be aware of this, having spent so much time with her. So, when it came time for his owner to take it back, the cat wouldn't budge. It just sat there, purring on the lady's lap. Really? So it was the one taking care of the old lady, not the other way around. How sweet. My client seemed to think so. And in the end, he parted ways with his pet on her behalf. No way. Yeah, I never saw that coming, but he had a lot of sympathy for her. Maybe it was a cat lover's connection. Mm. Sure sounds like it. And their arrangement worked out okay? Oh yeah, it was an outdoors cat to begin with, so my client guessed the cat would come visit him every now and then anyway. Turns out, he was right. I hear the cat spends time at both houses now. Wow, your life is a lot more eventful than I expected. Even when it comes to lost pets. Yeah, it's pretty elaborate, huh? Hello, Nanami-san. Nanami-san. Tell me a little about yourself. Okay, what would you like to know? I think I had it right the first time, actually. So, what are your hobbies, Nanami-san? Hmm, I really don't have any time for hobbies. The moment I get off work, I go straight home and crash out. Dang, sounds like you get pretty exhausted. I do. Well, to answer your question, I guess you could say that work is my hobby. Hmm. Actually, same here. What a funny coincidence. You mean work is your hobby too? Yep. I even work on the weekends. Although that's partially because I need to stay open seven days a week to pay rent. But even though it might seem like my mind's always occupied by work, I'm actually okay with that. That's because detective work is something I enjoy, so I think that qualifies as a hobby. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. You feel satisfied with life because you're consumed with something that has meaning. Isn't that the best? Yagami-san, do you find your job enjoyable? Yeah, I do. I'm glad I chose to be a detective. I see. It's important to find satisfaction in your job, as long as you're not overworking yourself 24-7. I can understand that. Sometimes it's healthier to just take it easy. So, Nanami-san. Nanami-san, tell me a little about yourself. Okay, what would you like to know? I'm gonna take a wild guess to say you're... in your 20s. Well, yeah. Your late 20s? You really want to know my age, don't you? I do. Then, I'm 29. Oh, wow. You look so young for your age. Haha, <laughs> why, thank you. Even if you are just flattering me. Hey now, I was being honest. What about you, Yagami-san? I'd say you're in your early 30s? Close enough. I'm 35. Hmm, mm, you look pretty young yourself. Long, young. <laughs> Why, thank you. Even if you are just flattering me. <laughs> what can I say? I was being honest. Well, shall we get going? Hi. Yeah, I think so. Look at the time already. That was a pleasant conversation with her. Felt like speaking to a peer, to be honest. Thank you for taking me out today, Yagami-san. It was my pleasure. Thanks for coming with. Did you have fun with me today? The most I've had in a long time, Nanami-san. Nanami-san. <laughs> then I'm glad we went out. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Nanami, is that you? Eh? Hmm? 
I knew it! Nanami, I haven't seen you in forever! Wait, Yuka? Is that you? Who else? Gosh, it's been what? Since we graduated college? Feels like that was ages ago. I know, right? What brings you to Kamurocho anyway? Oh, I actually work nearby. Who's your friend, Nan Nanami-san? Oh, this is Yoko. Yuko, we've known each other since middle school. Ah. Hey, Yuko, do you remember that time when we... Oh? Uh, Yuko? So handsome. Eh? Huh? Forget handsome. This guy's hot. Like, 110 degrees. In fact, just looking at him is burning me up inside. Oh, what should I do? Uh, hey, hey, you go, you go, get a hold of yourself. Wait, don't tell me. Is this fine specimen of a man right here your boyfriend? Huh? Boyfriend? I have no idea what you're talking about. Nanami? Nanami? I'm so proud of you. You finally decided to move on. Move on from what? Is there something I should know about? Don't listen to her, Yagami-san. She's just a little... confused. Now, listen here, Yuko. He and I are nothing more than... <laughs> oh, I know. I understand. I don't want to get in the way of your private time. Huh? What? Well then, Mr. Handsome. We'll be sure to treat Dan I mean right, okay? Well, if you don't, you'll be facing some serious trouble. Got it, I think. Good. Now, I'll see you two lovebirds later. Huh. Interesting friend you got there. Sorry, she's always been a little on the eccentric side. It's been a while since I last saw her, and she hasn't changed one bit. Thank you for today, Yagami-san. I hope you had a good time. As for me, I actually really enjoyed myself. Really? Hi. Yeah, I hope you'll share more stories with me in the future. Please, because that was a really good story, Yagami. I'd be happy to. Oh. No! No! Kim, you're not who I wanted a text message from. There we go. Sorry about today, Yagami-san. My friend got the totally wrong idea about us. Um... Yeah, I think I chose this. No worries. I didn't mind one bit. Thanks for understanding. I'll tell Yuko it was all a misunderstanding. Okay. Oh, and thanks for today. Of course. I'm glad I can make it up to you, at least in a small way. Hmm. Then hopefully this was the first date of many. Maybe. As long as I'm not the first girl of many. Hey, I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> Yet, unfortunately. Really? Well then, maybe we should try and match our schedules, lol. Oh. We can try right now. Uh, text her. Okay, let's do this. What should I say? Hey, how have you been? I've been doing well, thanks. Work is business as usual, though. What about you? Are you busy these days? More or less. I'm actually looking for stuff to do. Are you now? Should I ask her out on a date? If you're free, maybe we can hang out again? Sorry, but there's a deadline coming up for this huge project I've been working on. Understood. I'll make it up to you sometime, okay? Nice hearing from you. Ah, oh, man. I know she's busy now, but dang. I guess I can always text her later. Hi, it is not later. <laughs> yeah, why not? Hello there, Nanami-san. It's me, Yagami. You might have heard of me. LOL, are you okay? Of course I am. I just thought I'd remind you I'm still alive. Has it really been that long? Uh, no. A little. Uh, business as usual, Nanami-san. 
Actually, today was a little slower than usual. You know what I did? I went to the park and had myself a bento. It was great. It sounds like you had a nice little time. I did. I should probably do this more often. Looks like Nanami-san might have some time to spare. Should I ask her out on a date? If you're free, why don't we hang out somewhere? Good idea. Ah, yeah. Yagami-san, do you remember Yuka? You met her last time. Yeah, your friend, right? What about her? I know she was getting really excited over you. More than a lady probably should, lol. How about the three of us get together? Oh, snap. I just now realized it was here that the power outage happened and I say and I tried to save my recording like five seconds before it happened. Okay, so I am in completely blind territory. Well, not completely blind, but I am back in blind territory now. <laughs> huh, why not just the two of us? Hmm. Only if it's just the two of us. Um... I don't know. Uh, sure, I'll agree. Sure, sounds good to me. Great, I'm sure Yuka will be ecstatic. I'll contact you after I talk to Yuka. Hmm, three friends meeting up. Hope this isn't, this isn't her way of rejecting me. Though I guess taking two ladies out in the town is kind of special in its own way. Uh, ooh. Yagami-san, Yuko said that she's available anytime. When are you free next? I'm free right now, actually. Can we meet up where we did last time? Sure, in front of the arcade at Theater Square, right? We'll be waiting. Ah, perfect. I'm right here. I don't think I'll be able to give her an outfit for... Not an outfit, but a gift this time, since we'll have Yuko with us. What in the world? <laughs> Hey, Yagami-san! <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Handsome. I'm back. Hey there, ladies. Let me give you a proper introduction this time. This is Yukiko Tonegara, Tonegara but you can call her Yuko for short. <laughs> nice to officially meet you. Let's see. So I work at an office in Tokyo. I'm 29 years old and currently on the hunt for a nice, good-looking boyfriend. And this here's Yagami-san. He's a detective in Kamarocho. Nice to meet you. First name's Takayuki, and I'm 35. Hmm. W what is it? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking you were a real feast for the eyes. Uh, thank you. In case you didn't catch it earlier, Yuko's currently single. Aha. Uh -huh. She's also pretty cute, isn't she? We just have her charm to her, I will admit. Uh-huh. There's just something about you. It's like you stepped right into, out of a romance drama and into my life. Uh, <laughs> that's hilarious. So, shall we get going? Ooh, to where? Or where to? I thought I'd ask you ladies. Hmm, I really don't mind. As long as we all have fun together. Mm. Okay then. How about darts? That'd be good for three people. Sounds like a plan. It's time to cheat the competition with my pay to win darts. <laughs> Have you ever played darts before, Yuko-san? No, it's actually my very first time. I can't wait for you to teach me. <laughs> Lucky you, Yuko. Dame, dano yo. You've got yourself a handsome coach now. I sure do. Thanks for bringing him along, Nanami. Well... Let's start with the basics. Alright, first you want to throw the dart. <laughs> Did you get all that? Got it! Not only are you easy on the eyes, but you're easy to learn from too. <laughs> really? Uh, good. Then let's get started. There's my lawyer experience coming in. Trying to make keep things simple for the jury. Um, hmm. I don't know what cricket is or count up, but I'm just going to stick to probably the fastest one here. Cut! Oh wow. <laughs> I was expecting that. So it's just against her? Hmm. Oh, 
let's see. Yes. There we go. All right, you go. Show me what did I taught you. Okay, you at least hit it. What's next? Ooh, almost a bullseye. You're almost there. Nice! One. We could play for a little bit longer, but nah. I want to get out of here. So let's see. Three! <laughs> You went, Yakimi-san? Sorry, I thought I was going to soft on you. Oh, Yakimi-san, soft or hard, you can go on me anytime. I gotta say, Yakimi-san, that was pretty impressive. Wasn't it? Yeah, let's just all skip over that. That's for the best. <laughs> Now that we had our fun, why don't we sit down and talk for a while? Sure. Yes, definitely. Let's pour out our hearts to each other. Eee, I don't know how you get- I don't- Oh, you guys don't know how excited I am right now. This is totally like a matchmaking session. Then why don't I play the role of matchmaker? Show him what you got, Yuka. Ooh, I'll show him everything I have to offer. I guess Nanami-san... Nanami-san doesn't consider herself dating material. Or maybe she thinks that way about me. Now what should I talk about with these two? Hmm... I'll play along. Yuko-san, you said you work at an office here in Tokyo. I do! I'm a secretary at a stationary... Stationary company, huh? Stationary, eh? That's neat. Yeah. Isn't it? What's your favorite kind? Of mm. uh, stationary? Now, there's a question. Oh. Come on, Yuko. Do you really think he's into that type? Stuff like that? <laughs> You're right. I guess I'm just so into stationary, I automatically assume everyone else is too. What is stationary? But you know, my true passion is theater. Theatrical arts, to be precise. Theater, huh? Yep, you guys been a stage performer ever since we went to college. Wow, so you're an actor. Yeah, it's a shame that Nami doesn't come. Nanami doesn't come to any of my shows though. I I told you I've been very busy lately. You say that every time, but I know you're just not interested. Mm -hmm. Come on, that's not true at all. By the way, you san you said you two have been friends for how long? Hi. Since middle school. I knew from the day we met, we'd end up being besties for life. Hmm, and what was it about her that made you think that? Well, as soon as I saw her, I just had this feeling. It was like being hit by lightning. Have you ever felt that way? Hmm. Ooh, who did I go for? <laughs> um. Hmm. I guess we can all kind of like pull our mutual interest on Natami by saying that, that yeah, we all felt the same way about her. Hmm. But I feel like that she would like it better if I was talking about being a good sport to you, her friend too. Ah, am I just overthinking this? What should I do? I'm gonna go with my first gut instinct. Just recently as a matter of fact, it was when I first laid eyes on Natami-san. What? Me? Yep. It felt like a high voltage current coursing through my body. You sure it wasn't just static electricity? Uh... Oh. Ah. Uh, maybe it was. No wonder it felt so shocking. <laughs> oh my god! That was too cute, Yagami-san! I'm serious. Static electricity does, really does build up around this time of year. But none of me... Nanami, I bet you felt a nice little zing the moment you saw Yagami-san, right? Uh -huh. Just, what are you implying? But, Nanami? Nanami, you said it yourself, that you finally met a guy who amazed you. Oh, wait, that's not what I... Q? 
keep going? I think I was just after the first time you two met. Nanomi said you were amazing, reliable, and someone said she could actually someone she could actually respect. Oh, wow. I'm honored. Jeez, Yuko, you really can't keep a secret, can you? Well, I'm glad she did what she said what she did. That makes me really happy. Oh, come on. I said that purely out of gratitude. I mean, I do respect certain aspects of you. Girl, you would not stop raving about this guy. He's got this unique perspective, does everything his own way. Huh? Hey, I did not did I not just not tell you to stop saying things like that? What? I'm trying to help you out here. Besides, you both look like a perfectly natural couple. But you make some real cute babies. Okay, now this is getting weird. Gosh, you go. You still get Gosh, you go. You still get attached to the wrong idea and run with it as fast as it can go. You haven't changed a bit. And I'm saying that you have. When was the last time you ever complimented a guy, if at all? You used to hate men. Whoa, really? <sighs> That's a rather extreme way of putting it. I guess you're just a really special guy, Yagami-san. <sighs> Don't take her too seriously, okay? This girl loves to talk. Seems like these two really know each other. I wonder what other secrets Yuko-san will let slip. Hey, I know. Since we're all sitting here together, I wanted to ask you both. What's your ideal kind of guy? You're asking me too? Of course. Well, I'm pretty sure you're the embodiment of Nanami's, Nanami's perfect man. Hey! You said you'd only get with a man you could respect, right? Huh? Why are you focusing on me all of a sudden? Because you already know my answer, don't you? As long as he's good looking, he's good to go. Took the words right out of my mouth. Is that seriously her only criteria? So you like someone you can respect. That's a good place to start. It's also a tough place to start, given how few have earned it. Hmm. True. Respect isn't something that can be handing out to just anyone. That's why it's so valuable. Sounds like you know a lot about that. Is there someone you admire in particular? Hmm, it's kinda hard to say. Yagami-san! Better watch out, Yagami-san! As you may have noticed, Nanami's... Nanami's looks can kill, but her heart is even deadlier. Should I be scared? Uh -huh. Hey, just what are you trying to say here? Only that you're really good at attracting men without realizing it and then pushing them away once you do. You see, Nanami is incredibly capable on her own. Plus, she's super smart. So she never gives guys any leeway. Oh. Come on, that's totally not how it is. You sure? What about all those guys you rejected back in high school? And in college? And after you started working? We even brushed out the really sexy hunk back in our senior year. I still can't believe you did that. Oh. Well, I wasn't into him. What else should I have done? Hmm. Um, I think this one. Were you always that independent? Na Nanami-san? Nanami-san? Maybe so. What about the last guy you dated? <laughs> You're asking what he was like? Ooh, Yuko shook her head. <sighs> I choose- I choose not to remember. Gotcha. Yagami-san! Yagami-san, that's the one thing you can bring up around Nanami. Oh? Is that so? Please disregard that. You guys just being her usually o usual overdramatic self. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, it's fine to have topics that you don't want to, well, talk about. Yuka-san, if you only had a couple of words to describe Nanami, Nanami, Nanami-san, what would those be? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I swear I'm not doing that on purpose. As a fellow woman, I would say. Cute, yet cool, yet cute, stylish, yet smart, and I guess very hard-working. Wow, there are some good compliments. <sighs> now she's just trying to make you like me. No, I was totally being serious. You've always had the best grades out of all of us girls. Plus, you're still the prettiest. Oh, no. Are you even interested in hearing this nonsense, Yagami-san? Oh yes, I'm very interested. Why? I've always been the curious type. 
Especially about people I'm getting to know. What about you, Nan Nanami? Nanami? Nanami-san? What about me? Are you asking if I'm interested in you? I know for a fact she is. Y Yuko! I'd like to think I understand Nanami pretty well by now. Nanami! Ugh! God. English, please. This is Japanese we're dealing with. Are you actually interested in me, Nanami-san? Well, I think you're a very interesting person. I suppose I should be glad to hear that. Oh, well that's one way to end the conversation. Now then, maybe we should start heading out. Sure. Sure. Hey, Yagami-san. Why don't you exchange numbers with Yuko? Sure, that's a good idea. Hey, Nanami? Nanami? Hmm? What is it? Me being friendly with Yagami-san doesn't bother you at all? Why would it? Well, as long as it's alright with you, I guess it's fine. Okay then. Come on, Yagami-san. Let's see that smartphone. Sure. So, Yuka, did you enjoy yourself today? Oh yeah, and I'm assuming you did too. You did too? I'm sh I sure hope she did. Don't worry, I had fun. Hmm, so this is the type of girl we're dealing with, huh? Why don't you go on a date next time? Just the two of you. You don't have to be so blunt, Yuka. Well, thanks for coming out today. No, thank you for taking us. Let's keep in touch, okay? Oh, <laughs> you really meant it. Thank you for meeting up with Yuko today. She was really happy to see you. Did you have a good time too? Oh, absolutely. Then let's hang out again. Just the two of us. <laughs> I'll think about it. Such a dry response. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh wait, I got a new contact. What's her thing? I love studs! Ah, <laughs> uh, is that from Yuko? Or is that... yeah. Thanks for today, Yagami-san! No, thank you. I actually had a really great time. Oh, that's because you're such a fun guy. By the way, I'm pretty sure Nanami's, Nanami's interested in you. You mentioned something like that during the date. Why? Nanami brings you up a lot whenever we talk. She wouldn't talk about you so much. She wouldn't talk about you so much if she wasn't interested in you. Besides, I was watching how she acted during the date. It's just a hunch, but I felt something there. Guess you can call it a woman's instinct. But she said she wasn't interested in dating. That's just an excuse so she doesn't get hurt by anyone. She may not look like it, but she's actually pretty sensitive. Really now. Yep, that's why Nanami will never take the first step. Please, just ask her out on a date. I'm sure Nana Nanami will open her up her heart if it's with you. Ooh. I'm sure Nanami will open up her heart if it's with you. If I say it right, then so be it. You sure? Totally. I know she'll say yes. She will? How many times are you gonna ask? The only thing it- The only thing it takes to unfreeze her frozen heart is your burning love. I've got plenty of that. But if Nanami- Nanami will still won't budge, you can always give me some sort of- some of that fire. Heck, I'm hot enough for you as it is. Haha, <laughs> sure thing. Alright, Nanami-san, check out this fire pickup line. Oh my god. Ha! <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Hi, what's up? Okay, I totally chickened out, but still. Okay, sure, Yagami. Should I ask her on a date? I was just wondering if you're free. 
that maybe we could go out sometime? Oh, sorry. Now it's not really the best time. Gotcha. No worries then. Sorry, my schedule's been crazy lately. Hmm. Guess I should have figured as much. Sorry for bugging you. Uh, maybe I should have went to the other option. No, I'm sorry for turning you down. I know she's always hustling, but I wish she'd make a little time for me. Time to text Nanami-san. Hey there. Hey, what's going on? Okay, I definitely will ask her out for a date this time. Wanna grab lunch or dinner? Which would you prefer? Hmm, how about lunch? Awesome. The thing is, I'm still not sure about my schedule today. Is it okay if I contact you later? Yeah, sure thing. And now we play the waiting game. I hope she really does contact me. Does that mean she doesn't want me texting her until then? Ah, here we go. Alright, I figured I had to check this again. Alright, let's see. I think now should be good. I'll send Nanami-chan a text. Hey. What does your schedule look like lately? There any time to hang out? Oh, sorry I haven't gotten back to you. I've been pretty loaded down with work. I have no idea how my schedule looks. I guess that means you don't have time to hang out. Yeah, sorry about that. This isn't going anywhere. I know Yuko-san said Nana, Nanami-san was interested in me, but ooh, whoops, is that that way too, wait, uh, did that too fast. I wonder how to move our relationship forward from here. Hmm, okay. No, probably not for a while. If I keep bugging her, she'll probably just shut me out completely. Is there another way to confirm Nanami-chan's feelings for me? Now here we go. Nanami-chan keeps turning me down even when I ask her directly. Maybe I'll ask Yuko-san for advice. I know. Yuko-san might be able to help. Hey there, can I ask you something about Nanami-san? Sure. Sure, if it's, if it's something I can answer. Okay, so I've been asking Nanami-san out for... Nanami-san out for a date several times, but she keeps turning me down. Is that normal for her? She hasn't gone out with you at all? Hmm, that is rather odd. Is it? Because it feels like she's brushing me off. If my hunch is correct, Nanami should be pretty into you. And that's why I thought she might want to go out with me, but so far, that hasn't happened. Can I ask you one thing? What is it? What are your feelings towards Nanami? You keep asking her out because you're interested in her, right? I'm definitely interested in her. Does that mean you like her? I guess you can say that. Okay then. Can we meet up right now? I'm gonna talk to you about this some more. Sure thing. I'll be waiting at Wick Kitchen on West Taihei Boulevard. Alright. Now this is the thing though. Uh, just pestering her like this is like fine because what if she's actually busy and she doesn't mean to blow up Yagami like this. And it's like eh. I don't know. I'm sensing another topic that we can talk about at the end of this storyline. <laughs> but alright, now that we're here, let's see. Where's Yuko? There she is. Thanks for waiting, Yuko-san. My pleasure, Yagami-san. You're looking handsome as ever. Thanks. So, about Nanam Nanami-san. Looks like you, even you couldn't penetrate her icy facade. What a waste. I'm missing your chance to get to know a wonderful guy like you. Mm. Well, if she's not interested, then there's not much that I can do. Yes, true. Don't think like that, Yagami-san. My instincts has been telling me she's actually really into you. You sure about that? 100% sure. 
What I think is happening is that she's getting too caught up in her past, so she's closing herself off. What happened to her? Mm. Mm, I'm not really at liberty to bring that up, even to a nice guy like you. I see. That's too bad. Okay, this is just between me and you. Eh? Well, you're gonna tell me after all? <laughs> I can't help it. You see, I'm just too much of a blabbermouth and you're too much of a hottie. Uh. And I'm glad I was born with these charming good looks. But you have to swear in your life that you didn't hear this from me, okay? Uh, I'm not sure I can do that. Mm. Mm, not sure I can do that. Then my lips are sealed. I figured as much. You really don't want to know? Yes. Fine, I swear. Alright, I'll hold you to that then. Okay, here's what happened. So, then, so Nanami had this really awful boyfriend. I'm talking major sleazeball here that went and cheated on her. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a real bastard. He was. I'm not sure when Nanami saw a sound in him, but she basically gave him her heart. But and what did he end up doing? He threw it away like it was nothing. After that, a messy breakup ensued. <sighs> That's terrible. Yep. It left such a deep emotional scar, it changed my friend forever. I see. So I guess it's not such a good time to ask her out, huh? Well, after meeting a wonderful guy like you, I honestly thought she'd be able to move forward. Oh. Yagami-san? Do you really like Nanami? Nanami? I think I can confidently say I like her. Would you be comfortable dating her? Oh, of course. You're serious. Uh. I am. Okay, then I've decided to help you out. Thanks, but how? Mm. You'll need an excuse to surpass her defenses. An excuse? Yeah, something work-related, for example. Nanami just loves her job. That she's so anti-dating at the moment, it might work better if you got to know her as a colleague. Mm. You think so? But I work as a detective. We're world apart. A detective? Okay, I can work with that. Give me a moment. Aha! Okay, I think I've got the perfect plan. What is it? How about you take her on an investigation? Mm -hmm. What? I can't do that. Why not? All you have to do is say she's your assistant. Besides, she seems to really dig your career. And I don't have anything going on right now that'll make it seem legitimate. Hmm, okay then. Yeah, I did all the side cases already that I'm allowed to do. Ooh, hey, how about this? You thought up something else? Yeah, this is right out of a scene from one of my favorite movies. A detective and a woman he's working with pretend to be a couple to avoid drawing suspicion from their target. At first, it's a fake romance, but the two gradually start getting to know each other in various intimate ways. Uh. You're not saying. It's exactly what I'm saying. We're gonna ask Nami to ask your girlfriend and pretend like it's part of an investigation. Uh. I knew it. Yeah, and in that movie, those two actually end up falling in love. Then they end up living a happy life together. Does that sound like a dream come true? Maybe, but I don't think that tactic will work on anything I'm involved with. Mm. Okay then, L let's stop there. I feel like we're so close. Ooh, hey, what about this? You really are creative, aren't you? Darn straight. When you're a talented actress like me, all the world's a stage and everyone's a player. What does that have to do with anything? Because assuming a needed role is what I need to or I was born to do. As such, I've amassed a nice collection of props and disguises. Are you saying... I'll be the target for your investigation. That way, you and Nanami can be the... Whole, can do the whole pretend couples thing. My role shall be that of a desperate housewife looking for love in all the wrong places. No, no, no. This, that is a perfect recipe for failure. You mean the perfect opportunity to capture Nanami's heart. Trust me, there's no way anything can go wrong. No, everything can go wrong. Think about the excitement here. The thrill working close together on the case. The rush of avoiding danger. Mm. 
but even with a good disguise, I feel I should recognize you. Here, maybe a photo will sway your opinion. This is one of my more generic worlds too. Oh. Damn. Not only can I alter my appearance, I can also change my mannerisms. The way I walk, how I speak, everything. That's why I'm telling you, she definitely won't find out. If this is your level of quality, this might actually work. See? I even have a friend from my theater group who can act in my accomplice. Accomplice. So we've got our bases covered. Hmm. I ain't honestly rather not trick her. Well, of course not. Unfortunately, I think this is the only way to get to her. How about we just have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her? We can do that instead. Hmm. I'm not so sure. Jeez. You are super indecisive, you know that? Contact me whenever you've made up your mind. Ah, uh, this is the only way to progress though. Alright. Yuko-san, how about that plan we talked about? Oh, the fake investigation? Are you finally up to the task? Ah, fine, let's do it. Yeah, that seems to be the only way to go about it. No, that's what I'm talking about. All you have to do is invite Natami out and let me know in advance. I hope this turns out okay. Okay, all I need to do is ask Natami-san out. Hey there. Hi, what's up Yagami-san? Should I go through with this? There's no going back from here. I actually wanted to ask you, can you help me out with an investigation? You mean like one of your side cases? Yep, exactly what they're called. Yeah, I'm investigating an infidelity case, but my target is starting to catch on to me, so I need to throw her off somehow. That's where you come in. By pretending to be a couple, we can blend in with the environment and avoid suspicion. Ooh, that sounds really exciting! Count me in. Whoa, she really jumped at the chance, huh? I'm serious. I'm totally down to help however I can. Perfect. Now let's go get that cheater. Oh yeah, I gave her an outfit as a gift. Should I see if she'll wear it? Yeah. Hey, remember that outfit I gave you? I bet that would help us look the part. I was debating on that myself. But I think you're right, so I'll wear it. That's the plan. I'll contact you when I'm ready to go. She seems, she seems really fired up about this. I should report this to Yuko-san. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Alright, here you go. She agreed to go with me. I knew she would, especially with some infidelity case. So where would we, should we hold the investigation? Well, we're pretending to be a couple, so somewhere a couple might go. Like somewhere with a lot of love hotels? Love hotels? That does seem plausible. Let's make it the hotel district then. I'll be running around there, so make sure to follow me. I got, there. got it. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it looks like our target's in the hotel district. Yep. I'll be counting on you. So this has an end in total disaster. Ah. Uh, I don't like this. Ah, oh, I can't go into my uh, suit. That's fine. I want to at least match with her somewhat. Do we need to go up there? Should I just run there or should I taxi? Let's just run. Alright, here we go. So at this spot, huh? Ooh. Hey, Yagami-san. Hey there. Sorry to drag you out like this. Actually, I'm happy to help. I mean, we're going on the real detective case here. There's no way I passed that up. All white heels? Oh, wow. Yeah, this really suits her. No pun intended. 
<laughs> little smile. <laughs> What do you think? Do I look like I could be your girlfriend? That's perfect. Looks great on you. Yay! I'm glad I spent all that time getting dressed up. Oh, that's right. Maybe I should give Nanami-san a present. Hmm. So let's see. It's smart and elegant design. So this sounds like it'd be good. Smart and elegant. That sounds like Nanami here. Here is a little something for you, Nanami-san. Wow, is this really okay? I mean, how expensive was this? Expensive enough to show you how much I care. <laughs> okay then. Well, it's a little heavy, but I'm happy with it anyway. Thanks. Feel free to use it as much as you like. Sure. Maybe she was a tad uncomfortable with the price. Oh, really? Okay. Do you have any problem acting like a couple? Not at all. In fact, I've been doing extensive metal preparation just for this. You sure seem excited. Well, an opportunity like this only comes around once in a blue moon. Is the target here yet? She should be showing up any minute now. Oh, there she is. Ah, there she is. That's who we're looking for? Wow, she sticks out like a sore thumb. Huh? I feel like I've seen her around before. Maybe that's just your imagination. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, I wouldn't stare too much at the target if I were you. Otherwise, she might catch on to us. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Avoid unnecessary, unnecessary eye contact. That's one of the basics of investigation. Magic attack, sir. Nanami knows Yuko so well. She might be able to recognize her even at a sub subconscious level. We should definitely keep our distance. Alright, so we're going to do our best to follow her around without being noticed. Is this what you call telling? Yep. Whatever actions we take from here on out, we need to be absolutely sure not to raise her suspicion. Looking at her face is especially off-limits. Understood. I'll be careful not to mess things up. Ooh. We're just starting to fade on his own. Oh my god. So is she behind me, I wonder. Oh, she is! Would you look at that? She's more present than Kaito was. <laughs> Alright, here we go. First checkpoint. Oh, I wonder what she's up to. Uh. Uh-oh! I think she's starting to notice us. I didn't ask her to go over the top like this. Hmm? You know, she really does remind me of someone. Who could that be? Ah, this is not good. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Shh, we need to pretend like we're a couple. Oh, right. Why do you keep looking this way? This is getting kind of embarrassing. Are you going to be staring at us this whole time? El Sai Kongro. What? <laughs> Big wet kiss? Oh, that was Yagami. Okay, what's well, is that what she's trying to tell me? Before it's too late. Man, for a second there, I thought it was all over. Yeah, our cover was almost blown, huh? Right, and that's what I meant. Mm hmm? Hmm? Alright, let's go see what she's up to.
Oh, okay. Complete. You think she's having a little rendezvous with her secret lover inside? Only one way to find out. Guess we'll have to play the waiting game. Alright, now's my chance to talk to her. Well, instead of just waiting around, we might as well talk about something. That's what a normal couple would do. Yeah, here we go. I see her right there too. Uh, let's talk about the investigation. I wanted to say this earlier, but thanks for helping me out today. No problem! I've always wondered how detectives do their jobs, so I'm glad you let me tag along. And besides, people who cheat should be punished. It's pretty disrespectful, I'll say that much. Bad thing is, I see it happen over and over again in this line of work. Why do you think that is? I wonder. I can't really understand what would go through a cheater's mind. Right? It's like, why would I even have a relationship to begin with? I knew she would like that answer. If you really loved someone, you wouldn't be able to hurt them like that. Too true. Ooh. So I noticed we haven't really gone out in a while. Is it that I'm getting in the way of your work? What? That's not it. You sure you're not just avoiding me? Hey, I really have been busy. I mean it. Sorry if it's an uh, inconvenience. I never said it was. But why ask me so directly? Well, I heard from Yuko-san that you've been turning down every guy who's asked you out. And I guess I didn't want you to think of me as just another heartbreaker. I would never think that, ever, because Nyagami-san, I think you're special. You do? Yes, you saved my life, and you and you're constantly surpassing my expectations. No one else is like that. Hmm. Ooh, a god. So you don't automatically hate me then? Like, can you see me as a love interest? I think I should go for this. But... But, can you see me as a love interest? Well, I wouldn't outright reject you. I do think you're a pretty good guy. I'm glad you think that way. Sorry if anything I said rubbed you the wrong way. See, if, if we didn't have to do this thing with Yuko, and we were able to just have this conversation at some point, then this would've been just totally fine. Nanami-san, has anyone ever cheated on you before? There was this guy I dated. Uh-huh. I loved him from the bottom of my heart, you know? I would've done anything for him. But he ended up cheating on me like it was no big deal. Caught it a moment of weakness. Douchebag. So that's what happened. Yeah, I was still young and naive, so I felt like my whole world was centered around him. What an idiot I was for trusting him. Even though it happened so long ago, it still stings. I'm sorry you had that experience. Well, it was a long time ago. I thought I'd completely forgotten about it. And here I am, lost in that awful memory like it was only yesterday! Like it was only yesterday. Sorry, I feel bad now. No, it's not your fault, Yagami-san. I'm letting this stay in the past, so it doesn't bother me anymore. Or at least, it shouldn't bother me. Maybe I'm not really over it. Is that why you haven't had a boyfriend for a while? Well... I wouldn't say that's the only reason, but it's not completely unrelated either. So, like I've mentioned before, I'm not interested in dating anyone. But at the same time, I feel like I'm burying myself in work in order to hide from my past. At least Yuko thinks so. Then, if you met someone that was right for you, would you give that person a chance? Well, yes, I would. If someone like that even exist existed. You haven't met anyone like that yet. Hmm. Who knows? 
I see you're dodging the question. Oh boy. Oh yeah, while we're at it, why don't we take a picture together? For old time's sake? <laughs> sure, why not? Ah, uh, here we go. I want to take a picture of her while she has the suit on. Um... <laughs> this is Yagami's guild coming through. Okay, let's see how it turned out. Hmm, looks good. I'll send this to her later. <sighs> I never imagined that we open up about my past to anyone, let alone a guy. I'm glad you did, because now I feel like I know you a little better. Hi. I feel I got to know you too. Did your impression of me change at all? Yeah. Nope, still the same. I still think you're a wonderful, wonderful person. Thanks for being so understanding. Um, hey, Yagami-san? What's up? I think our target's watching us. Ah, uh, oh. Did we get caught? Yes. <laughs> Don't tell me. She wants me to get more physical? Alright, in order to throw her off, we have to do something only a couple would do. Hmm, I wonder what that would be. Um, this will be overstepping boundaries. Will you feed me something? Huh? You want me to feed you? Yeah, love us feed each other all the time. Uh, no. All I have is this coffee spoon. <laughs> I'm sure she can't tell from this distance. Uh, Alright then, here it goes. Uh, no. Open wide. <laughs> Ah. Uh, honestly, that was so embarrassing. But we managed to throw her off her suspicion. Oh. So it seems. Oh my goodness. That is a loud. What is that? Parker? Or not Parker. Oh. Parka. Oh, isn't that her secret lover? Probably. Why don't we take a picture, just in case? Oh, no. Ooh, can I take the picture? Sh sure, just don't get too close. Of course, I'll make sure I won't get found out. Alright, picture perfect. Hmm? Mm. I swear I've seen this face before. M maybe she looks like someone famous. Ah, you might be right. Ew. Well, we managed to get what I needed, so I think that's all for today. And we did it without getting caught. Uh... Seriously, then we had a few close calls, didn't we? Hmm? We did? I mean, didn't you, you point out yourself that she's looking at us, so... Yeah. Thanks for coming, Nanami-san. I managed to get some solid evidence. <laughs> of course, I was thrilled to do it. I've never done anything remotely like this before. Three to four. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Even though we were acting, it still made my heart flutter. Was it like that for you too? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's been a long time since I felt this excited about something. You know, I really enjoyed having you along today. Thanks, I had a great time too. Let me know when you have any new investigations, okay? Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Are we only allowed to hang out if it's work-related? Huh? Or, or if work is involved? Huh? I want to get to, you know, I want to get to know you, Nanami-san, on a more personal level. Hi. Truthfully, I want the same thing. Really? <laughs> yes, I learned so much about you today, aside from your skills as a detective, and I like what I saw. <laughs> so, what I'm really, what I'm trying to say is, I'd also like to spend more time with you. Wait. I seem to have a pretty good chance here, don't I? Does that mean our next date will be a real one? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it would. Well then, I'll give you a call sometime. Hi. Okay, I'll be waiting. And follow up. Hey Yagami-san, I wanted to thank you for the valuable experience today. And for listening to me. No, 
Thank you for cooperating with me. Did you report your findings to the client? No, not yet. It's not that easy to break the news. I understand. When you find out what happens, please tell me. Oh, and you go. Yep. So how's everything going with none of me? Good, I hope. So far, so good. I think she'll probably go out with me again. Yay! So our plan worked! I still feel bad lying to her though. Oh, I'd do anything bad, jacoby san Besides, I pushed you to do this. Uh, and I agreed to do it. Well, what's more important is what happens next. That's right! You gotta ask her out. No. No. You can't start a relationship on a bed of lies like this, even if it's... Uh, I don't know. I feel like there shouldn't be much leeway for something like this, especially when it comes to past trauma. Do I got a message here myself? I do. Yeah. I mentioned just during our investigation the other day, but do you want to hang out together? Yes, I'd love to. Awesome, I did it. Just to make sure, it'll just be the two of us, right? Of course, LOL. I won't bring Yuko this time. Cool. Um, can we go out for dinner tonight? Sure. Should we meet up at our usual place? In front of the arcade at Theater Square? Absolutely. See you there. Great. Then I head over there once this time. And that time is now. Ooh. You know, this outfit is actually pretty good too. Yagami -san. Hey, Yagami-san. Whoa. Check you out. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to change things up a bit. So, what do you think? Yeah, you look cute. <laughs> I think you look fabulous. I knew I was right on the money with this one. I've never seen you in a skirt before. I don't normally wear them around guys. So that means you've gotten more comfortable around me. Hi. Let's just say today's special. Should I be happy about that? <laughs> you tell me. Oh, that's right. Maybe I should give Nanami san a present. Let's see. A student's budget, a popular choice. Oh, she actually might like this if price was a concern for her. Hmm. I don't remember if these were expensive. Let's see. She has a refined jewel with her price to match. Yeah, let's try the teardrop earrings. Nanami-san, here's something I thought would look good on you. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, I don't know if you'll like it or not though. No, it's adorable! Thanks, Yagami-san! I'm glad she's happy with it. Okay, she wasn't ecstatic though, so there's still a better option. Now, where should we go today? We went drone racing, we went darts. Let's go to the batting center. Why don't we hit the batting gauge? I could use a little exercise. Hi. Sure, I could use some exercise myself. Guess it's just the two of us today, huh? <laughs> Aw, are you lonely without Yuko making her use your racket? Haha, <laughs> I wanted to say that. Wanna go against each other again? <laughs> you bet I do. Alright, here we go. Yes. Perfect. 10 out of 10. I still only get a thousand worth? I think that's a thousand. Or maybe 10,000. Awesome. Looks like I still got it. That really was awesome. I can't even dream of getting such a high score. Heh. <laughs> I'm glad I could actually impress her. This might be an uphill battle. Because her intimacy bar is not as high as I think it should be at the moment. <laughs> ah, that was just what I needed. Time really flies when you're having fun. Okay, how about we sit down and talk somewhere? Sure. Any particular requests? Hmm, I could go for a drink. Perfect. Bantam's actually close by, so let's go there. How well can you hold your liquor? Or your alcohol? Oh, I can take a few drinks. 
I mean, a few sips, and I'll still be fine. Sounds like you can hold yourself pretty well. What about you, Yakimi-san? I bought the same. I would bet that you can drink a lot more than you let on. Am I right? Haha, <laughs> yeah, you got me. What should we talk about? Maybe we can get a little more intimate today. Let's see. What would be a good what would be good to say right now? Hey, I have an idea. Since we both seem to be seasoned alcoholics, why don't we see who can drink the most? No, oh, is that a challenge I hear? Alright then. Truth be told, I'm tougher than I look. Our company's full of strong drinkers, so I have to learn how to hold my own. Good. Then this should be a nice challenge. Why don't we spice spice things up a bit? Let's turn this into a drinking game. Okay. Like what? How about we each guess something we think is true about the other person? And if it really is true, that person has to drink. Then we alternate. Really? What kind of game is that? Think about it as a good opportunity to get to know me and get me wasted in the process. Or you might just end up wasted yourself. It's all up to how good your intuition is and how well you can drink. Oh, oh I know what this is. This is your strategy for picking up girls, isn't it? Possibly. That's actually a good question to start with. See, you're- see? You're a natural at this game. Real smooth, Yagami-san. But now you've piqued my interest, so let's do this. Alright, then how about I let you go first? Hmm, gotta think of something good. Okay, Yagami-san. I believe you currently have a girlfriend. Wow, you don't boot around the bush at all, do you? I don't think that's true, because... We haven't made things official with Sana yet, and Mafuyu is just there, unfortunately, because of this gameplay mechanic, probably. Actually, I'm still single, so drink up. Seriously? Alright, it's my turn. Somehow I'm starting to get nervous. Don't guess anything dirty, okay? Let's see. Hmm... Oh my god. <laughs> There's someone you're really into right now. Hmm, it's kind of hard to say. So there is someone after all. There is? Who is it? Do I know this person? Let's not jump too far ahead. The person I'm into might be a celebrity, or maybe a friend I haven't seen in a while. Or perhaps a potential- oh, or perhaps a potential boyfriend. Oh. Hey, only one question at a time. Besides, it's my turn now. Ah, I guess you're right. Go ahead then. Let's see. Uh, Yagami-san? Yagami I bet you get lonely pretty easily. Hmm, I'm not sure I would. I mean, I don't. Just automatically. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you don't look like it at first glance, but I can sense it deep down. Ooh. Your senses are quite refined. I have been pretty. I have been feeling pretty lonely lately, since I haven't seen you in so long. There we go. You feel that way? Because of me? Oh. Hey, you're just teasing me, aren't you? Haha, <laughs> I'm actually being serious here. You live alone too, don't you? I'm sure you can relate. Well, yes, but I hardly ever notice it. I guess I'm so busy that I don't even have time to be lonely. In a way, that's sort of a lonely existence in of itself. So this, ne? I won't disagree with that. Well, you're up next. Let's see. Um... You haven't had a boyfriend in over five years. Oh, did I get it right? Yeah, I guess it has been a while. Have you ever thought about looking for one? That had crossed my mind a few times. But I'm practically married to my job anyway, so I don't need a man in my life. You're breaking the hearts of a lot of eligible gentlemen by saying that. 
And is that supposed to include you, Yagami-san? Should I count that as your question? Yeah, it's my turn anyway, so... I think you're sad because of what I just told you. Ha! Huh, gotcha! I'm not just sad. I'm miserable. Anguished. Emotionally devastated. Nanami-san, how could you be so cruel? <laughs> I hope you're not the type who cries whenever they're drunk. I sure hope not either. Okay, my next, my turn. Let's see. Hmm. I'm guessing you like men that are a little older. Hmm. Do I? So you do like older guys. I like men who can do their job. So I guess I see that more in older guys. Confidence, yeah. I'm six years older than you, so I guess I have a chance too. Hmm. I'm sure that question violates the rules of my game in some way, so I can't answer it. You won't even give me a hint? Dang. Guess I'm up next. Let's see. Um... You're actually not good at cooking. Gee, thanks. But you're right. I rarely cook for myself since I'm always at work. I thought I could make anything even close to edible. Hmm. Do I relate to her or say that I don't mind? I think these are both good ways to go about this conversation. I'll sympathize with her though, because this is true. I'm actually not much of a cook either. I end up going out instead of eating at home. Yeah, there we go. That sure gets expensive after a while. Okay, my turn to guess. You regret quitting your job as a lawyer. Actually, I don't regret it at all. Not even a tiny bit? Nope. Detective work suits me much better. Interesting. Especially coming from someone with enough brains and talent to pass the bar exam. Did I tell her that I was a lawyer? Huh. You really do carve your own path, don't you? Yeah, I suppose I do. Guess I'm up now. Let's see. I mean, I'm done, but let's go ahead and ask her the rest of these questions. Even this one. Okay, I will wager that your yearly income is... over 5 million yen. Well, I certainly didn't see that one coming. Are you serious? Oh my god! Whoa. You're loaded. That's mostly because of my overtime pay. Our company usually has us working on the weekends, so... Then will you tell me your base salary? That information is classified. <laughs> nah. Either way, I doubt many people your age who keep up with your with you salary wise. I highly doubt that. Yagami-san, do you feel inferior to me? <laughs> huh? You do? Wait, you're cutting that as part of the game? Of course I feel inferior to an amazing person like you, Nanami-san. Flattery won't get you anywhere, you know? Not even a flattering guess? Let's see. You've done at least one job you'd rather not tell anybody. You mean a job I'm not exactly proud of? She's driven to almost all of these so far, right? Oh, you actually have. Well, it was something I couldn't tell my parents about. What was it? It wasn't sexual or anything like that. But I was pretty much a stand-in hostess for one of my friends that got sick at the time. Hmm. I can see how you wouldn't want to tell your parents. What about you? Have you ever done a job you'd rather keep a secret? Ooh. Aha! So you have. The fake stakeout I did with Nanami. Ah, uh, Nanami the other day exactly that. What kind of job was it? Can't say. My profession requires me to keep things confidential. I see. That's kind of a bummer. It's my turn to guess. Should I? I guess. It's the last thing. There are times when you're alone, and you decide to do it when no one else is looking. Huh? Excuse me? I said, sometimes you like to do it by yourself. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and what do you mean by to it? Think about it. What else could it be? Whoa. Seriously? It's true. Sometimes you get so frustrated. I need to do some solo karaoke to reset all that pent up emotion. You know, I was in my head. I was actually thinking about making a back like I sing back in me time when I'm alone, and like it's actually kind of worked out. <laughs> what? You asked me if I did it by myself. You were talking about karaoke, yes? Hey, you totally know what I meant. Yagami san, you are being vague as hell right now. Besides, I already told you, nothing dirty. Y yes, ma'am. Good. My turn now. Yagami-san, I bet you do it by yourself too. Oh, oh so you do? Well, yeah. Doesn't everyone? By the way, I was also talking about solely karaoke in this context, okay? <laughs> Fine with me. That's what I meant. I'll just leave that up to your imagination. Ugh, you're terrible, you know that. My turn now. Uh, uh, hold on, I don't think I can drink anymore. Did the alcohol finally get to you? Hi. Yes, I feel like going any further would be dangerous. I'm slightly curious to what you mean by that, but I'd rather let this end on a high note. So let's stop for today. Thank you, Yagami-san. You really are a nice guy. Hey, I want to ask you something seriously. What is it? Could you ever see me as your boyfriend? You really want me to answer that? I do. <sighs> well, I certainly respect you as a person. I always enjoy our talks, and I admire your unique perspective on life. So does that mean there's hope for me? I'd say if there was a situation where I absolutely had to choose a man to be with, Right now, you're the strongest candidate. I suppose I should be happy to hear that. But that's just hypothetical, okay? Hmm. She's still holding on. Why don't we call it a night? Hi. Yeah, let's do that. Something tells me you're a little tipsy. That's not true. Oh boy, you're not just tipsy, you're sloshed, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I really haven't drunk this much in a while, or had this much fun. Sloshed. That's a word. Yagami-san? Yagami -san? I still don't feel like going home just yet. You know when you're having the time of your life, and then you realize it's time to go? That's what I'm feeling right now. Yeah, I can definitely relate. Hmm. Why don't we hit up another bar? Let's just drink the night away. <laughs> Wanna drink till the sun comes up? Sounds good to me. I trust you, Yagami-san. There we go. Level 5. Thanks. Look at these you. <laughs> I really should thank Yuko-san for making all this possible. She's the real re reason this is going so well. Huh? Nanami-san, is everything okay? And there it is. Ah. I knew I've seen that poster somewhere before. So our target was actually Yuko this whole time. I assume you knew this? W well Of course you did. After all, you were the one investigating her. I... uh... <sighs> I'm sorry to say this, but yes. I knew. Did you team up with Yuko just to make a fool of me? That wasn't my intention at all. All I wanted to do was to get to know you better. But why? What made you feel the need to make such an elaborate lie? It's kind of complicated, but basically I just want to get your attention. I didn't mean for it to turn out this way. 
Now you're saying you're not above deceit and manipulation to get what you want? You make me sick. Nanami, that's not what I... I trusted you. And you betrayed that trust. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Here it comes. That's why I opened up to you. I mean, I showed you the deepest part of my heart. And I respect that, Nanami-san, but... Save your excuses for some other naive girl. I'm done with you. Have a nice life, detective. Damn. What the hell just happened? From just a random poster that's up on the wall. That was up on the wall. Ah, but that's... That's... Uh, that's it though. If I continue anymore, that will probably accidentally start it. Ah, uh, but okay. Back to the office then. Because we have some things that we need to talk about. Since we're pretty much done with the storyline now. Okay, so... Nanami, huh? Alright, uh, I'll need a, a little bit to gather my thoughts though. So I guess the thing with this relationship, with this storyline is... Setting boundaries. Boundaries, trauma, and trust. Yeah. So, with all that being said, I've already been kind of... Been speaking out my honest thoughts as we went through this storyline, but yes. Yagami and Yuko should not have gone about this this way. And it kind of really surprises me that during my first ever playthrough of this game, none of this what clicked in my head. And I kind of feel ashamed for that, honestly. It wasn't until I watched somebody else's Let's Play of Judgment and they did this uh, relationship storyline that it opened my eyes to what was really going on and just all the things that they're doing wrong. And the terrible thing about all this is too, is the fact that Yagami is very clearly attracted to Nanami. It's like, even, we only have Sana to compare it to right now, but even with just her, Yagami is so much more active in trying to seek out a relationship with Nanami compared to Sana so far. And so the fact that he felt like he needed to do this, even though he was kind of forced into it by Yuko, then it just really puts a sour like, spotlight on this entire story with Kim trying to get with Nanami. And I also don't like the fact that the developers are kind of railroading you into this path, even though it's not the right one that you should take if you want to try to be with someone that has trauma and just scars from a past relationship. The best thing that you should do is to give them that space and just let things happen naturally and make your intentions clear. Because they're, because at the same time, you should not still stay friends with someone with just the hopes that you become something more in the future. Because you're just wasting your own time by that point, by trying to hope for the best and it's also just not healthy because you're pretty much obsessing over somebody by that point. There's just sometimes things don't happen and that's okay. I feel like that's what the game is going to teach us when we get to the final parts of her storyline. But even then, I just wanted to get all this out here now. Ah, God, I hope I didn't miss anything in what I wanted to talk about, but that felt like everything. So, yeah. Uh, but alright, I'm gonna take a small break here with the recording. It's been over 5 hours since I've been playing, including all the time that I spent in Dyson Cube. So yeah, I'm gonna take this break now to rest my voice even though, thankfully with, uh, with Nanami. With Nanami and Yuko, their voices are not like Sada, so it doesn't exhaust me as much as hers did when I was just doing this the first time. So yeah. I feel fine, but I should definitely take a break because I need to get something to eat and just pull all my energy into the next half of this video. So, with all that being said, I'll see you guys in a bit. 
Ooh, man. Ah, uh, <laughs> Wow. The audio, huh? Yeah. Ah. Uh, all I can say is sorry about that. Apparently, when I was doing my test, it sounded fine then, but and then it got into the actual recordings, and I started playing, and I realized after listening to like, oh my god. My voice sounds terrible, or at the very least it sounds irritating to the vo uh, to the ears with the boominess or the moneyness. I don't know what it is specifically that makes it sound like that, but hopefully me treating the sound in post will help out a little bit, so yeah. Sorry about that, but now I'm back to normal, so screw recording my audio to OBS, I guess. <laughs> back to audacity it is. That's fine. Right. That being said, I want to do a little bit of the friendship events and side cases first before we get back into the girlfriend stuff. So let me see. I think we have a case open here now, right? No. Not yet. Okay. Alright, in that case, since I need level 45 and there is a... No, don't continue the main story yet. Since we need a level 45, then let me go ahead and... The Toshiroku. Toshiro? Tashiroku. That's up here by Yenda's office. So, let's see what's going on there with him. That's really crazy. I wonder why there's such a big difference between how I sound when I record through Audacity and how I sound when I record through OBS. Is it because the compressors and stuff are being applied live, quote unquote, on OBS? So, it doesn't make it sound as good? I don't know. Ah, uh, but alright, we're here. What's going on? Hmm? Hmm? Isn't that... Oh god, um... Who the fuck do you... Oh, no, not that high. Um, well, actually, that could work. Who the fuck do you think you are? Asking for protection money here? You ass has forget this is Masagani Turf? <laughs> I think you mean it was Masagani Turf. Dapper Yakuza. Word on the street is, your patriarch's dead. For the longest time, Captain Hamura was the man in charge around here, but that's in the past now. We'll be handling, handling this story from here on out, so why don't you go run along now? Ah? Tch, fucking pricks. Tashiro-kun. It's Tashiro-kun. Who's that he's arguing with? Think about it. You're about to get beat to death, maybe halfway if I'm feeling generous. And for what? Loyalty? To a piece of shit like Masagani? You got some daddy issues, kid. Now beat it before I really get pissed. Shut the fuck up! Huh? What? I said, shut the fuck up! I swore an oath to the Masagani family, and I'm always ready to back it up, even with my life. I'm not the kind of bastard who'd abandon his patriarch just because he died. Can you say the same for yourself? Wow. Tashiroku. You are more of a man than I thought. Heh, <laughs> you're pathetic. Just like that patriarch of yours. You really want to follow in his footsteps. And I'll send you to meet him in hell. Mm. Looks like Tashio-kun's in trouble. Should I help him out? Nah. Uh, hold up. Yagami! Huh? Yagami? Ah? Can't you see you're interrupting family business? Besides, it has nothing to do with you. Yeah? Actually, it has everything to do with me. Huh? What? I never swore an oath, but I've always respected masagane san He was like a father to me. I still owe him a lot, so I can't just let these people insult him like that. What the hell, Yagami? Nah. Sorry to butt in, Tashiroku, but this is my fight too. Huh? You done spouting off that bullshit? Cause these are gonna be your last words. <laughs> What am I on? Tiger style? Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Uh. Come on, I just want to do the wall heat action. Uh, it's still inconsistent. What the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um. I guess I'm just set up for doing this. That's the downside to having contextual heat actions, right? Or just actions in general. Uh, 
Uh, wait. Here we go. Gah! <laughs> you like that, huh? That'll teach you not to fuck with the Masagani family. Damn you. Nah. You alright, Tashiro-kun? Don't ask me that shit! I could have handled those guys on my own. Come on, man. I was just trying to set things straight. Uh? Tch, whatever, dude. Don't, don't expect a thank you. Ooh, one more. Man, Tashiro-kun's really got a stick up his ass. Wonder what happens. <laughs> you know exactly what happened, Yagami. Alright, is he gonna appear somewhere else in the city? Or do I have to... Oh yeah, right, I have to do her too. Let me see if he'll come back here. Yep, he did. Uh, what's going on? Hey, aren't you the guy who rescued Tashiro-san the other day? Hey. Yeah, what about it? Well, I just saw him get dragged off by those Yakuza from before. It was horrible! Hey. What? You mean they came back for revenge? I think so. Those guys have been popping up everywhere these days. All in an attempt to leech away our profit. Makes you wonder if the Tojo clan is going through a turf war. It wouldn't be the first time. I really wouldn't know. Maybe there's some kind of rift within the organization? Is that usually a thing that happens? Probably not too often. <laughs> but given that the Masigane family recently lost their patriarch and their captains in the hot seat. Seems like their men are left running wild in the streets. I see. Anyway, do you have any idea where they might have gone? Who knows? I'm sure they couldn't have gone too far though. But where would a Yakuza go to teach someone a lesson? Then Tashiro kun rough up as a civilian that one time. Yeah, that was that shady lot back lot just off Tenkaichi Street. Bingo! Alright, let's see. Is he back here? He is. I see him on the mini-map. Uh, through here, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, there's more of you guys this time. Nah. Hey, you guys are done here. Uh -huh. You again! Yagami! <coughs> uh. You look like shit, Tashiro-kun. What'd they do? Boot your clothes up first? <laughs> This motherfucker! Well, heh, well, that's fine. Now I can get rid of both of you clowns at once. I wouldn't be so sure. It's not a matter of that. When I make the decision off of to off someone, the waves of have already happened. Get ready to die. Uh, I can say the same. No! I'm gonna use that. Ah, come on. Sir, why are you here? I don't know why you're here, but sure. There we go. Almost full heat, too. Is that a taser underground or something? Nah. You okay, Tashiro kun? Fuck off, man! I said I didn't need your help the first time! Besides, the family shouldn't be messing around with the Yakuza, anyway. Are you even aware of what could happen to you? Uh. Doesn't matter. Whether I'm Yakuza or not, there's no way I'd abandon a guy like you. Huh? What? Even though Matsugane-san is gone, that doesn't mean I stopped caring about the family. Tashiro-kun, you stood up for more than just yourself back there. That's the kind of thing that makes me proud. Matsugane-san would be too. <laughs> Who even says that kind of shit? You really are an idiot, man. Uh. I'm being serious. Now, can you get home by yourself, or do you need me to call an ambulance? <laughs> What I need is for you to leave me the fuck alone. Fine, then I'm gone. Oi. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Yeah? <laughs> I owe you one. <laughs> Just like that. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't owe me a thing, man. Just to you. Uh, you know, also look at the recording. And how much of the actual content that there is of the girlfriend stuff from last time? This is gonna be a long episode. And, uh, 
there's nothing I can do to get around that, especially with me doing friendship events and side cases in the middle here. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that, I guess. But okay, let's message the massage girl. Since the office is free now. Uh, that's, okay, I guess not. Um, in that case, let's do the side case test inside of my office. I guess I have to wait until the marker is not in here for me to message her. Alright, please find my son. Again. It's Ohata! Thanks for last time! I'm sorry, can, you, uh, can I ask you to do it again? I'll be waiting at Cafe Miyore as usual. Thank you. I really gotta do more extensive tests, rather than just like short 30 second audio files to test out any like new settings to record. Just in general too. Uh, Yakimi-san, I ap apologize for the constant stream of requests. Yeah. Uh, no worries. It keeps me busy. Ayumu-kun is hiding again? Yes, and I have a contract to settle with a client of ours. Oh, Hata-san, like I said before, Ayumu-kun is doing this in hopes that you'll be the one who finds him. I know that, but it's not like I can just put my job on hold to do that. Treacherous, hide and seek I can't pretend to know all your circumstances. But I think you need to set aside some time for your son. I will, I will! As soon as I get this contract locked. If you just do this, I'll give you 120,000. That's worth your time, right? Hi. Fine, but I'm only taking this case on one condition. After this job's done, you make some time for Ayumu-kun. I will, and thank you. I'll send you the photo Ayumu sent me as usual, Yakumi-san. Thanks. Keep an eye out for him. That I will. I can't help but wonder if he's going to keep his promise. Yagami-san, here's another photo from Ayumu. Please find him. Wow, Jackson. Do a window, so he's inside. <laughs> this is a this is a creepy uh, bit of photo, actually. Looks like an interior this time. At least it's not somewhere high up. There's a wild Jackson nearby. At least that's helpful. So at least he's avoiding dangerous spots like we asked him to last time, right? So, there is that. So, Wild Jackson. I know there's one right here, but if he's not around there, are there any other Wild Jacksons? The one right there. That should be the only one, actually. The only two. Because I was running around eating everywhere, after all. Judging from the photo Ayumu sent, he must be one of those build these buildings. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh yeah, this is the place. What's going on though? Oh! Mm. What company is this? Hmm? Oh crap. It's a Yakuza front, isn't it? Uh. Don't tell me this is what he meant by going somewhere dangerous. I don't have a choice. If I explain the situation, maybe they'll listen to reason. Ano. Um, excuse me. Huh? Ah, what the hell are you doing? Is this some kind of raid? A raid? <laughs> no, sir. Actually, I'm looking for a child, and I'm pretty sure he's hiding in your building. A kid? Ain't no kids around here. Usually I agree with you, but this kid's really good at hiding. You son of a bitch! You a cop! You think I'm gonna let you raid us on some flimsy bullshit like that? Uh. It's just a game of hide and seek, sir. Please. You asshole. Go play your baby game somewhere else. This place is off limits. If you want it so bad, you have to go through me. Scott, I mean. You. Okay. Um. At least we know Ayumu's not hiding beneath any of these desks. Where is he then, in that case? Ew. Clean that up. Ayumu-kun sure chose a rough spot this time. Ayumu-kun, are you in here? I give up so you can come out now. Yeah. I'm here, mister. Oh, so you are here. This isn't safe, so let's get outside. Ayumu-kun, this place is where a lot of scary guys hang out. 
Don't ever come back here, okay? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Dad isn't coming again? Sorry, buddy. He's busy again. Oh. Okay. Are you move? <gasps> huh? The dad? Oh, Hatasan? I thought you had work to do. It hit me when I really looked at the picture Ayumu sent me. Isn't this an office for, well, you know, right? Once I realized it, I put a work aside and came straight down. Is that so? Ayumu, you're not hurt, are you? You came to find me even though you knew it'd be dangerous, Dad? Oh. Of course, son. I would never want you to get hurt. Not that I had a plan or anything as I dashed out the office. <laughs> That's okay, Dad. Hey, be hungry, Ayamu. Why don't we grab something to eat? Anything you want. I want almond rice. <laughs> Alright, let's head to town. I'll get you some real good om omelet rice. <laughs> Yakimi-san, thank you so much. Here's your pay for today. Thank you. And don't you, and don't worry. I know I screwed up. But I'm gonna make it right. Ayumu means more to me than anything, and I'll show him that. Yeah, I think that's all he wants. Well, ready, Ayumu? Mm. Yeah. I'm happy for you, buddy. Oh, well, there we go. Level 45. I need to progress with the story for Genda, right? So, Genda and Bartender. So that being said, I think we can actually finish up the Yosuke Madoka Madoka friendship events. So let's see here. Yosuke, I think I have some people for you to send to Madoka. Yagami -san. Oh, Yagami san. Are you interested in being bombarded by Boobich? <laughs> Alright. Or perhaps you found a trustworthy companion who won't do anything too mm. naughty. Hmm. Do I even know any guys like that? Ooh. Um let's just go around. I'm sure Ginda Sensei could use a break every now and then. Or not. I don't want to imagine the look on his face in front of Repero. But Madoka John has. <laughs> mm. In that case. Hoshinoku? Wait, that won't work. If Sari san found out, she'd never speak to either of us again. It'd probably be a good idea to find someone who can keep this whole thing discreet. Mm. In that case. Oh, right, two strikes out. Oh, what about. Kaito-san? Nah, I bet he's an animal with the ladies. He totally tried to cop a feel. In fact, he probably tried some more. Please, no! I wouldn't want anyone like that ever even near Madoka-chan. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Okay, who else? Hmm. If I recall, Rosazaki turned out to be a pretty harmless guy. Unlike his younger twin, younger twin. ooh. Oh, ah. Uh, mm. Ah, uh, I don't remember. Didn't we notice this more recently? So you want me to check out this hostess of yours, huh? Yes, but only with your eyes. Please refrain from touching her, however tempting it may be. <laughs> ah, so she has a nice rack, yeah? Reminds me of when I was little. Huh? huh? My little bro and I used to wrestle over who mom would press me first. <laughs> he always did try and beat me to the teeth, the little squirt. But he could never quite hold me down. You remember this? <laughs> we even have it on video. Oh. Uh, simpler times for sure. Uh, Yakimi-san. I don't want to hear this. Is this really the time for a monologue? Sorry, man. Once he starts, that's it. Hey, snap out of it, man. Forget about the breast of the past and focus on the breast of the present. <laughs> breast of the present, huh? Hmm. I never considered that. <laughs> well, there's a place you can have them all to yourself. <laughs> hmm. Well, don't... Don't be too excited now. Long story short, boobs are the first thing a human being cries for. Can't argue with you there. Yagami-san! Thanks for all your help, Yagami-san. Let me know if you find any more friends who are interested, okay? Yeah, there we go. Pardon me, but have you gotten your fill of rest today? No? Then do I have a place for you? I wonder how Ryo is doing. 
Ooh. <laughs> My brother and I were destined to defeat each other in combat, but that's what forged us into who we are now. I tell you what, though. I'm much more of a man than he is, that little Yakuza wannabe. Wow, well, well, that's, uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Someone is actually listening to Ryo talk away. Then again, he is paying her. <laughs> oh, man. Do I talk to her or... Uh, let me finish Yosuke. Yosuke. Yosuke first. Okay, let's get everybody else now. Uh, okay, it's the same thing. Uh, tashiro -kun. You know what? tashiro is a decent guy, surprisingly. I bet he'll be a good candidate. Alright, I just gotta make sure to drink some water if I feel like my voice is like starting to go out a little bit, but it still has energy. Did you just say... boobs? <laughs> oh yes, I've been saying boobs for quite a while now. <laughs> Please, help yourself to some. No touching though. Touching you fuckwit! You think you can just say boobs at the time and not sound like a total jackass? Huh? The only people who can say boobs out in the open like this are mothers and they're very young children. Dumbass. Uh. Wow, Tashino Kun. You're way less inappropriate than I thought. Sort of. So, does this mean you're not knowing? Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll go. I'm not into this sort of thing. But if it can help someone else, I wouldn't mind lending a hand. <laughs> awesome. Just make sure you don't lend that hand down her blouse, okay? The boob community might frown upon that. <laughs> I told you, stop saying stupid shit like that. Are you in middle school or something? Huh? Yes, I do look like he is. And it's not like I'm some kind of perv either. Don't get it twisted. Uh... No one's accusing you, man. Just hurry up and get in there. Oh. But, all right. But remember, I'm doing you guys a favor, okay? <laughs> You know, it's guys like him who deny it all the time that end up being the biggest perps of all. Perhaps, but I don't think Tashiro-kun is the type to do anything bad. Yagami -san. Thank you for your help, Yagami-san. Let me know if you find any more friends who are interested, okay? I got a few more for you. Greetings, friend! Would you care to see some sumptuous boot rest today? Hope Tashiro-kun is doing alright in there. You understand me? The only people you should ever show those to is the person you love or your future babies. They're not just show pieces to throw out at any guy who comes your way. You can do better than this, Monica. Uh, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Uh. He's actually lecturing her. <laughs> so as of today, it is April 9th, I just want to add. And that means that happening later tonight, or I guess tomorrow, depending on time zones, is the Kingdom Hearts 20th Anniversary event. So I'm gonna wear my sleep schedule just for that. <laughs> so I'm, that's why I'm recording a little bit earlier today, for that reason too. Mm. Mm. Alright, let's see. Tanago. Tanago seems like a pretty straightforward guy. Guess I'll hit him up. Or at least try. I see what you did there, Yagami. Yo. Thanks for coming, Tanako. Oh. No problem. We're homies now, right? Oh no. Right. Just don't go do anything shady while you're in there, okay? Come on, man. I'm just a try and hit me, remember? I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> if I was gonna flip out every time I caught a whiff of women on the wind, I'd be behind bars right now. Um Okay? Alright. Whether you're wide or narrow, bust your flat. So try and hit me respect your body image. And that's a fact. Hey, nice. Is this how he normally is? Oh. He's usually... Oh, did Yosuke ask that? Oh, well, he's usually much worse. Yagami -san. Thanks for all your help, Yagami-san. Let me know if you find any more friends who are interested, okay? One more. Excuse me, my good man. Let this thought sink into your brain. Boobs. I hope he's doing all right in there. Ah. Why am I not touching you? Because I know how it feels. My entire line of work is having people try and touch me. Uh. Really? Uh, yeah, seriously, try and hit me. That's literally my name in my career. That way we'll both feel good. 
<laughs> and she started thinking like, where are all these weirdos coming from? I hope they don't charge him extra for this. Right, last friend, and Ryan. Uh. Hey, would a ninja be allowed in your club? Eh? What? A ninja? Well, it doesn't exactly say in the rulebook that ninjas aren't allowed in the club. Oh, no. Do you actually have a ninja as a friend? Yeah, kinda. Let me give him a call. Yo. Hey, Ryan. Sorry for calling you out of nowhere like this. Ning, ning. No need to ap- Oh, wait, um... No need to apologize. For when my master walks in broad daylight, his pupil treads slightly in the shadow. Oh, no. Right, just don't go doing anything shady while you're in there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Do not be afraid, my yang to my yin, for a true ninja follows the path of abstinence. Clear the mind of mundane thoughts, and even fire will become cool to the touch. Or so the saying goes. Uh, if you say so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ryan style ninja art, illusion of wrinkly grandma. You see, by picturing my grandma, I remain limp as a lily flower. Mm -hmm. Believe it! Wow, he really believes he's a ninja, doesn't he? Ooh. Yeah, I guess that's why he says it all the time. Thanks for all your help, Yagami-san. Let me know if you find any more friends who are interested, okay? But that's everybody, though. Nah, nah. Hey, Yosuke, your shift is almost over, right? Wanna grab some drinks? <laughs> no, sounds good. Do you buy it? Uh? Hell no. You make way more than me, man. You should be the one offering. Nandate. What? I'm not that generous. I hope Ryan's not causing any trouble. Maybe I should check on him sometime. What's going on? Hey. Now listen here, Miss Madoka. In the world of ninjutsu, everything can be broken down into four natural elements. As such, each ninja is born with an elemental affinity. I, for one, am versed in escape arts that utilize fire magic. Oh, I... I see. <laughs> Looks like Ryan was perfect for the job. Alright. Now do I go visit, uh, Yosuke? Or is he not there? Because I don't have any more friends that can recommend to him. Uh? No. So, Yosuke-kun, how's Madoka-chan doing at the club? Hi. Oh, but donk donk Well, thanks to everyone's generous support, her sales have gone through the roof! <laughs> ah, good to hear. Na -na. Hey, aren't you Yagami? I heard about you from Yosuke. Apparently you're pretty cool with Madoka over at Apple Pie. Eh? Huh? Yosuke, what's this guy talking about? <laughs> well, he probably just got you mixed up. I'm sure there are plenty of other Yagamis walking around here. Anyway, make sure to treat, take care of Madoka-chan. She's a real sweetheart, you know. Uh. I'd rather not have a reputation among these people. Oh. yagami -san. Uh, oh, okay. Cool. Right. Yeah, so we had to go... Talk to Madoka now. Uh, sir? Hello, I'll let go on Madoka. Excuse me, is Madoka chan here? Oh. Ah, oh, you're the gentleman from before. Yes, she's available. Great, then I'd like to go with her, please. Hey, you came back! Uh. Of course, I could hardly finish my drinks last time. And let's take it nice and slow today, hmm? It's nice to know that doing this will help out help put an honest person through school. Yes. Alright, these drinks are nothing to me. Nah. Pour me one of those asking you drinks, Madoka chan. Coming right up! I can tell this is top shelf. A taste that matches the price. Alright. Hit me with one more. Coming right up! Oh no! Well, will you really be okay? Your face is all red. <laughs> <laughs> I can still keep going. The drink, if you please. Hi. 
Okay. Ugh. I know I'm a mess right now, but I guess I've been through worse. You sure can hold your alcohol, Yagami-san. It's like you were built for drinking. By the way, how's the whole tuition thing going? Yeah. Oh, good. I've been making all my payments and then some. Awesome. That's great to hear. Uh -huh. Wait a sec. Are you... ordering all these drinks to help me? Mm -hmm. Huh? Why would I do that? Well, you never do anything perverted. In fact, all you ever do is order a bunch of alcohol. And you're worried about my tuition on top of that. Maybe you're just imagining things. So, here's how apple pie works. Whenever someone requests you or racks up a huge bill, you get a cut of the profit. Let's be upfront with each other, Yagami-san. You're helping me a lot, and I want to know the reason. What can I say, other than happy to be of service? Uh huh. Well, I'm gonna need to return the favor somehow. All I really want is for you to relax and enjoy yourself on the job. Don't need much more than that. Lie down and close your eyes. When I say I'm returning a favor, I mean it. Mm -hmm. Huh? I can't stand the idea of you ordering drinks all the time without letting me give you some kind of service. Um... Alright. They say life is to be experienced, so... I'm ready if you are. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my goodness, Yagami-san! You're as stiff as stone! Oh, Well, when you touch her like that, I am. <laughs> wow! And now you're twitching? <laughs> Look at you go! Oh. Oh, there. That's it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, it was just a massage, <laughs> but still. I can hardly believe how knotted up your shoulders were. Get back, too. No wonder you were moaning like that. <sighs> yeah, and thanks to you, I'll be sleeping like a baby tonight. Well... No, as I expected. Nope. Probably have to come back, right? In an entirely pleasant way. I needed that. Alright, let's find some goons so I can soap her up. Perfect, right around the corner. Hey guys, over here. I was drinking water, sir. I didn't appreciate that. Ah. But alright, let's see if Yosuke will progress the storyline here. Probably sh well. Uh, ooh. He's on the phone? Yes! What? Really? No way! I don't believe this! Madonka Dunk is... For sure? Mm -hmm. What's this about Madoka chan Oh, hey Yagimi-san! Guess what just happened? Nah. And tell me. <laughs> Madonka Dunk quit her job at the Costas Club! Apparently, she finally earned enough money! Oh, awesome! Guess all that hard work paid off! Yeah, well, we couldn't have done it if it wasn't for all your help! Thanks, man! Hey, that's Yosuke done. No sweat. Does that mean you're finally gonna tell her you've been supporting her all along? No, it's better if I keep it a secret. I don't want her to feel disappointed in herself. Worst case scenario, she'll try to give me back the money she earned. And that would be a waste. Gotcha. Well, as long as you're okay with it. By the way, are you going to keep doing this job now that you've reached your goal? <sighs> you know, that's actually crossed my mind. Apparently, I'm pretty good at what I do. I'm developing a craft, connecting with like-minded others. Now that you know all this, could you, maybe, pay her a visit on your own? And spend a lot of money on her? Uh. Sure, I guess I could say hi before she quits half a pie. Here we go! Alright, we just have to... Oh, we don't even need to go inside. Yagami-san! Ah, here you are! I've been waiting for you, Yagami-san! Mm -hmm. 
You have? Yes, I needed to tell you something. What could it possibly be? Um, Doc? <laughs> nah. Madoka John, what did you want to tell me? Hi. Yes, that. So, I'm going to be leaving the club permanently. What? No way. Well, I actually knew because Yosuke told me. I managed to save up enough to completely cover my tuition. I'm a free girl now. It's all thanks to you, Yakimi-san. Hey. Oh, it's Isu. Hey. Good for you, Madoka. You're taking control of your life, and you've got a sexy little sugar daddy to boot. Hey, it's nothing like that. But thanks to him, you're finally going to graduate and get yourself a nice career. You're one lucky lady, you know? Hey. That's true. This has been a blessing in disguise. Make sure to do your best, okay? Hey. Will do! Huh? Mm. Huh? What happened? I could have sworn I saw this guy I knew from high school. He was an underclassman who was who I was rather fond of. But there's no way that was him. Must have been in my head. Could be. <laughs> well done, Yosuke-kun. Thanks to you, the apple of your eye made it out of apple pie. Uh, you know, that's actually really good timing that we completed Yosuke right before we get started with Tsukino-san! Which we had to message Yosuke first about to get started. Okay. Yosuke Satome here. I need to discuss something with you, Yagami-san. <laughs> Don't tell me Tsukino-san's being harassed again. No, no, no! That's not it! Or at least, I don't think so. You don't think so? Well, it's just that Tsukino-san seems depressed lately. It worries me. And the worst thing is, she won't say a word to me. That is worrying. Yeah, but I think she might open up to you. Are you saying she trusts me more than she trusts you? Of course! Who trusts a blabbermouth like me? Ah, I see. But why me of all people? I think some things are just hard to talk about with family. Plus, she respects you, Yagami-san. To be honest, I think she kinda has to think for you. Huh. Really? At least, that's my hunch as her brother. So, I'm sorry to ask you this. But could you try contacting her? Okay, will do. Looks like it's up to me to find out what's bothering Tsukino-chan. I'll get in touch with her soon. Hey, it's been a while. This is Yagami, by the way. Uh... Oh, hey! Nice to hear from you! Can I help you with something? Uh... Just checking in on you. Is everything okay? Yeah! Everything's totally fine! Why? Well, I heard from your brother that you've been feeling a little down. He said that to you? Yeah, so it got me kind of worried. If there's something on your mind, I'd be more than happy to listen. Her little av uh, profile picture is so cute. Ah! Why does he always have to run his mouth like that? Is something bothering you though? Well, I guess you could say that. Hmm. Maybe I can cheer you up somehow. Oh wow. That was a lot. Is this your way- Is this your way of saying you want to catch up? This is my way of doing your brother a favor. <laughs> oh god. Free of charge, mind you. Oh! I didn't know the Yagami Detective Agency provided escort services, too! 
Hello, Val. I'm just kidding. Well, whatever is troubling you can usually be fixed with a little fun and entertainment, don't you think? So you want to distract me, huh? Yep. And if that doesn't work, then we'll find a place to sit down and talk. How does that sound? I guess it wouldn't hurt to talk a bit. Awesome. Then let's meet up at Deidre Square. Okay. See you there. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to keep these voices at least a little distinct from each other. Uh, we already have all the gifts that we could ever want. Uh, what's going on here? You okay? So, did you make plans for Tsukino? Yep. We're all set to hang out. That's what I thought. She seemed awfully cheerful today. Did she now? Uh, yeah. She was even humming to herself. I feel like I haven't seen her in such a good mood in a long time. I see. That's good to hear. I'll try and ask her what's up when I see her. Yeah, please do. Oh, and also... Use protection, okay? Wow, okay. Dude, shut up. <laughs> Just making sure. Wow. Okay, I know they're supposed to be close siblings, but I don't think there are any siblings that are that close. Okay, so she's in this spot here. Come on, get to it! Ooh, just in time. <laughs> she's here! Yogami -san. Oh, hey there! Hey, I didn't catch you at a bad time, did I? Yeah. No, no. Not at all. I'm actually glad you're taking me out. For some reason, I thought I wouldn't see you again. What made you think that? I'm... not sure. I guess it's just something I felt. Alright, I think it's the voice that's developed enough to stay at that consistently now. Should I give Tsukino-chan a present? Hmm... Um... With a touch of whimsy. Let's see, what would she like here? Oh right, we can't go over this. Refined lady. A slender dress that gives off an elegant air. Okay, that gives me an idea about what kind of accessories I should give her. I actually have a present for you. What? A present? Here, I hope it fits. What? Clothes? Well, I wasn't totally sure clothes would be the best gift. But I saw it and I thought, you know, that would look good on you. <laughs> this is the first time anyone's bought clothes to me besides my mom. Thank you. I'll wear this next time we meet. You now ask Tsukino style Tome to wear the refined lady outfit on dates. Oh, and think about it. I'm glad that I did Sana and Nanami, and then Tsukino and what you might call it, uh, Amane on different days because that's high pitch, low pitch, just about. So. Ooh. You seem pretty down, Tsukino chan. Yeah, I know. And you came out this way to see me, too. Well, why don't we go have some fun? Maybe that'll help cheer you up. Okay, that sounds nice. Personally, I'd rather go de stress somewhere. But if you wanted to do something in particular, I'd be okay with that, too. I take it she has a lot on her mind. Where would be a good place to take her? Gambling? Really? Huh. Uh, I'm gonna just go with my usual around the rotating wheels. How about we- oh, how about we play some darts? That- that should get you some pumped up. Mm, I doubt I'd make a very good opponent. Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. No. <laughs> but, I don't exactly have the best aim. Ah, it's not that hard. You'll get the hang of it. Okay, uh, at least I'll give it a shot. Is this your first time playing darts? Well, I used to play a little when my kids from college. Wait, with my friends from college, whoops. Oh, good. Wanna play together? Mm, I doubt I could actually beat you. Nah, I'll go easy on you. Please do. Alright, this is my idea of going to eat again. I'll make this as quick and playlist as possible. 
Watch. I'm gonna win in just one round. You said you did not have good aim. You just got a triple bullseye. <laughs> wow. You are the best person that I've taken to dart so far, Tsukino. <laughs> Uh. Huh. There we go. Sorry, I ended up going a little bit overboard. Yeah, I didn't stand a chance. That's not true. I haven't been this fired up in a while. So I had to go all out at the end. Really? Uh, that makes me feel a little bit better. Hey, that was awesome! Wasn't it? Totally! I'm glad I could finally pull off some steam! That's good to hear. Maybe we should grab some tea and relax for a bit. Sounds good! I was having so much fun, I didn't realize how tired I was! Maybe now would be a good time to ask what's on her mind. Hmm. I'll start here. Would you mind sharing a bit more about your personal life? Up until now, I've only really seen you as a client. That's true. Oh, but I do know what kind of panties you wear. <laughs> ah, you still remember that? Well, not very clearly, no. <laughs> Thank god! I thought I was gonna die of embarrassment! I would hope not. <laughs> what can I ask that would help me get to know her a little bit better? <laughs> Come on. Um. What kind of men do you like? You want to know my taste in men? Oh no. Really? Oh yeah. Mm, I haven't really given that much thought. But I guess I want a man I can rely on. Uh huh. Hi. Someone I can feel safe with. Reliable and safe. Got it. Do you have any hobbies? Mm, let me think. Um, I do enjoy drawing. Oh, drawing, huh? Hi. Yeah, I've always loved drawing. Even as a kid, I still pick up a pen and paper from time to time. Can you show me something you've drawn? <gasps> no, freaking way. My drawings are nowhere near, near good enough to be seen by another person. Ah, that's too bad. Good thing the Twisted Trio were all arrested, especially that giant impact guy. What a monster. Mm -hmm. Thanks to you, I can finally walk around town without looking over my shoulder every 10 seconds. Even so, you really are some kind of perv magnet. <sighs> that's what my brother keeps saying. And if that really is true, I'm worried something like this might happen again in the future. Oh my god. Don't worry. If I see anyone who so much as gives you a dirty look, I'll send their perverted ass to jail. Hello? Oh wow. I'm glad I met such a dependable guy. <laughs> as long as you're on my side, I guess I have nothing to fear, huh? You're always welcome to share what's on your mind, Tsukino chan. Especially if something's not right. Well? Something's definitely not right. Okay then, maybe I can help you somehow. Or at least you'll feel better by letting it all out. Oh, no. Then, will you promise not to tell my brother? Of course. Maintaining confidentiality between me and my clients is one of my basic tenets. Otherwise, I wouldn't be much of a, de a detective, now would I? Glad I can trust you, Yagami-san. So, what's been eating away at you? It may not seem like a big deal to you, but... I'm worried about my future. 
How far into the future are we talking here? Hi! Well, I'm in my third year of college and I've been job hunting non-stop. <sighs> but my parents told me to come back home and now I'm stuck on what to do. So they just want you closer to home? Yeah. No, that, w that alone would have been fine. <sighs> what they want is for me to get married. You see, I'm in an arranged marriage. Wait, are you serious? But that would mean you don't have any control over who you spend your life with. Hi. Yeah, pretty much. And your parents are really going through with this. <gasps> Not if I had any say in it. An arranged marriage though. In this day and age, don't they respect how you feel? The way I see it, my parents treat me like some kind of bargaining chip. Like there's some kind of modern royalty in them, their little princess. So basically they can marry me off to whoever they want, as long as it benefits the family. That's all this really is. I see. No wonder you seem so stressed out. I take it you're from a pretty well-off family then. So this man. Yeah, I could say that. My father is a CEO. Or CCO? Anything I saw? Ah, so that's how it is. So, you're definitely against this arranged marriage thing, right? Heck yes, I'm against it! That's why I came out to Tokyo in the first place! <sighs> I'm sick of doing only what my parents tell me to do. It's like they want to decide everything for me! Did you tell them you were looking for a job? <gasps> no, I haven't. They probably wouldn't listen to me anyway. Are you sure? I would think that, as parents, they'd listen if their daughter had a heart-to-heart -heart, heart -heart talk. What is this? Bad chance! I've been holding this marriage over my head ever since I was little. Ever since you were little? Oh boy. And if they find out I was job hunting, they'd cut me off financially. Then how would I live? I see. Is this why you couldn't tell Yosuke? Hi. Yeah, I don't think he'd tell my parents on purpose. But he can be careless sometimes, so I didn't want it to slip. Right. But this is very problematic. You want to work towards a career. But your parents want you to get married. What do you think I should do? Why not see if you can get a job offer first? You can at least get through some interviews for having that talk. I guess that is an option. Although I'm sure they'll just get pissed in the end anyway. How's your job hunting coming along? Well... I've been applying to all these companies, but no one wants to hire me. That must suck. I'm fine until the interview starts. Then, I don't know. It's like I freeze up. Huh. I wish I could just get this over with. Yagami-san. Yagami-san. I just wanted to say thank you for listening to me. Sure. Let me know if you ever need anything. Huh? Anything? Hmm? Yeah. Anything at all. Uh, no. So, this might be too much to ask, but... What's up? Uh, okay, I know this is totally out of the blue, but I actually do need your help. I'd like you to do some practice interviews with me. Huh? You want to practice taking interviews? With me? <laughs> yeah, I haven't passed a single interview, and I can't put my finger on why. But I feel like you can help me figure out what's wrong. You might be overestimating, uh, uh, overestimating me. I've never really had, I've never really had to hunt for jobs before. Yeah. Even so, I'm sure you can give me some kind of advice. Will you do it for me? All right. I can't promise I'll be of much help, though. Thank you so much! <laughs> By the next time you see me, I'll be ready for that interview. Great. Just let me know and we can get started. Hi. Okay. Alright, so we're going the job interview and arrange marriage route, huh? Or more specifically with kids and their parents for this relationship. Talking to you has really eased my mind about this whole job situation. Hey, glad I could help. Yeah, what's happening now? Oh, okay, she's just saying goodbye. 
Bye. <laughs> All right. Now to for that message, right? Ah. Uh -huh. Oh no. Unlike everybody else, she doesn't message me back right away after the date. That's interesting. Okay, there we go. We got a message from her. Ooh! <laughs> there. Uh, okay, Sukino, hi. Um, thanks for taking me out, Yakimi-san. Today was super fun. Oh, and thanks for listening to me yak about my problems. Hmm. Anytime. Let's hang out after our practice interview is over, yeah? Sure. Can't wait. There we go. Oof. <laughs> Alright, got another message. Oh no. Hmm, did that mean to click on you? Ah. Okay, there we go. One reload later and we got a message. Oh, from Yosuke. Uh, Yagami-san, how was Tsukino? She told me everything. <laughs> It's a secret. Hmm, what could it possibly be? Can I guess? Go for it. She has a crush on someone, and that someone is you. Huh? Was I wrong? Good question. <laughs> And I wonder what it could be. Don't worry, I'll check in with her soon. Yes, please do. Uh, soon is not now. Okay. All right, here we go. Bikino. Ooh. Okay, gotta be careful here. Hey, oh, guess what? I decided to do some self-analysis today. Have you ever analyzed yourself, Yagami-san? Um, I have. I've done that before, and let me tell you, it was harder to do than I thought. Right? Did you find out anything about yourself? Not really. It's hard to come up with the right words, you know? Maybe I'm just a shallow person. Nah, everyone is like that. Even I'd have trouble answering if someone asked me why I became a detective. Even you, Yagimi-san? Gosh, then no wonder I can get anything out. Oh, anything out of it. Though, the more I think about it, the more I'm unsure of what I want to do with my life. Hmm. I understand. When sometimes when life weighs too heavy on your mind, your thoughts seem to spiral out of control. So I'm just overthinking it? Probably. Either way, it sounds like all you're doing is giving yourself a headache. Yeah, pretty much. Ah, that's nice. <laughs> nope, seeking now. Can we do a practice interview like we talked about? Sure. Let's meet up at Theater Square then. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Alright, let's go! Ah, okay, so we didn't get to ask her to um, wear the outfit that we gave her this time. So probably not today. And that's why! Ooh! Yagami-san! Sorry I made you wait! Whoa! Check out that outfit! <laughs> Do you like it? This is what I've been wearing to my interviews. Even though it's just practice, I still wanted to look prepared. Our interview hasn't started yet, has it? Huh? huh? You should check your jacket before we begin. Your jacket? Huh. Wait, wait, wait. I wasn't expected to be a cat right here. Oh, look, a cat. Alright, so, I some rumblings right here. I notice you haven't fastened off your button. But isn't the proper way to leave the last button undone? 
I don't know. Um, no. Actually, that's wrong. You're thinking of how guys do it. Oh, the right way. Leave them all fastened. Leave them all unfastened. Probably this. The proper way for a lady to wear her jacket is to fasten all the buttons. Really? I had no idea. I'm surprised you knew. Yeah, I used to wear a suit for my old job. I remember one time, I pointed out my colleague's buttons, and yeah, it got kind of awkward. Hmm? Yeah, this verse is kind of loud. Yeah, that bag is too flashy for someone wearing a suit. Something black or dark blue would fit better. <laughs> That's true. I never thought about that. That's everything, huh? I don't sense any more wobblings when I go over her. Okay. Nope. Should I give Tsukino chan a present? Yeah, so let's see. What do we have that she would like? Not so sure. She'll probably like really this. Hmm. Elegance, right? Yeah, let's go with this. I actually have something for you, Sakino chan Oh! You do? Yeah. I'm not sure if you'll like it though. Wow! Thank you so much! Seriously, this is awesome! She seems to be pretty happy with it. Okay. So, good gift, but not the best it can be. So, ready to start that practice interview? Huh? Yes! Yes, I am! L let's get started! You sure? Cause you look nervous as heck. Uh, I do? Definitely. I think we should start when you're a little more relaxed. Why don't we go unwind somewhere? That's... considerate of you. What about the batting center? Huh? Wearing an outfit like this? Yeah, I've done it before. I'm sure there are people who go in their work clothes. Hmm, maybe. Hope I don't get all sweaty. I understand how you feel, though. <laughs> Have you ever been to a batting center? No, this is my first time. Okay, so all you need to do is hit every ball that comes flying at you from unpredictable angles. That sounds impossible, even if I were athletic. How about I watch from the sidelines? Is that okay with you? Hi! Yeah, that way I can learn from the best. Alright. I'd better not screw this up. Sweet! I'm on fire today! Wow! That was awesome! Do you wanna give it a try now? I'm okay. I'm happy just watching. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> oh, today was so much fun. I needed this little break. All I ever think about is job hunting these days. It's important to take it easy every now and then. Maybe we should sit down somewhere and talk. Oh, right. Hmm. A safety practice interview for last. I remember you said you like drawings. Do you also do other kinds of art? Like watercolor or oil painting, maybe? Yeah. Oh, no. I don't do anything complicated like that. I'm mostly about character illustrations. I'm sort of a geek that way. Oh, so you're a manga artist then. Yeah, except for the fact that I can't come up with any kind of story. I can draw cute characters and creatures, but that's about it. Ah, neat. <laughs> that's still really cool though. I'd love to check those out. You would? Well, you drew them, so yeah. Not so sure they're ready to be shown off though. Sorry, but maybe once I'm a little more talented, I'll let you take a look. Okay. Guess I have to be patient. I wonder what your future husband thinks about this whole situation. Hmm, I can say. Haven't seen him in forever. Last time was the first year of middle school. Okay. Well, do you know if he's going along with it? Or are his parents calling all the shots? Mm, he seemed to be pretty comfortable with the whole thing. Unlike me. Maybe he's just doing it for his family's sake. Hmm. 
Ooh, okay. I'm sure he wouldn't mind marrying you. I'm sure it's on to him too. I'm gonna go with this. Well, if it's you we're talking about, I'm sure he wouldn't mind getting hitched. Huh? huh? Why do you say that? Because, Yukino chan, you have a great personality. Not to mention you're pretty darn cute. Huh? What? You, you really think I'm cute? <laughs> you just love to dish out the compliments, don't you? What was he like in middle school? He wasn't such a bad kid. He was quiet. He liked small animals and plants. He also read a lot. Hmm. It's you. Let me see. I think yes. So he was pretty mellow, huh? Thought like you two might actually get along. I'm not so sure. We might have had common interests. But I have no idea what he's like now. If he's the heir to a wealthy family, does that mean he's some kind of elite member of society? I... It seems so. I heard he's studying abroad in England right now. Whoa, okay. Studying in England, huh? Must be nice. <sighs> yeah, well... He's getting a good education, but an awful marriage. Being part of the elite isn't all that's cracked up to be. If anything, I think he'd be happy because he gets to marry you. I'm honestly a little jealous. Why would you say something like that? Ah. Ugh, okay. That was a miss. I feel bad about that, to be honest. Uh, but it's okay. We could practice for your interview like you mentioned. Uh, okay. I guess I'll start by talking about how why I applied. The interviews for a publishing company. I see. And I'll pretend to be the hiring manager and ask you a couple of questions. <sighs> oh, I'm getting nervous already. Well then, please go ahead. Uh, the reason I applied here is... Go on. I uh, forgot what I was gonna say. Oh. My mind... It went completely blank. Okay, well, just try and relax for starters. Hmm. Alright, I think I'm good now. What in particular makes you interested in our company? Hi. Oh, right. The reason I'm applying. Uh, well, I've always liked to read. I was the type of girl who would stay inside reading rather than going out to play. Ah. So you're more of an indoor type of person. So yes, I actually didn't have any friends other than my brother. So, so I would often fantasize while living in the world of my books. That's why I wanted to publish books that inspired the imagination. I see. Mm -hmm. What makes Uchino Chan's statement stand out more? Have you been applying to other jobs as well? Hi. Yes! I feel like I should have options open, so... Does that mean we're not the company you want to work for the most? Huh? Oh, well... That's... Oh, no. Hey, do you really think they'll take it that way? I, I think so. I might hesitate about hiring you if I knew you were applying for other companies. Though on the flip side too, this could revert work in the reverse, where companies feel like they have the pressure... They have pressure to hire you if you're a really good candidate for the position. Also, you should have a strong reason why this company would be your first pick. Oh, oh that's good. Were you quiet as a child? So, yes. I would say so. so yes. Unlike my brother, I was pretty timid. I wasn't really good at meeting people or opening up to others. But I'm much better now. And why is that? I didn't really like how I was, so when I got to college, I made a conscious effort to talk to more people. And was that effort successful? I think so? I made three... no, five! I made five new friends! I see. I suppose that does count for something. So, how would you describe yourself in a couple of sentences? The dreaded question. Let's see. Well, I 
I think I'm pretty diligent and spunky. Is that the right word? Mm. Oh, and I'm also a pretty balanced worker. On top of that, people are always telling me I'm kind. It's true. I almost never get mad. <laughs> what? Anything else? Um, I look forward to working with you. I see. Well, I could tell you'd make a very teachable employee, just not a particularly well-spoken one. <laughs> now, can you tell me what kind of contribution you can make to our company? But I'm just a student! What kind of significant contribution can I even make? <laughs> well, I guess I could copy papers and make tea without giving you any attitude. Hmm. I suggest you learn about the company culture the moment you get hired. That way, you can find where you fit in. So this ne. That's smart. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. I want to take a picture with her because I don't know if we're gonna get this outfit again. Alright. Again here. She's a little more my height, so this works. I don't like that angle. Here we go. Just full frontal. That's good. Hmm. Alright. Oh yeah, Yakimi doesn't say anything when we end the conversation this time. Oh. 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 This is the fiancé from England? Okay, he was from England, so... That elegant posterior posture. That bewitching feminine figure. Has a decade spent apart deceived my eyes? Alas, it is as I suspected. That's not a British accent, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Huh? What's up with this dude? At long last, my fair sweet tsukino san It is you! The ten torturous years I spent without you seem longer than eternity itself. Ah, oh, how I long to gaze upon your delicate visage once more. Ah, uh, I... No? It was like British. 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 I don't know. I'll just keep going with it. Ah, uh, uh, I'm sorry? <laughs> Ooh, okay, ill. I've sailed across oceans, climbed rugged mountains, and at the 112 passes of the moon, I stand before you here. Masako. Wait, you what happened to be? <laughs> yes, it is I, Daichi Ryuzenji, your beloved fiancé. <gasps> no, no way! And you, I see these years have treated you quite well. Hmm. Compared to you, even Venus herself appears haggard. And here is where words spelled me. Were I to compose a thousand sonnets, they'd not scratch thy splendor's surface. Humanity only realizes the futility of speech when confronted by absolute beauty. Oh no. Hey. But I digress. Have you not noticed the princely aura of sophistication seeping from within me? <laughs> where I have metamorphosed into a true English gentleman, worthy of your affections and, pride and praise. Oh no. Hey, will you stop monologuing for a second? Yes, my leash. What are you even doing here? I thought you were studying England. Ah, but of course. I have completed my academic pursuits in England, and hence returned. I heard you made a journey to Tokyo, so I took it upon myself to find you, to find you. And here we are, two lovers reunited. Ah. Tsukino san? Is this guy really him? Yes, even though he named himself early and stated that he was my fiancé, I still find it hard to believe. <laughs> and you must be Tsukino-san's servant. Well then, your service has been much appreciated. You are hereby dismissed. Yeah. Oh, I'm no servant. What? Then just who do you think you are? Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm her boyfriend. What? Huh? Yeah, give me a son. Hmm. You can't fool me. You can't fool me with such nonsense. 
Tsukino san would never fall for the mongrel like you. So, I don't mean to knock you off your high horse, but she and I were trying to have a conversation here. Then answer me this. How much is your salary? And what's your net worth? Half a pence and a moldy loaf of bread, I'd wager. Mm -hmm. And why should I tell you? Whoa, okay. <laughs> yes, mas young master. Yukikawa, my bank account in Switzerland. A stun this peasant with its contents, if you'd be so kind. Ah, certainly. When converted into Japanese yen, you possess roughly 200 million, sir. Eh? 200 million yen? <laughs> Did you hear that? That paltry sum is merely what I've been putting away for a wedding. Tsukino savings, if you will. Well then, it appears that I surpassed you in... Let's see. Status, money, and appearance. Oh, you poor fool. This guy. Now, Tsukino-san, let us return to our province where we will have a wedding of inter... Um, of an... In of incomparable grandeur. Where do you wish to travel for our honeymoon? France? Perhaps Italy? Uh, hold on a second! Yeah. Hmm? On to what? Look! I haven't fully thought this marriage through yet. I mean, I haven't even graduated college. <sighs> how... how strange. You promised me when we were children. I remember it like it was yesterday. We were at the sandbox in the playground. You came up and told me, let's get married when we grow up. <gasps> oh! The joy those words brought me. Not a day went by when I forgot about our sacred oath. Well, yeah, I did say that, but... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ah, uh, I see how it is. You are trying not to hurt the feelings of this peasant here. Such kindness. You truly are a goddess of a woman. Oh, no. Actually, we were trying to have some tea together. So now's not a good time for all this. Oh, well, how rude of me. A true English gentleman would never interrupt tea time. It seems my timing was off. Very well then, I shall return. Ah, but before I go, allow me to say one thing, you impoverished looking peasant. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Make no mistake. I am Tsukino's son's one and only fiance, and don't you forget it. Aha! Now then, let us be off, Yukikawa. As you wish, young master. Okay. That was interesting. Sumimasen. Sorry you've had to go through all that. I know he's a little different than most guys. He kept saying he was an English gentleman. Oh, he kept saying he was an English gentleman. Is he part British too? Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure he's full Japanese. In fact, he's from the countryside, somewhere out in Ibaraki. I think he gets caught. I think he gets all caught up in that persona of his because he studied overseas. Uh. So he's a makeshift English gentleman then. Jeez. And right when we were finished with the Twisted Trio too. <laughs> I really think you do attract strange men, tsukino san Maybe so. She's starting to stop blushing, by the way. <laughs> you really said you were going to marry him as a kid. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Oh, no. But proposals you make as a child don't actually count, do they? No, I don't think so. But he seems to have taken it seriously enough. Now maybe she just naturally blushes like that. I don't know. Ah, uh, let me see. No, she was just blushing really hard earlier. Well, yeah, give me some. Despite all the crazy things that's happened today, I had a lot of fun hanging out with you. My interview practice was really helpful too. Two to three. I'm glad to hear that. Hi. Again, thank you so much. And did it? Right. No, Sikino doesn't message me back like that right away. Everywhere I go, someone tried to kill me. Yep. 
Um, where is she? Oh, why am I looking at my items? <laughs> what? Hey, I just wanted to apologize for what you had to go through today. As well as thank you for helping with my interview. I could tell you were serious because you were wearing a suit. I hope it helped. How did I look? Hmm. Like the suit was wearing you. Um, I think this one? You look like someone who had it all together. Definitely someone suited for a kick-ass kick -ass job. Really? Really? That's good to hear. Good luck on your interview. Yeah, I'll do my best. Oh, here we go. Yagibi-san, so I finally went in for my interview. How'd it go? Well, I did the best I could. Good. I hope you get the job. Yeah, but I'm a little uncertain about something. What do you mean? I'm not sure if it was the right company for me. Hmm. That's common. You'll find out it was the right choice after you get in. Is that how it works? But what if I get in and find out there's nothing I want to do? Find a company that suits your needs then. Once you figured out what you want, that is. Yeah, maybe I haven't analyzed myself enough. Ah, so maybe the other option would have been better to pick right there. Let's see, you know, okay. Uh, oof, I was just about to get jumped. Down here. So, I got an answer from the company. What do they say? I was rejected. Ah, sorry to hear that. I wonder what I did wrong. Wanna go somewhere and blow off some steam? Huh? Really? Yeah! I think I need that. At least, then let's meet up at Theater Square. Right here! Ah, oh, okay. I'm still out of my extract too. Oh my god, that gave me no time to press the heat action. Nope! Oh, oh hi! Tashira? <laughs> Just came out of nowhere and punched that guy. <laughs> oh god. Thanks, man. Hi, Sekino. Ooh, the earrings. Hey, Yagami-san. Sorry to keep you waiting. I see you're dressing casual today. Hi. Yeah, I wanted to take a break from all the office stuff. <laughs> hmm? What's wrong? Oh, no. Have you noticed anything different about me? Oh, that would be... Is something different about her? Hmm. And then... That means there's another cat, right? Huh, imagine if that was it. Oh, there you are! Oh well, look, a cat. I was about to say, imagine if it was in the same spot as last time. <laughs> hmm, did she had those earrings on before. Aha! It's those earrings. They're really nice. So you did notice! About time! Of course. They got my eye right away. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. Lucky guess. Um... I can still examine everything else now. Did she cut her hair? No. Her hair pretty much looks the same. Oh, yes, she her butt size is... Yagami! Oh, no. Yagami! Hey, my eyes are up here, you know? Oh, I wasn't... Uh, yeah. Aww. Are <laughs> her clothes new? They're totally new. Nah, I've seen her wear those. Nothing about. I'm surprised the shoes aren't an option. Okay. Should I give Tsukino chan a present? Alright, let's try one of these rings. A pretty ring with the design inspired by the falling petals of colorful blossoms. A shining, sophisticated ring. 
showcases a refined jewel with a price to match. Hmm. These under. I feel like. Minecraft the gold with an air of mystique. No, that's not for her. Let's try these white pearls. Well, no, she's wearing earrings right now, so I'm gonna give her a ring. My falling petals of colorful blossom. Let's try this shiny flower ring. Right? Yeah, I'm not sure if you like it though. Ah, thank you so much! Okay, she likes it, at the very least. Do you wanna go hang out somewhere? Hi! Alright. We can go to the casino, play darts, or... Hmm. I think the casino will suit us just fine. Oh. <laughs> New senji san Ah, oh, my sweet Tsukino-san. What a lovely coincidence. Nay, it was destiny that led me here. True soulmates can sense each other's presence, you know? <sighs> I wouldn't know. Hey, you didn't follow us here, did you? Hmm. Preposterous! A true English gentleman would never resort to such underhanded tactics. Now, listen up, peasant. You and I shall engage in the ultimate test of stamina, fortitude, and masculinity. Poker! Thus, you'll prove to Sakino-san which of us is the superior man. I mean, I was gonna go there anyway. Fine! I accept your stupid challenge. Yanami-san, are you sure? Uh. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll make him cry like the spoiled brat he is. <laughs> <laughs> Say what you will, but a true English gentleman never loses his, com his composure, whether in victory or defeat. However, can the same be said for such a lowly peasant as you? <laughs> My advice? Keep your handkerchief handy. That way, you can bawl your eyes out once, you give once I give you a sound thrashing. <laughs> He just says whatever the hell he wants, doesn't he? Yukikawa, we're taking them to the casino with us. As you wish, young master. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be 50 50 whether I'll be able to do anything. Ahem. This will be decided with a single match. Uh. Fine by me. Prepare to be awed and amazed, Tsukino san. For I will dash this peasant man's dreams to pieces and show you how capable I truly am. <sighs> Bright! Okay. Got some chips? Because I don't think I had any actually. Alright, I got a 10 and a 2. And I think now would be a good time to use this that I got from the voluptuous woman. <laughs> I'm more likely to hear something from my hand. There we go. I raise! Oh, and he's the dealer too. Huh. Well, there we go. <laughs> Four of a kind. Four card. Wow, look at that. I got it. Nah, just one match. Take that. Yes. Victory is mine. Wow, Yagimi san, you did it. Yeah. How? How can this possibly be? Losing to a miscreant like you? <laughs> Heh, you just see the look on your face. I don't have a handkerchief, but I know I can find you some pocket tissues. <laughs> how, how dare you! In any case, Tsukino-san, if I could have your attention, please. What is it? Ahem, if you are the moon, then I am the earth. Two celestial bodies spun together by the gravity of fate. Now, let us swear an oath to join ourselves as one until the universe sighs its final dying light and fades away. Huh? What are you talking about? Tsukino-chan, will you consent to our betrothal? Huh? huh? I've already booked the wedding hall. Now let us be on our merry way. Oh no! Wha wait a minute! Ryuzenji san Hmm? What is this? I can't. I already have plans today. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, is this true? Hi. Yes. I promised Yakimi san we'd do something. I. I see. Well, I suppose it would be unlike you to break a promise. 
well, I will respect the wishes of my fiance. I'd appreciate that. Oh, but before I take my leave, you peasant, you had better not be toying with Tsukino-san's heart. You hear me? Huh? I won't let you lay a finger on my fiance. And don't you forget it. Let us depart, Yukikawa. As you wish, young master. Uh, sorry you had to go through that again. Nah, it's fine. Ready to, ready to get going? Yeah, let's talk about the interview first. Sorry to hear about your inter- to hear your interview was a bust. Hi. To be honest, I kind of already knew it. How so? I realized while I was at the interview that something just didn't click. You mentioned something like that in your text, too. Hmm. Oh my god, okay. Um, maybe it just wasn't for you. I'm sure you do better next time. Are we talking about the interview itself, or the company? Maybe you were thinking deep down that the job just wasn't for you? Hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. How perceptive you are! Okay. Good. I think that no one's hired me because they can see right through me. And honestly, I'm not even sure I want to go into publishing. I thought you were all about that stuff. No, not really. I only started applying for those types of jobs so I wouldn't be tied down to my family. Understood. No wonder I keep getting rejected. That view Zenji really seems to have a thing for you though. He wants this marriage bad. <sighs> so it seems. It's all because of what I blurted out as a kid. That marriage promise, huh? Hi. Yeah, I can't exactly turn him down either. Why? Is it because his parents knows yours? Exactly! Basically, my parents' company is a subsidi subsidiary of his parents' company. It's called the Ryu Senji Group. Ooh. Empathize with her encourage her to speak up. Oh my god! Why is Tsukino so hard for me? Um... Empathize with her. Encourage her to speak up. I'll go with this. You know, people will take advantage of you if you don't speak up for yourself. You should make your feelings heard. So this me. Well, I'm aware of that, but... You still can't bring yourself to do it. Hi. Right. Ever since I was little, my parents were always telling me not to upset the Ryu Zenji family. My dad said they cut ties with us. Their company would go bankrupt. What if you don't wear a tie? Ooh. Okay, we gotta empathize with her. So you can't just brush him off. Huh. That's tough. Hi. I'm glad you understand. At least I have one person on my side. Alright, last chance. Oh god. Zikino John, by any chance, have you ever made your art public before? Hi. Actually, I sometimes post them up online under an alias, of course. Does Yosuke know? Yeah. No, I haven't told him anything. Oh no. You really want to see my drawings that badly, huh? Yeah, I do. Well, if you insist. But you better not laugh, okay? I've never shown these to anyone in person. I consider myself honored. Actually, I saved all my pictures to my phone. Here. Wow! Oh, so that's your profile picture. This is so cute! Wow! These are incredible! Oh, you really think so? Yeah, they're amazing. I had no idea you were this good. You're pretty much a professional already. I mean, people pay good money for these. And that'll do it. <laughs> Why, thank you. Actually, I've been studying how to draw for most of my life. I even went to art classes and everything. Wow, you should put in work. What is it about drawing that you like in particular? Mm, for one, it makes me happy when other people comment on my drawings. Even if it is anonymously. Also... I think that being creative and inspiring other people are the two best things in the world. Ah, I see. Someday, I think I'd like to interface with 
Yeah, the interface. Interface with people directly about my work. Hmm. I think you should make this your career. I mean, you have the passion. You definitely have the talent. So why not go all in? Huh? You really think I should? I do. Now, I'm no artist, but I know talent when I see it. Thanks! You know, I would say the thought of going professional has crossed my mind. But I hear it's pretty hard to actually make a living as a artist. It is. It is any creative field, really. Besides, my parents would just shoot it down anyway. Would you do it if you could, though? So this is it. Oh, yes. But it's not as simple as that. There are a lot of factors at stake here. Alright. Yep, I knew it. I think I can empathize. In fact, I went through the same sort of thing back when I started my career. What? Huh? Really? Yeah, I actually used to be a lawyer. So what? You? A lawyer? I was until three years ago. I never even went to college. I just studied on my own and ended up getting a license. <laughs> which is impressive on its own. That's... incredible! But since I didn't really go the ac get academic route, I wasn't really sure if I could hang with the big boys. After all, I had to use whatever resources I could find to scrap my knowledge together. And how did that turn out? It was tough at first, but it all worked out in the end. After all, there's no greater teacher than experience. Yeah, if there's something that you want to do, you really have to throw yourself into it because you have to learn by doing for a lot of these types of jobs. And just anything in life, really. After getting- oh, after getting thrown into an office and working my ass off non-stop, I woke up one day and realized I was actually good at my job. So all you needed was some hands-on experience. Right. It was the same when I became a detective, too. Somehow, things just worked out. Prob probably because I dove right in without thinking too much. You just sort of went for it, huh? Yeah. But that- but what works for me might not work for everyone else, so... Yeah. I can picture where earrings would have been nice to you, but... It's okay. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I really needed this. No problem. I'm sure it's not as easy to having to look through so many jobs, but it'll pay off in the long run. I know it will. Has anyone ever told you how amazing you are? Mm hmm? Huh? Where is all this coming from? Well, I was just thinking about how I've been going about things, and I realized how timid I am about everything. You, on the other hand, seem like the type who isn't satisfied until they're doing exactly what they want. Yeah, that does sound like me. And I admire that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you saying that. So, I decided to take a deeper look at how I really want to look my life. That's good. And remember, you can always count on me for support. Ah. Uh, I like how this is going with Sakino san, I will say. Sukino. Sukino! That's probably more correct. Oh god. Thank you, Yagami-san, for making our conversations really meaningful. Not to mention a lot of fun. Anytime. Hope I helped clear your head a little. Definitely. Text me sometime, okay? Nope. There we go. Just standing there for a little bit. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I just want to say thanks for your advice today. No problem. What we talked about really made me think, and I ended up learning a lot about myself. That's wonderful to hear. Yeah, now that I have a clearer picture of the future, I'm sure I'll do better when the next chance comes around. This is good to see, honestly, because 
figuring out what you want to do for your future is really tough, especially when you're just fresh out of school or you're about to be graduating from college. It's a scary thing if you don't already know from the get go. Yeah, give me son. I've come to a conclusion. About what? I think I'm gonna try applying for jobs where I can utilize my drawing skills. Sounds like a great idea. There's this web design company I've been following for some time now. I'd like to apply there. That's very bold of you. I like it. Thanks. I've always wanted to do something like this, you know? Oh, and I appreciate you helping me come to this realization. Me? I didn't do much. Actually, you did. I realized something after hearing your story. Sometimes, you just have to stop using your head and follow your heart. I don't know if that's exactly how I'd put it, but yeah, that's the general idea. Good, because that's my new philosophy on life. At least, for now, Malawell. Oh boy, yeah. There's definitely better ways to put it than that, that's for sure. Oh, there we go. Another message from Sukino. So, I submitted my designs to the company today. It feels so weird having my work evaluated. It's like... so corporate. Hope I did okay. Aha! So the moment of truth draws near. Aha! <laughs> yep! What were you up to today? Working. Running around town. Handling a quest. The usual. That's good. I bet you can get some weird jobs every now and then, huh? Too much, as a matter of fact. And this should be the last one before we get started. Oh no, Yosuke. Hey, Yagimi-san. It's Yosuke. Sakino stopped by, stopped being her usual self all of a sudden. Did something happen? Oh, didn't you hear? Huh? Are you dating her now? No, no. That's not it. Did you... do it with her? No! Come on, man. <laughs> but she's doing... but she's been doing a lot of skincare and stuff lately. It's like she's in love mode or something. I think it's because she's preparing for her interview. Or prepping. She's still a student, you know. Make sure you wear a rubber. Dude, aren't you supposed to be her brother? Exactly! Oh, Jesus. Alright, Sukina. This time for sure. <laughs> Yagami-san, good news! What is it? I passed the initial screening for that company! And now they want to talk to me in person! That's amazing! Isn't it? I knew you were passed for flying colors, Tsukino chan. It's like a dream come true! I can hardly believe it now, even now. And they responded pretty fast, huh? I asked HR about that, and they told me that someone dared saw my illustrations, and said they wanted to talk to me without even looking at my profile. Wow, I guess your drawings really do make a giant impact. <laughs> oh god. That's not funny, Yagimi-san. Hmm, why would they get disappointed after meeting me in person? You'll be fine, as long as you prepare. Yeah, I should do that, huh? You want me to help you again? Yes, please. Okay then, I'll see you at Theater Square as usual. Okay, thank you so much. Are she gonna come in her outfit again? I'm glad she has to ask her about that yet, which is really something. Oh no! Oh wow, you have so many different outfits! This yeah, one's great! Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. No worries. Congrats on making it past the resume screening. Hi! Thanks! 
I can hardly believe it myself. Mm -hmm. You seem a little different today. Hi. A little? <laughs> oh yeah, I actually have an interview after this. They told me to come dressed casually. Eh? Oh, then, are you going to be okay on time? Yeah, I got some time till the interview. Besides, I feel a lot more relaxed just talking with you until then. Hmm. Should I give Tsukina China presents? Let's try the white pearl earrings. I actually have something for you, Tsukino chan. You yeah, actually went and buy me something? Wow! These are gorgeous! These are pearls, right? Yeah. That they look good on you. Oh, how sweet! Oh wow, she really liked that. Gotcha. Is there anywhere anything in particular you wanted to do? Go play darts, go to your arcade. Oh, let's play darts! I saw that on TV yesterday. <laughs> Darts it is then. Ah, uh, uh, you again. <laughs> Tell me, have you ever stopped to contemplate the beauty of the moon as it shines in the night sky? Huh? I've been drawing upon the rotation of the heavens for quite some time, and I had the most curious epiphany. <laughs> the moon is only beautiful when you look up at it from the earth. Like a duplicious lover, it draws tantalizingly close, almost within reach, we can never truly touch it. <laughs> Thus, the earth is necessary for the moon to both merit and beauty. And the earth that inches closer to the moon, slowly but surely, is me. Uh. Do you ever actually make sense? Or do you speak gibberish about me? Enough playing the fool. You and I would decide our worth as gentlemen with the honorable pastime of darts. Um, we're in the middle of the date here. <laughs> Rubbish! If you fancy a date with my fiance, then defeat me at the dart board. Then perhaps I may lend her to you for the better part of an hour or so. <sighs> Sorry, but I don't need your permission. She is not your property. And Tsukino chan isn't some trophy that you can lend at will. There we go. Thank you, Yagami. That much is obvious. It is my duty as an English gentleman to escort her safely wherever she pleases. And that is why I refuse to allow such an unscrupulous low-born street rat to fall into Sikino-san's good graces. Now have it, the... Fine, I accept your stupid challenge. Ah, that's more like it. Sorry, Yagimi-san. This happens every time. Now then. The stadium awaits. Let us be off, Yukikawa. As you wish, young master. That's the only thing he says. <laughs> ah. Alright. I have There we go. Victory is mine. How? How is this even possible? Alright then. I'll be off with Akino chan now. Curse you. You gorgeous. Insufferable. Peasants! Let's get going, Sakino chan. Hi. Oh, sure. Hmm. It seems I underestimated this scruffy peasant. Huh? Hmm. A beautiful yet tiny moon. He's a planet for protection, for stability. It would seem we're fated to fight for such an honor. <sighs> what are you trying to say? A final duel! A proper one this time. The victor will claim the right to Zakino san's affection. Eh? Another duel? How many times does this make now? Ah, but in 19th century England, dueling was a privilege bestowed on gentlemen to decide what the law could not. <sighs> You know we're not in the 19th century England, right? Are we not, though? You see, I carry the great country of England within my heart and soul. As such, I am always there. <sighs> that makes no sense whatsoever. Besides, duels are prohibited in Japan. Are you trying to get a prison sentence? A life without tsukino san is my only prison. And even I had to reach through prison bars only to grasp at my lover's soft hand. I. Daichi leaves MG and gladly accept my bondagement. 
Is vanishment even a word? If you manage to beat me this time, I shall cease in my, my pursuit of Tsukino-san once and for all. I swear it on my honor as a gentleman. Ah. Will you stop honoring us if I, if I win? As I said I would. What if you lose? I expect you to wave farewell to Tsukino-san for all eternity. Now come hither, samurai boy. Show me what the land of the Rising Sun can do. Sure, I've got what it takes to bring you down. Are you sure about this? Hey, whatever it takes to get rid of this dude, I'm doing it. But... Ah, uh, now that's more like it. Now then, let's relocate ourselves. We're not due for a gentleman to cause a scene in public. Here we are, peasant. Don't tell me you plan on fighting with fists alone. Uh. Eh, I'm used to it by now. Very well. According to tradition, I will wield the cane and inherit it from my grandfather. Do you object? Nope. Go right ahead. Use whatever you think will help. Hm. Hm. I intend to. Now then. King Arthur! Grant me your strength! Ah! Uh. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, he, you got off lucky this time. So is it really lucky? Before you would just be one punch. This is now a series. <laughs> Impossible. A modern prince like me losing to a pauper like you. You sure talk a lot about class for someone who just got schooled. Young master! Now make a good- now make good on the oath you swore. And part ways with the fair mate. Nah, now I'm starting to sound like you. <laughs> Forgive me, my sweet Sakino-san. I've- I failed you. You little pissant! Do you have any idea how badly you messed up just now? Eh? Wow. What the actual hell? Did you really believe you could walk away unharmed after raising a hand in a Rozenji group? Seriously? Alright, gents. Carve him up good. Cease this at once, Yukikawa. I beg your pardon? Please, do not shame us any further. An English gentleman never backs down on his word. <laughs> but, but, young master. I will compensate you each for your loyalty. So pack down right this instant. They were just right at the ready. View Zenji. Tsukino san, there is something I must ask you. <gasps> okay. Why do you refuse my proposal? Is it that you dislike me? <laughs> the, the, that's not it. Then please. Help me understand. I've been pining for you for so long. You see, all I wish to do is hear your heart. Well, I certainly don't hate you, you Zenji san. In fact, I think you're actually a pretty decent guy. Then, why do you refuse me? It's because. I want to stay in Tokyo and draw us a living, so I can't go home. <sighs> Your career? Yes, I've been drawing ever since I was little. Right now it's still just a hobby, but I love it nonetheless. Is that so? Hi. It is, and the only reason I haven't pursued it further is because I didn't think it'd make it as if I'd make it as a professional. However, nothing good will happen if all I do is sit around and mope. I have to go all in. I learned that from someone special to me. That's why I'm gonna drive right into my career and make my dreams come true. Sukino chan. I think I understand. <laughs> Indeed, it all makes sense now. <gasps> what does. Do you remember what you drew for me back when we were children? <gasps> I drew something for you? Oh, yes. It was a picture of us. 
betrothed in holy matrimony. Your witty gown was brilliant, breathtaking. What you created was probably beyond your comprehension at the time, but it nearly moved me to tears. Oh! That picture was the reason I fell in love with you. It, it was? Yes. From that day forward, my singular goal in life was to make that a reality. That was why I studied abroad in Japan. Oh, abroad in Japan. No, that's uh, another YouTuber. <laughs> in England. To become a gentleman worthy of your affections. You went that far? For me? <laughs> but of course. In fact, I still had that picture framed on my bedroom wall. Alas, how ironic it is <laughs> that the portrait of bliss that brought us together ended up depicting our demise. You, <laughs> uh. Zenji, no one has the right to decide someone's destiny. If you plan on getting in her way, then as her friend, I'm going to have to stop you. <laughs> you needn't worry. As her fiancé, I would never wish to hinder her in any way. I should return home for the time being. I see. And besides, I'm living proof that Tsukini-san's art possesses the power to move people's hearts, enough to change a man's life. That's why I want to see your drawings when you're done. Consider me your first fan. You, Senji-san. But if it turns out you had no in intention of giving you your all, I'll be back to marry you faster than you say, O King Cole was a very old soul, and a very old soul was he. Uh, all right. Very well. I shall negotiate with your parents while you focus on your career. And so we part ways here. <laughs> Farewell, my shining image of perfection. Let us be off, Yukikawa. As you wish, young master. I guess you really need to get that job now. Hi. Yeah. You still have time until your interview. Would you like to sit down somewhere and relax for a bit? So this me. That sounds like a good idea. Musenji did seem pretty supportive when you told him about your career. He did, didn't he? I still feel kind of bad though. I can't believe he fell in love with you because of something you drew so long ago. Yeah, well, I've changed a lot since then. Hmm. So has he, if you think about it. That picture changed his life. <sighs> Honestly, my artwork as a kid was nothing special. I'm surprised he even looked at it. You really do have talent. Even he saw that. I'd certainly hope so. So, ready for that interview? I... I hope so. I'm still kind of nervous, to be honest. Well, what kind of company is it? It's a web design company. It's not really that big, but... I like all the websites they designed so far. Their design philosophy seems to match my own. Have you gotten your introduction down yet? Hi. Yes. I've thought about my reason for applying. Oh, no. Would you mind listening? Not at all. I'll pretend I'm interviewing you, and you respond as naturally as you can. Got it! Okay, here goes! So I applied here because I want to make something that moves people's hearts. And since your company is known for designs that are both innovative and user-friendly, I'd be honored to be a part of that creative culture as one of your employees. Or something like that. What can you contribute to our company? Um, well, to be honest, I still have a lot to learn. It'll take some time for me to make any significant contributions. But I'd like to start by contributing whenever I can, no matter how small that may be, and learn along the way. That's because I'm the kind of person who wants to get the job done, no matter what it is. And as long as I have the opportunity, I believe I can be a great asset to the, uh, to the company. What kind of designer do you see yourself as? Well, this might seem a bit dramatic, but I believe a well-thought-out design can influence a person's thoughts and behavior. 
That's what makes his position unique. Because if you really think about it, the Ciders have the power to change the world. I see. So, what do you think? I honestly think that was great. I think you're all set. You communicated, you communicated yourself very clearly the whole time. Huh? I, I did? Yep. That you came across as idealistic. You showed enough humility and strength of character to actually back it up. If it were up to me, I'd hire you on the spot. That's perfect! Exactly what, was, what I was hoping for, or going for. You sound like a completely different person than last time, in a good way. Hi. Well, you've given me plenty of food for thought. That turns out I have a lot more going for me than I initially expected. <laughs> Thanks to you, I finally figured that out. So, I guess I really owe you one. Hey, I'm just glad I was able to help. Uh, um, can I ask you something? We've been going out several times now and... I guess what I'm wondering is... What happens after I get a job? What do you mean? Well, the reason we've been meeting up like this is because I needed help. So you're saying we won't have a reason to meet up after you get a job? Hi. Not exactly, but... Oh, no. Would you still be interested in hanging out with me? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> of course I would. Getting a job won't change that. <laughs> really? Oh, I'm so glad to hear you say that. Yeah, why wouldn't I? I don't know. Just promise you'll come see me again. Okay, I promise. <sighs> um, actually, there's something I have to tell you. <laughs> Once I get hired, that is. You can't just say it right now? Eh, uh, well... Just wait till I get the job, okay? I need to focus on my interview. Got it. Sorry. No, wait, no! I wanted to take a picture with her in this outfit. Oh, Man. Good luck on the interview. Hi. Thank you. I feel like this challenge isn't just my own anymore. I'm doing this for everyone that supported me. From you, Zenji san, you help back for my benefit, and for you. Now I can walk forward with my head held high. I know you can deal with Tsuki no chan. Remember all the hard work we've put in. You can't go wrong. Hi. Right, I will. I was kind of doubting myself a little bit earlier that I was like, what if there's like one more before the actual final scene? So it's like, no, we're fine. Talking things out with you really made it all the difference in the world. I'm very grateful for that. Well, time to nail this interview. You know, one thing that I did intentionally over the course of Sakino's little storyline is that I gave her voice more energy as we went along, which matches her confidence in doing interviews, so... Unintentional, but hey, it worked out. <laughs> Alright, with that... We are done with Tsukino sign now. So all that's left is start Amane though. I'm gonna take a little like five second break so I can drink some water before we hit the tree. Ah, and now for the last girl. Amane san. I mean, this should be much more easier on my voice because she has a lower voice. Yagami san, this is Amane. Hey, what's going on, Amane san? I merely wish to thank you for going out of your way to believe me. Not just once, but thrice. Well, you made the request, so I was just doing my job. No, most people don't believe my predictions whatsoever. But you did, and I'm very grateful for that. No one's ever done that much for me, so it filled my heart with joy. Hmm. Uh, it's, I think it's best to be honest with her. To be honest, I was a bit skeptical at first. As I surmised. But as I continued to investigate, I found out what you said had weight. So of course, I couldn't refuse. You are as honest as they come, Yagami-san. Even so, I'm happy you believed in me despite your suspicion. Yeah, there we go. Well, put in a, put in a request if you ever need anything else. Certainly, we do make quite an excellent pair. You're right. 
Are you saying we'll continue working together as the Kamurocho Calamity Busters? <laughs> what? <laughs> whoa, whoa. That's not quite what I meant, lol. That came out of nowhere. Ah, uh, perhaps I let my emotions get the best of me. Ah, uh, I wasn't expecting that from her. I think that one is from Sakino, right? It is. Okay. So we gotta wait a little bit more for Amane-san. And there she is. Yagami-san, do you have a moment? What's going on, Yamane-san? I happened to pass you by you on the street, and that's when I saw it. A calamity. It was written all over you. What? On me? Seriously? Yes, there's no doubt about it. It was a cow calamity. A cow? Indeed. Soon you'll be confronted by a cow. You must defeat it promptly. <laughs> so you're saying I'm gonna be attacked by a cow? And Camarocho? That is one way of interpreting it. Seriously? But how am I supposed to defeat it? In return for watching over me, so will I do the same for you. Once the calamity shows itself, we can tackle it immediately. I see. There's no we there's no need to wait in fear until the calamity arrives. We must go on the offensive. Is that not what you do? What what you would do? Gotcha. In other words, we're gonna lure out the calamity and defeat it. Exactly. Instead of getting taken by surprise, we'll prepare our counterattack. Therefore, we should go about the city in search of this burdensome beast. As long as your mind is clear, even calamities can be vanquished. Alright then. Let's meet up somewhere. I guess theater square would be the easiest. Sure. I think there was a bowling alley in that location, so let's meet in front of it. Well, I guess I can consider this a date. A weird one to be sure, but a date nonetheless. Let's see, where is she? Oh, she's on the auto way over there. They did mention the bowling alley, so fair, but still. Alright, here we go. Mane-san, where are you? There she is. Yagami-san. Greetings, Yagami-san. Hey there. Is something wrong? You see this? It is as I feared. I can sense a bovine disaster forming in the air above you. Yes. I see the calamity of a cow. Seriously? What should I do? Merely go about your usual business. Fear not, or I shall keep watch over you. That's it? Well, I suppose we could at least kill time somewhere. Since you're coming along, is there anything you've been wanting to do? Let me think. You know, I do consider- I do have a considerable talent for shogi. Shogi? That's pretty obscure. However, I wouldn't mind going wherever you want. As long as that's nothing to do with the sex industry. Uh, hey, don't just assume I like that sort of thing. Really? I thought that all men were into that. Uh... What kind of assumption is that? I know. Maybe I'll give Amani san a gift? What's her outfit? A kimono! Ah! Oh. With his vivid ass accents on a dark base color, this kimono is sure to leave an impression. I actually have a present for you, Amane san. Here, it's a kimono. I thought it would fit your image. Thank you. I'm happy, but if I walk next to you wearing this, won't I look like a Yakuza wife? Hey, who would take one to look? Who would take one look at me and think I'm a Yakuza? Besides, there's only punks to give anyone any trouble out here. <laughs> it wouldn't be so far fetched that I'll be a Yakuza wife under the escort of the family muscle, but that might be fun. I will try wearing it next time we meet. There we go. I want to see her in the kimono. Well then, where to go? 
Uh, oh, Shogi is the first one on this list. Okay. Should we go play Shogi then? We could do that. But I'm warning you right now. I'm quite the events player. Ooh, someone's competitive. I like it. Let's have a match then. Very well. This should be entertaining. Then let us go. I have no idea what I'm doing with Shogi. Mm. I see nothing that resembles a cow here. Ah, I'm sure there's something to be worried about regardless. Well then, let's get started. I should put my heart and soul into this match. Good. Show me what you got. Alright, um... Sure. Toss pieces. Uh, there are more pawns, you go first. Okay. <gasps> oh my god, it's my hand. <laughs> Super take back? Okay. The basics of shady? Oh, okay. Let's just follow the guide then. So, uh, let's see. Rook, Bishop. I know that Knight, Lancer, Silver, General, Gold, and this is the King. At least know the pieces, I'm pretty sure. I wonder if this is like a castling strat, but for Shogi. It looks like it, to be honest. I don't know if I should even show a lot of this. I'm really sure, because I'm not the one making the moves. It's the game doing it for me. Ah. I just wish I had another person to talk to on the other side of the board, right? Because games like these are nice little sh social games to have a conversation to. You. Jack? Really? Wait, how? Um, I had this right here. Oh, the bishop! Ah. Alright, I'll take your bishop, I guess. I'm gonna lose my own. Promote! Ah, that was, uh... <laughs> that was something. So if I get my pawns over to the other side, do they get promoted to any of the pieces that I take? Oh wait, what the world? What is this? You can do that? <laughs> Never mind. Promotes. Ah. Really? My rook? Okay, I guess pawns can only take what's directly in front of him. Alright, time to put my pawn back where it got taken. <laughs> Orphan. Oh. I guess I win. I guess there were no other moves that she wanted to make. Or could make. Nice. I won. <gasps> and I surrender. I'm impressed, Yagami-san. I'm usually quite dominant on the Shogi board. Perhaps you have the power of her own. The power of observation. Well, I'm not a detective for nothing. <laughs> then it appears I've underestimated you. Alright, looks like we're just about done. Do you want to go relax somewhere? I suppose that would be wise. <gasps> now I'm starting to feel like we're actually on a date. Is that such a bad thing? I am thinking we might as well enjoy ourselves. <laughs> Perhaps, but dropping your guard may just result in you getting trampled by a cow. <laughs> then I'll be sure to keep an eye out. Is there a cow anywhere? <gasps> There's one behind me I know for sure. Kim! I knew it. Right. Let's ask about the calamities first. How would you describe the sign of calamity? I can't really imagine what that's like. It's as if a hazy sort of image appears over someone's head. And are, and are these images always the same? No. It depends on the situation. For example, it could be lashing tongues of fire, or perhaps a mirage of darkness. Sometimes a sign will show up very clearly, like a photograph, whereas other times, his true form will remain clouded in a haze. Huh. So what does my cow calamity look like? You see this? Precisely that. A cow. A large, fierce one at that, covered in sinews that swell with strength, like a matador's bull. Can you see it right now? Eh. Oh yes, quite clearly of that. <gasps> I suggest you avoid wearing red. Uh... Okay. Can you see these signs on people passing by as well? I can. And whenever I do, I make sure to notify that person. Without conversation, of course. 
so you're volunteering then? Yes. All I want is to use my power to save lives. So I'm happy to do it free of charge. That's admirable. I don't think I could do that. Are you at least able to feed yourself? Of course. It's not like I can survive by only breathing air. Every now and then, I'll pick up a part-time job or two that allows me to earn a lot within a short time. What kind of jobs are they? Mm, mm, let's see. Nude modeling for one. Oh. What? That's the kind of work you do? Hi. Yes. I was requested quite often due to my voluptuous figure, which supposedly is very ideal for painting. A man can only wonder. My client was a young art student with too much lust for him to bear. He devoured every inch of my body with his gaze. I'll bet he did! If you ever find yourself painting, I'll be happy to model for you. It certainly won't be cheap though. Once I save up enough, sure. In any case, I inherited a mansion from my parents. A mansion? So at least I have somewhere to stay. I simply lack spending money. I see. Well, I'm glad you have a home. Is your fortune telling business going well? Mm, I would say... I'm working on it. I guess it's not going too well. Come to think of it, Amane-san. I don't really know much about you. Other than your fortune telling, I mean. Are you saying that you're interested in me? I'm very interested in you. Oh? Yeah, I'm curious what a fortune teller does in her spare time. Do you have any hobbies, perhaps? Mm. Well, I'm not entirely sure if this counts, but... I like small animals, like hamsters and hedgehogs. Do you own one? You know, I have my, fr my friend. He owns a hedgehog. <laughs> Hi. Takes really good care of him. Yes, I actually have a golden hamster named Yagami-san. Huh? <laughs> What did you just say? I have a hamster named Yakimi-san. I realized it looked a lot like you, so I renamed him. Uh, no kidding. <gasps> what? Are you having any difficulties with your job? So this is As a matter of fact, I am. But when I consider all the frightening calamities, calamities swelling about the populace, my troubles seem rather trivial in comparison. Hmm. You have a very noble attitude. Arigatou oh, there we go. Thank you for your kind words. I knew you would understand my way of thinking. But that means you're choosing to suffer. You're a kind person, Yagami-san. I'm only kind to you, I'm only kind to the ladies. It's not like I'm kind to just anyone. Only you. <laughs> well, I'm certainly pleased to hear that. Oh, that was interesting. I have to do that. If you're comfortable enough, would you tell me what's on your mind? My customers. What about them? They always get scared of me and run away. It happens whenever I warn them about their calamities. Wait, that's what's been bothering you? Hi. It has indeed. I offer them advice that they can avoid imminent peril, and yet they flee as if I was something hideous. <sighs> What's worse is that most people went away before I could even get the words out. I see. What could I be doing wrong? Well, how do you approach these people? Hmm. I could always explain. Perhaps it would be quicker to show you. Uh -huh. ah. Mew, sir, over there. Do you have a moment? Whoa, just like that, huh? Huh? Eh? Ah, are you talking to me? How unfortunate. I detect a great calamity in your future. What? An academic disaster is about to befall you. Yes, I can see that studying will bring you great misfortune. Eh? What are you talking about? Be sure, to guard... Be sure to guard your material possessions as you fill your mind with knowledge. That you slipped and lose both to the void. Oi. Lady, what the hell are you talking about? What is this nonsense all of a sudden? My exams are coming up tomorrow, so stop bogging me down with all your cryptic negativity. 
Uh, uh, hold on a second, Amane-san. Mm -hmm. hmm? Let's get back to our seats for now. Sorry about that, man. So, I got a grasp of how you usually are with people. There's definitely an issue here. Mm. Is there something amiss about my approach? Yeah, you see, anyone would get scared if you told them they're going to suffer right off the bat. Is there any way you can make your warning sound less extreme? Without, like, unloading the doom and gloom. Less extreme, you say? Yeah, your tone, for example. Maybe try approaching them in a more friendly way. These are random strangers we're talking about here. You're right. I'll be more mindful of that next time. Yagami-san, look. It's that student from earlier. What about him? A calamity of study in which really attacked that young man. Should we not watch over him? Or at least deliver a proper warning? Are you absolutely sure something bad is going to happen to him? Aye. Fate does not false bear witness. Oh, fate does not fear false witness, Yagami-san. There is no doubt in my mind. Alright, I'll go with you. Thank you. Hmm? Hmm? What's this other guy doing? Could he be... Oh! Really? Hey, that bag you're holding. It's not yours, is it? Yeah. If you return it without waiting an issue, I might just let you off the hook without getting the police involved. Uh, I'm sorry. It honestly happened on a whim. I'll give it back right now, so please don't call the cops. Thank you for thank you so much for getting my back my precious bag. Looks like you got so focused on studying you didn't even notice it was gone. Seriously, I almost got screwed. The admission form for my upcoming exams is right there. Amane-san was spot on yet again. Thank you for believing in me, Yagami-san. Hmm. Well, we are partners. I guess we've come a long way together. Indeed. And I will admit that it's reassuring to have you here with me. It seems as though you have the power to resolve calamities, whereas I have the power to predict them. Perhaps this can make for quite an interesting relationship. I'm glad you think so. Yagami-san, thank you for tagging along with me today. <laughs> the time we spent together was quite... enjoyable. Oh? Does that mean your, object your objectives change? I thought you were watching over my calamity. Oh. Ah, you're right. I had so much fun that I completely forgot. Heh, <laughs> I'm glad you had a good time. Indeed. Well then, let us meet again soon. Unless a calamity befalls you. Did you have to end it on an ominous note? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be such a coward. Oh boy. Another pun lover. Here we go. You know what? She's perfect for Yagami. No, oh, okay. Hi, Kim. Oh, here we go. Amane-san. I appreciate you coming along with me today, Yagami-san. Though I am relieved nothing bad happened, please be aware that Calamity still looms above you. Yeah, I'll be careful. I'll call you again soon. Let's go on a date again. Certainly, because watching for invisible cows is so romantic. <laughs> you know, Amane san so far has acted differently from how I thought that she was. Which I am perfectly okay with. <laughs> and there she is again. Hello there, Yagimi-san. Hey, what's up? Today, I saw an elderly man with a sign of calamity. I followed your advice from the other day and managed to get him to listen to my warning. I'm glad it helped. Yes, I can't thank you enough. 
By the way, what kind of sign did you see? An ominous sign of the blades. I hope that he follows my warning and stays careful. Did it seem like he believed you? I'm not sure. He seemed half convinced, but did say that he'll be careful. Let's hope he keeps his word. Ominous sign of the blades. Huh. Is that maybe like a kitchen knife? That's the first thing that came to mind to me. Blades. Maybe he works in like a factory? That's chopping things up? Hmm. Ah! Amane! Yagami-san, has the calamity appeared since the last time we met? Nope, not at all. Not even the first letter C of it. How strange. I wonder how long this drama will continue to drag out. Well, as long as the calamity doesn't appear, it's all good, no? No. Bad luck accumulates over time, like filth. I don't like the sound of that. Exactly. I think it's best to get rid of the bad luck before something terrible happens. Are you feeling lucky today, Yagami-san? <laughs> Yagami-san, let's meet up again. Let's slur out that cow calamity. Alright. Can we meet at Theater Square then? In front of the bowling spot like last time? Certainly. I'll head over there right now. Oh yeah, I gave her an outfit as a gift. Should I see if she'll wear it? Yes! Hey, remember that outfit I gave you? I was thinking, I'd love to see you in it. Does this have something to do with the calamity? Nah, I'm just super curious. Then I'll give it some thought. I hope she goes for it. Ooh. It's time to see! Oh, there she is! Uh, she didn't do anything for her though, which is the thing I was excited about. It is okay. Greetings, Yakimi-san. Ooh. I should really like the accents of this kimono, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, you wore it! Mm. Did you feel this was necessary for me to do my job? Come on, it looks great on you, so why worry about it? Aww. What sort of logic is that? Hey, amane -san? Is the cloud calamity still there? Yeah. Yes, I saw it clearly from far away, and it's getting even bigger. It is. Hmm, your misfortune appears to be con concatenating with that of something else. Just... It is as if the very threats of fate are entangling you into a snare, leaving you utterly powerless to run away from ruin. That's pretty dark. Now I just have to find a. Wait, I gotta sneeze. Ooh, okay. Ah, I really had to recover from the recoil of that sneeze. Uh, okay. Then I just have to find that evil cow and defeat it as soon as possible. That certainly would be prudent. Perhaps we should engage in a game of sports or merriment. Not for our own sake, but to lure out this disastrous bovine. I know. Maybe I'll give a money on a gift. Yeah. So I actually have something for you. Oh, you actually went out and bought me something. Yeah, I thought it looked good on you. Wow, it looks so refined. I love it. I bet you look really good in it. Absolutely. I love this sort of thing. Thank you. I'll try this on right away. Ooh, yeah. I can't wait to see you in it. It's perfect. Well, I don't look strange at all. Nope. In fact, you look great. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me happy. Alright, where should I go to this time? Good old darts. How about we kill some time for a bit? Wanna play some darts? In the past, I knew a man who bore this sign of a needle calamity. He ended up having a terrible accident with darts. 
Will you truly be safe? Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? It's just a cow we're after. Okay then. Is this your first time playing darts? Uh... Yes. All I'll have to do is throw them at you, right? No, 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 not at me. Yeah, that's all there is to it. There. No, no, no! You throw them at the board, not me! <laughs> Relax! I've played darts plenty of times, so I know what I'm doing. For crying out loud. You got me with that one. Shall we have a little competition? Sure. Sounds fun. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right, I've won. You truly have impeccable aim and control. Eh, damn straight I do. It would seem our oxen opponent has failed to show itself yet again. If it's going to show up at all, I'd rather have it happen sooner than later. Yeah, here we go. I was actually making a joke about this before. <laughs> Wait a sec. Beef sound. Yagami-san. Yagami-san. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a cow. Right now, this restaurant is quite possibly the most dangerous place in the world to you. Even the smallest bite of beef will rack your organs with writhing pain and poison. Of this, I am certain. You want to check it out? What? Surely you just... Nah, my friend Kim San rent the place. I know he wouldn't serve us anything but the best. Besides, it has something to do with cows. I think it's a perfect place to lure out that calamity. But... You'll be plunging into chaos itself. Ah, I'll be fine. Let's just head in and enjoy. My treat. You've lost your mind. Beef. Zone. Beef. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, how horrendous. The entire place reeks with the tainted stench of animal flesh. Uh. Don't say that kind of stuff inside a restaurant. Welcome to the beef zone! Oh, Yagami-san? Yeah. Hey, Kim-san. You got seats for two? So for you folks? You bet I do! Yagami-san! And who's this beautiful young lady? I didn't know you had a girlfriend. Eh? I beg your pardon? Hmm? Oh, was I mistaken? I don't think I can pull that off here. Ah, but I really want to see it though. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'll just do it. Nope, she's my girlfriend. Cute, isn't she? Huh? Well, wait just a moment. Miyagami-san, what is the meaning of this? <laughs> <laughs> I was only kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. So the reverse of Sekiro. Gotcha. Well, I'd appreciate it if you didn't toy with my feelings like that. Mm. Sounds like you two have some issues to work out. Anyway, feel free to have a seat wherever you like. I know. Perhaps you would take the path of caution to stick to only vegetables? No way. I'm not gonna put my I'm not gonna put myself on a diet because of some stupid calamity. So this I see. Ooh, that sounds good. Well, time to get dig in. Hmm. Now that's good beef. Please be careful. Are we gonna talk here, or...? Oh, we are! Alright, now what should we talk about? Hmm. So... Someone finally listened to your warning, huh? Hi. Yes. It appeared that tone and delivery is more crucial than I initially expected. Then does that mean your work issues are solved? So this it seems that would be the case. You know, Yagami-san, ever since I met you, I feel like things have been going well for me. What do you mean? You see, I've always wanted to use my abilities to help other people. 
but no one would ever believe me. On the contrary, people would either get scared or make fun of me. <gasps> it is said that a prophet is never accepted in their hometown. The same how true for me. Everyone was so cold. Hmm. Must have been hard to deal with. <gasps> it was. You were the only one, yagami san The only one to what? To hear what I've had to say from the beginning, even take action upon it. And you did it not only for my sake, but also for the sake of others. Well, of course. I want to use my abilities to help people too. Eh? Truly, you do? Yeah. Knowing there's something only you can do to make the world a better place is one of the best feelings in the world. I agree. There's more. Uh, that's how I feel when we're working together. Although, I do have to charge for a conversation, since it is my job and all. That guy's got to eat too. <laughs> well, I doubt a gun like you would starve. Hmm. Tell me about. Tell me more about yourself, Amanda. Hi. Sure. What would you like to know? Well. Come, come to think of it. I don't even know your full name. That's right. I haven't revealed that to you yet. It's... Samugi. Ah, so your full name is Samane Samugi? The opposite, actually. Wait, really? Yes, my name is Samugi Amane. Wow, that sounds even more intense. Hi. Does it? I thought it's strange to introduce myself to strangers by my first name. I guess that makes sense. Yagami-san, what's your first name? Takayuki. Takayuki-san, such a gentle name. I think it fits you quite well. So does yours. Why, thank you. Oh, so Samugi is her first name. Okay, so they have it first name, last name in the localization. Gotcha. How old are you, Amane-san? How old are you, Yagami-san? I'm 35. Edging ever closer to my 40s. 35? Wow, you don't look like it. So, what about you? <laughs> if you're that curious, then why did you try to guess? Okay, if that's how you want to play... You're in your 20s, right? <laughs> that would be correct. Okay, now I just have to guess the number. Hmm. I think 29 was, whatchamacallit, Nanami's age, so I think she'll probably be 27, because this seems like Tsukino's age, because she's around college. 27? You never cease to amaze me, Yagami-san. You got it. So you're 27, huh? Wow, you're young. Not so much. That's almost 30. I'll ask this first. <laughs> hey, Amane-san. Hi. Yes? Do you have a boyfriend? Eh? Why do you ask? I'm asking because if you did, he probably wouldn't want you to hang out alone with me. <sighs> to be frank, this is what I do as a professional. Whether my boyfriend approves, or even exists to begin with, matters not. Fair enough. So is she dating anyone, or did she just dodge my question? I'll leave that to your, up to your imagination. Whoa. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. I can often sense what people around me are thinking. I am a fortune teller after all. And I'd better watch my thoughts. <gasps> and I'd better watch out for dirty thoughts. That's what you just thought to yourself, isn't it? Hey now, I didn't go that far. <laughs> it's fine, as long as they simply remain thoughts. Whoa, okay. <laughs> hey now. Believe it or not, I'm actually quite the gentleman. How can I be certain? I don't know if I'm allowed to ask you, but... Mm -hmm. What is it? Um... Hi. Go on. Gah. I can't go any longer without knowing her figure. Curse this inquisitive detective mind of mine. What? <laughs> but is it really okay to ask her straight up? I feel like your measurements would match those of a model. Eh? Is that so? <laughs> <laughs> you're a curious little boy, aren't you? I can clearly see you're trying to guess my sizes. 
Sorry. It's a guy thing. Oh, and now I'm the then what would be your estimation? Well, you okay with me guessing? Alright then. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see. Those are C cups. No. Maybe even D cups? <gasps> your eyes scare me, Yagami san. <laughs> hmm. I think. You do about. Would you mind not leering at me? Sorry. Well then, now that that's over with. Actually, forget it. I feel like I'll lose my morals if I keep going. <laughs> what was even the point of that? How about we take a picture together? Something to remember this by. <sighs> you know, I think I'd like that. Ooh, ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Uh, right here? God, this is so sensitive. Can you move in a little bit closer? Thank you. Yeah, nice. Looks good. Yep, let's look at the meat. Would you mind sending that to me later? Oh! It's you. Oh, so starving. Oh, crap. That's... Welcome to the beef zone! Oh, why? Huh? Mm. <sighs> uh, at this rate, I could eat a whole cow. Scratch that, I could eat an entire herd of them. Is he prioritizing his appetite over me? Or did he just not notice? Either way, I should just go about my nah. business. Hey, you! Give me one of everything on the menu. Scratch that, give me everything you got in the restaurant. Ano? I... I hate to ask, but would you mind selling your tab first? I don't wanna. Mm. Come again? Nah, I'm just saying that unless you bring me food right now, I'm gonna wreck the shit out of this place starting with you. But please don't. Go home! Feed me. Oh god, okay, I'm not doing that. <laughs> shit, is this what the cal calamity is? Well, he does eat like a cow. Never should intervene. Ah, he'll be fine. Hey! Huh? Mm. You better pay your bill if you plan on eating here. Huh? Oh. Oh, I've seen you before. <laughs> You're Kastai's friend, aren't you? Uh... Wrong. Definitely wrong. Now listen close. If you don't pay, you can't eat. If you want to eat, you gotta pay. Get that through your dickhead. You gotta be in you get in my way by grub session? So, I'm gonna have to let loose on you, Kasai's friend or not. Then step outside. My friend works hard to run this business. If you can't respect that, then I can't let you leave. <laughs> what a bunch of baloney. Fine then, I can use a little appetizer before the main course arrives. Go home! I'll gnash you to pieces! Alright, come on. <laughs> Ran again. God, my stomach. It hurts. Now pay what you owe and get out of here. I don't wanna. I'm not moving till I get my melon with food on my plate. You know you're gonna get punished by the food god, right? There's a food god? Oh yes. The food god's job is to bless whoever pays for their food and curse those who don't. As the proverb goes, he who does not work, neither shall he eat. Do you really want to lose your ability to eat forever? Huh? You're, you're lying! There's no such thing! It is exactly as he says. I'm Mari san who, who the hell are you? I am the I am a divine soothsayer. My predictions are absolute. A divine soothsayer? That doesn't sound good. Uh... Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? 
As I thought. I see the sign of the hunger calamity rising before you. <coughs> what? What's the hunger calamity? <coughs> you have enraged the deity that presides over all edible food. At this rate, you will succumb to hunger and die. <coughs> no! Say it ain't so! <coughs> and then, <coughs> as punishment for your gluttony, you shall descend into the lower circle of hell. <coughs> now, make your decision. Atone for your sins by paying what you owe, or prepare to face another world. It, it looks like <laughs> I bit off more than I could chew. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank you for your business, Yagami-san, future teller lady. Thank you for driving away that thief. <laughs> you two are incredible. Nah, we were just doing our thing, but. Could this mean that my cow calamity is gone? I mean, Sake Sakakiba is more of a cow than most actual cows, so... No, it doesn't look like it. Your calamity still remains. Hmm? What? The sign of the cow calamity hasn't disappeared. If anything, it's gotten bigger. Eh? No way. What could this possibility mean? What could this possibly mean? It would seem that the cow calamity continues to elude us. I guess we just gotta be patient. Nevertheless, you never cease to amaze me. I can't believe you decided to help your friend despite the calamity at hand. I guess I'm the same as you, Amane san. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I had the power to fix the fist situation, so I did whatever I could. Simple as that. You truly are a splendid individual. Right back at you. Yeah, san, san this is- there is something I must ask. Mm -hmm. What's up? Well, would you still consider going out with me? Even after your calamity is repelled? Eh? Ah? Huh? Whenever we're together, I find myself having a wonderful time. And I also feel more positive about who I am. Okay then, sure. We can go out anytime. <laughs> would you also consider working as my full-time partner from now on? Let's save that discussion for another time. <laughs> Today was quite enjoyable, Yakimi-san. Alright. Yeah, it was a solid date. <laughs> if only the Calamity hadn't bothered us. I suppose I should save for real for now. Alright. I'll try to go ahead and think about how I wanna rank these girls, cause Oh man, this is gonna be tough. Cause I don't wanna put anybody last, but there's gonna naturally be a last person, you know? That's how I feel about all of them. Yeah, give me son. I had an excellent time thanks to you. Hmm. Me too. I had fun with you. I'm relieved to hear that. It's not thanks to the cow, hmm? Hopefully nothing too bad happens. Well, as long as the calamity existed in the first place, it will most definitely happen. Please do not let your guard down. Okay, I'll be careful. There she is! Yeah, give me san do you remember the elderly man who listened to my prophecy? <laughs> oh my god. It's that guy with the sign up blades, right? He told you he'd be careful even though he only seemed half convinced. Yes, that man actually came to thank me today. The calamity occurred as I predicted, and he escaped death because he stayed careful. He even requested that I reach his fortune again. Wow. That's amazing. This is the first time someone other than you acknowledged my power, so I'm extremely happy. Hopefully more people get their heads straight and take your advice from now on. One can only hope. Ah, that's nice. She's growing her clientele. Though, would it be a clientele if she's not charging them for her services? I don't know. Probably not. 
Yeah, give me sun. Has the cloud calam uh has the cloud calamity manifested itself to you? Not yet. In that case, would you like to meet me again? Are you asking me out on a date? Are you gonna consider it as a date? Yeah, I have been since the beginning. Very well. Now I'm going with that intention in mind as well. Sweet! Then I'll meet you in front of the bowling spot in the theater in theater square, as usual. Alright, let's go! Oh wow. Yagami-san. Greetings, Yagami-san. Whoa, nice dress. Thank you. One of my customers bought this for me back when I was a hostess. Whoa, you were a hostess too? Eh. Yes, I figured it was an ideal position for, a, for observing customer interaction. <sighs> However, I ended up getting fired after accusing a client of theft. Wow, you really have been through a lot. And aside from that, <laughs> from all that, I made sure to dress appropriately for a date. And this is more like an escort than a date. So, what do you think? I think you're beautiful. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. Hey, I was just being honest. Then, thank you. I took a chance by putting this on, but the look on your face tells me it paid off. I know. Maybe I'll give Amane some a gift. Alright, I think all of these will be good on her now. Amane-san, I have something for you. This is beautiful. I'll take- I promise to take good care of it. Oh, wow. I suppose I did give her the best item already. Alright, where should we go today? When Shogi darts and now a casino. I get the feeling you're in, you'd be good for gambling. Or good at gambling, since you're a fortune teller and all. Mm. Mm. Actually, I've never tried it before. Then how about trying your luck? Who knows? You might have a talent for it. Perhaps that may be the case. Well, do you see anything? Can you tell when someone's about to lose? No. My powers don't exactly work like that. Hmm. I guess that would make you pretty overpowered. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Well, let's just have some fun anyway. Hmm. What's something we would both enjoy? I guess poker would be our best mm. bet. Poker. That does sound interesting. But I'm not too clear on the rules. And I'll be happy to teach you. Alright, here we go. Aha! I win. Nice! I won! Very impressive, Yagami-san. I had no idea your luck sign was so strong. I'd say it's more pluck than luck. And maybe a little bit of bluffing. Her smile just instantly disappears. <laughs> How about we sit down somewhere and chat for a while? Yes, good idea. It feels a lot like we've been on, we've been dating lately, rather than trying to lure out a cow. Indeed. However, if we keep dropping our guard like this, the cow might choose to manifest itself. Then let's put on our cowboy hats and wrangle the sucker in. <laughs> let's do that. Yagami-san, do you find my company enjoyable? Oh yeah, I always have fun hanging out with you. Eh? Do you speak the truth? Yep, cross my heart. <laughs> I never would have imagined. Watashi. Well, I certainly appreciate your company. Do you mean that in terms of work? Mm. It was like that at first, but now I appreciate you in general. I'm glad to hear it. So, do you think that guy you mentioned uh, so, do you think that guy you mentioned believes in your abilities now? So this is Yes. If anything, he was deeply impressed. In fact, he asked me to keep reading his fortune from now on. Wow, so you got yourself a regular. Nice going. Hi. Yes, 
He even paid me for my services. I declined at first, of course, but he kept on insisting. Mm. It was quite a handsome reward. How much was it? <gasps> About 500,000 yen. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. 500,000? He said that was only trifle, considering I saved his life. That is true, yeah. He even wants me to... He even wants to bring me in as one of his advisors. Similar to a court magician, I suppose. So he's gonna be your patron, huh? That's amazing. Hi. Indeed. I'm actually I'm actually supposed to meet him afterwards. He wants me to take a reading of everyone who works for him. Hmm. Hmm. I'm kinda jealous. You are? Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> Worry not, Yagami-san. This man is far out of my age range. Gotcha. Oh, what is her age range then? How about I guess the occupation of the patron of yours? <laughs> you can really do that? Sure. All it takes is a simple game. Mm -hmm. well, what game do you speak? I'm just gonna ask you a few questions. And all you need to do is think about the answers. That's pretty much it. <laughs> You don't require any verbal response at all? Nope. Just think carefully. People generally make unconscious gestures when they're lying. I can bet I- I bet I can throw a few questions out there and gauge her response that way. So, this gentleman's occupation. Could he be a businessman? Hmm. Mm. I think I'll remain silent. So he isn't a businessman then. Oh, eyes. Oh, did I see you waver a bit just now? Sh surely you're mistaken. Got her. Heh, she's not so hard to read. Hmm. I'm gonna throw out some general general characteristics here, based on what he does. Don't expect an answer. This guy is an inte intellectual. Maybe someone who sits all day? Or could he be someone who moves around a lot? Oh, he moves around a lot? Perhaps he's good with his hands. A generally cheerful fellow. Or maybe he's a little more on the shady side. Okay, she responded to that too. He could be a creator? Heck, he could be something anyone would know. Hmm. I see. I wonder if I can guess the first letter of his occupation. Is it A? <gasps> you tell me. So it's not an A. Then maybe... K... S... T... N... H... M... Y... Oh? Y... R... W... I see. Uh, no. Can you really... Can you really tell from just that? Oh, you'll see. Okay, I got it. What? What? That patron of yours is. Oh, this makes a lot of sense. Yak broker, yoga instructor, the head of a yakuza family. What? H how did you know? Simple observation, my dear Amane-san. Although, all I really did was copy what I saw on TV drama the other day. So Either way, being able to pull that off takes a considerable amount of skill. But dang, the Yakuza Patriarch, huh? Yeah, because he avoided a sign of Blade's calamity. He gave her 500,000 money and said that that was a trifle amount. She shifted when she when we asked about them moving around a lot, being an occupation that everybody knows and is on the shadier side, and she also reacted when it started with a Y. So yeah. Hi. Yes, that is why he seems to attract danger quite frequently. Yeah, now it all adds up. His organization seems to be involved with some sort of conflict as of late. So having me predict his misfortunes is proving to be quite an ax uh, asset. Wait, Yagami? I think that was supposed to be Amane saying that. No wonder he wants to keep such a reliable person around. Please take a picture. Yes. How about we take a picture? 
Alright. There we go. Yagami-san, it's almost time for my appointment. Oh, right. Your patron awaits, huh? Then let's head out. This cow sure is taking a sweet time, isn't it? Wonder what's keeping it. Uh, Amane-san? Yagami-san, I'm not sure how to convey this to you. But as soon as she looked at me, I noticed it got bigger, as if it were engorged. Eh? Could you be talking about? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. My calamity sign? Hi. Indeed. It swells with a curious negative energy, the likes of which I've never seen before. Now that you mention it, something does feel kind of off. Mm. Indeed. Their misfortune seems to be amassing. Waiting for the fated moment. Yeah, this is probably like the horniest um, storyline for out of these four girls so far. Well, Gagami san, did you have a good time today? Yeah, though all of them have some kind of like any windows in there now that I think about it. Yeah. I actually forgot about my cow problems for maybe a minute or two. Wonderful. Still, don't let your guard down. Anyway, let's stay in touch, yes? Ooh! Yo, Sumugi-san. Ready to get the show on the road? Ah, yes. Thank you for coming on this way. I'll speak with you later, Yagami-san. Alright, see you. Hello. Wait a second. You dating this guy, Sumugi-san? <laughs> what? Oh, no. He is merely an acquaintance. Ah, wouldn't I figure that, seeing the way you two are looking at each other. <sighs> Come now. Yagami-san is more like... A friend. Right? Amane-san, are you really going along with this criminal? Oh boy. There she is. Yagami-san, I'm back from work. You were telling the fortunes of all the Yakuza members, right? Yes. Everyone was haunted by some form of calamity or another. Well, they are involved in organized crime after all. I'm worried about your safety, especially being involved with those kinds of people. I'll be fine. They're all good people. But still. Besides, I saved their patriarch's life. So I'm sure the rest of them wouldn't lay a finger on me. I see. But like you always say, you can never be too careful, right? You're right. Thank you for your concern. I hope you continue to be careful with the Kyle Calamity as well. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Where is this gonna go, I wonder? I'm about to involve the Yakuza, right? Because that's the one thing that's being introduced that's specific to this. And the cow calamity hasn't showed up yet. Yagami-san, are you dating anyone right now? Huh? Why do you ask? Ooh? Well, since we see each other quite often, I f I'd feel bad for your girlfriend if you had one. Don't worry, I'm still single. Is that so? Well, that's certainly a relief. A relief, huh? <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't give her any points for her intimacy. Yagami-san, has the cow calamity appeared since we last spoke? Nope, nothing as usual. In that case, we should meet once more. This time, I will surely lure out the Calamity. Okay, let's meet up. Does the Deirdre Square work for you? You know, the usual bowling spot. Yes, I'll be waiting. Uh, I won't ask her this time. 
I like all the extra outfits, but if I can, I want to have them in like their base outfits when we do everything. Here she comes. Yagami-san. Sorry to keep you waiting, Yagami-san. It's fine. Let's get going, huh? Sonna. Oh, she's wearing the earrings from last time. What's going on with you, Amane-san? The sign of the cloud calamity has vanished. It has? Like, completely? Yes. Huh. Guess that means we're done watching out for cows. <sighs> this is troubling indeed. What's wrong now? Oh. Uh, oh! That was merely a slip of the tongue. Okay. So what are your plans now that the calamity is over and done with? Mm. Well, I'm certainly not ready to go home, if that's what you're asking. Alright. A gift. My mind is on. I have something for you. Oh my, are you sure this is okay? Here we go. Why don't we go have some fun? Yes, let's do that. Uh, this will be probably the fastest. I should know, the casino would have been. Alright, I won! Yeah, this is not the same as last time. How about we take a rest somewhere? We should. So, my calamity is really gone. Yes, I see no trace of it whatsoever. She seems kind of down for some reason. She was looking around earlier too. Are things going okay with that patron of yours? He seems rather pleased with me. I imagine he wants to continue using my services. Well, you do have a certain charm about you. I do? Because I'm certainly not aware of it. Yeah, you give off this mysterious, bewitching sort of vibe. Now, that was a short one. What are you gonna do from here on out? I think it would be best to wait and observe how things develop. But is there really anything to observe at the moment? Well, that is true. However, I... She's acting kind of odd. What do you want? What do you want to do, Yagami-san? Personally, I want to keep seeing you. The, truly? That would be... wonderful. Amane-san, if my calamity sign is gone, does that mean I'm in the clear? Ah, well, how about that? I believe you shouldn't let your guard down just yet. Why is that? Because... Well, you never know when your calamity might return. Vigilant is of the utmost importance. What is she talking about? We should probably dig deeper into this. Uh, Mane-san, would you mind clarifying something? I thought my calamity was gone for good. <sighs> no, it is merely beyond my comprehension at the moment. You mean you can't tell? Hmm, it is as I feared. Not only did your sign of calamity vanish, but everyone else's has too. Ooh, their signs have all disappeared. What the heck? Earlier, I took a look at the patriarch of the rest of his group, yet witnessed nothing out of the ordinary. But not long afterward, I received word that one of his subordinates was stabbed by an enemy. What could poss- what could this possibly mean? Well, saying that the calamity signs went away would be slightly incorrect. It's that I no longer have the ability to see them. <gasps> Are you going to do a Spider-Man 2 thing right now? Wait, you lost your powers? Yeah. Not permanently. This has happened occasionally in the past. Mm. And it always seemed to, and it always seemed to occur when I was faced with a major obstacle. Hmm. Any idea what that is? Yeah. I'm afraid not. Work is going well in my personal life. My personal life is also very fulfilling. So nothing's weighing on your mind. Hi. Correct. Yeah, you still can't see the signs. I wonder what's causing this. It seems I cannot discern that either. 
Ah, this was a short one. Just overall. Yagami-san. Now, Yagami-san, the time has come for me to depart. There's so much work to be done. Okay, but I thought you couldn't see the calamity signs anymore. Can you still work like that? Mm. I suppose you have a point. Well, in any case, I'll walk you to your meeting spot. Thank you for spending time with me today, Yagimi-san. I had a wonderful time. And that's the final before the final, right? The penultimate. Glad to hear it. I hope you feel better soon. Hi. Conversing with you certainly helps. It's strangely relaxing. Well, I'm here for you anytime. Alright, Simugi-san. Let's get this show on the road. Huh? Hey, you. Is there a problem? Ah? That's what I'd like to know. Anyway, you ready, Simugi-san? Hi. I am. Farewell, Yagami-san. Who? Whoa, look at you. Hmm? Hmm? Is that guy... watching me? Ah. He certainly looked like something, that's for sure. Okay, so with all that being said, I think it's time to... go about all of this. Ah. Now we'll wait for Mane-san to call back first. Alright, that was the Mane, so oh my god. Honda, hi. So I done goofed and I started a few of the... But yeah, as I was saying, I done goofed and started a few of the girls of uh, their final scenes, not knowing that that's what they would lead to. So now is a good time as any to go ahead and start going through everybody and see who will I choose as my number one. And of course this is separate from my real life number one, so... <laughs> so let's see. We have Sana, we have Tsukino, we have Amane, and then we have Nanami. So, hmm... I, I've been trying to think about it this whole time while, the, while I was redoing everything up until now, but I think for... The person we're going to start with first as the girl at the bottom, but not the one that I hate because I feel like it's important to make that in distinction. But the one that I will be the least likely to date out of these four would probably be Sana first. Yeah, so I'll explain after we get done with her, with, with her last scene. So yeah. But alright, um, Yagami-san! Oh, I think I know what I'll do. I think for here, I will also just put up the parts that I know that I did, so that way I don't have to worry about anything like that, so yeah. Yagami-san, listen to this! It seems that Kabata-san had a change of heart. It was just, I was just notified that he sent my agency an apology letter. Huh, never saw that coming. That's good. Yes, but... The manager still won't let up. He says I need to be way more careful from now on. Have you figured out your response to him? Yeah, thanks to you. After what happened, my mind is all made up. Love is a powerful force that does more than drive my music. It reflects the way I live, and I won't hide that from anyone. Not for my bosses, not even for my fans. Otherwise, my songs would lose their meaning. I understand. Do you know, do be aware that your manager might not see eye to eye with you, though. Yes, that's why I plan on negotiating with him, as you mentioned before. With my newly completed song, that is. Ah, so it's ready at long last. Yes. I'd like to hear that sometime. Maybe after my hint magic hears it first. <laughs> Wish me luck. All right. Whoa! Wh wh why are all these people just standing in a straight line right here? What? Huh? <laughs> That's weird. Ah. Huh. Oh. Is 
Sana. So I finally talked to my manager. And how'd it go? Well, as you can guess, he certainly wasn't too thrilled at first. But then I showed him my new song and wow, he fell in love with it instantly. Like he was totally floored. Nice. And you know what else he said? That it would be a shame if the no dating policy was going to stifle my creativity. So he told me he negotiated with the president of the company. Isn't that great? Yeah, that's incredible. Hmm. Here's hoping everything goes smoothly. Thank you. I'll do everything I can on my part. Alright, I believe Sana is now on the map. But let me see. Because if not, then we just have to wait for another one of her messages before we can continue. Yeah, she's not here. So we just gotta wait. Oh, here we go. We got the message. Uh, Yagami-san, when's the next time you're free? There's something I need to confess. We can meet up whenever it's good for you. Then, would it be okay if I head over tonight? That's fine. Should I just wait at the office then? Yes, please. But yeah, I gave her an outfit as a gift. Uh, we already saw that already, so it's fine. Nah, I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hi, Sada. Sorry to keep you waiting. No worries. Here. Have a seat. Hi. Thank you. So, you mentioned you had something important to talk over with me. Sorry. I'm... sorry. I don't think I can just yet. Then why don't we talk about something else first? And how's your latest single? What's that all about? I may have said it before, but it's a love song. More specifically, a song about one-sided love. Inspired by true events, maybe? Hi. It, that's right. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing to think this will actually be released to the public. <laughs> How is that manager of yours? I'm glad you worked things out. <laughs> yep. Turns out all I needed was to take some time and start out how I felt. After talking to him for a little bit and sharing what I was going through, he said he understood. Since he really values the integrity of my music, he said he tried to negotiate the no dating policy with the people up top. And that's a very considerate boss you've got there. Hi. Yep, gotta work hard for his sake too. Alright, here we go. Yagami-san. Alright, Yagami-san. I think I'm ready for that big talk now. I'm all ears, Sano-chan. Okay, deep breaths, girl. Deep breaths. ことばに適なかった気持ちがあるんです。矢神さん、何度も会ううちに私の中であなたのことがとても大きな存在になっていました。矢神さん、あなたのことが好きです。だから私を<笑> I had a feeling she liked me, but to come right out and say it... So, will you give me an answer? I'm sorry, but... Ah... Uh, I have to say no. It pains me to say this, but I'm kind of already in a relationship with my job. So what? What do you mean? Things are really hectic because of this case I'm working on. Lives are on the line, and so I can't really think about romance. So this I see. Sorry I sprang that on you out of nowhere. Ah, it's a oh man. It's tough saying no. No worries. I'm sorry too. Well, I guess that's it then. 
Uh, but it's more important to be honest than to just say yes to someone to- Oh no! Now I feel terrible. But I made the right choice. Ah. Wow. They really hit you in the gut with that one, don't they? Ooh. Ah, oh, but okay, yeah. So, time to explain my reasoning for putting Sana in last among the four. But, yeah. So, the most obvious... Oh, wait. I think it's only appropriate to put this on again. There we go. But, the elephant in the room. There is a 15 year age gap between her and Yagami. And, uh... I know that for... Since we're all adults, it's like, you do what you guys want, but... The age gap, to me personally, is still too big to be comfortable with. Like, if you're up in that higher range, then probably around five years would be a good limit. Because at that point, you'll have people with brains that are at different stages of development. Because, as far as I'm aware, it doesn't really fully mature until you're at least 25, but don't quote me on that. I don't have any sources, I just remember hearing that a long time ago, but I'm not sure if that's actually true. So, I would love to know if that is true in the comments down below though. But, with that being said, with disregarding the age gap between Sana and Yagami, just in general, I feel like that wouldn't be an appropriate relationship between the two of them in the first place as well. Because, yeah. There's also that kind of like shift in power dynamic at play as well. Because one is so much more older, one is so much more younger, that it's hard to really feel like that it'll be a good relationship just from starting out. That might not be the, that might not be the case in actuality, but that is a genuine concern, especially when you're thinking about how relatives will feel about that and close friends. But I will say that I did like Sana's personal arc throughout this entire throughout her entire storyline of her wanting to be a singer and reaching people with her music and how even though there are people who will try to do harm to her <laughs> that she does still want their support because they are important fans to her which is kind of also questionable at the same time because you know they try to hurt her and all that but she is a really sweet girl, so I won't fault her for any of that. But in this case, when stacked up against the other three, she just kinda doesn't make the cut against them for me personally. And I don't think she would fit for Yagami, like I said. So yeah. Uh, that's all my reasoning, and think about it now, I haven't done any of those kind of talks after doing Tsukino. Tsukino? Or Amane as well. Amane. So, but it's okay, I think, because there's really not too much to talk about, and if there is, I'll be sure to bring it up at the end of their stuff too. So, now that we have solidified our number four, ooh, sorry, and so where does that put the other three? So, who will get spot number three? So, number three, girl. The number third spot will go to. So this is why things are about to get messy because third place was somebody else, but now it's Kido. Yeah. <laughs> um, thanks for your help today, Yagami-san. I just got back from my interview. And how'd it go? Of course, I was nervous at first, but I think I really hit it off with the interviewer by the end. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, as soon as I started talking about drawings and anime, the conversation just kept flowing. I probably should have been more serious, but it was because I felt really comfortable. I even laughed a couple times. I hope I was okay. But you clearly communicated your expectations, right? I think I did. Then you'll just have to wait and see what they say. Alright. I haven't heard anything back yet. Hmm. 
Don't draw too much on it. Worrying won't change anything, you know? That's true. I can think of what to do next after they reject me. Well, there's no point getting depressed, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you're right. Uh, just in case, I'm gonna start with... Well, for what I'll put... I'll append the rest of this stuff to the respective sections, just in case. But if I but if I don't have to worry about it, then I'll just keep it as is. Alright. This should be Tsukino-san. Oh. Yagibi-san, I got a call from the company. What did they say? Well... They hired me! I'm in! Oh, congratulations! But I'll be working as a contractor for a year until I become a full-time employee. Apparently that's how everyone starts off. Okay, and are you going through with it? I'm honestly a little hesitant, but I think I'll be okay in the end. It seems like I'll get the chance to be a full-timer as soon as they acknowledge my work. So I have to give it my very best shot. I'm proud of you, Sekino Shan. You finally got where you wanted to be. I'm sure you'll do great. Yagami san, I have something important to tell you. Can I borrow some of your time? Sure. Yeah. Actually, Sukino's making me believe that I don't what I'm worrying about is actually not true. Then can I go to your office tonight? That's fine. Ooh. Uh yeah. Hey, remember that outfit I gave I brought you? This might be a good opportunity to try it out, right? Hmm. It's a bit much, but you're right. Now's as good a time as any. Score! Out, then I'll see you tonight. Oh, okay. This is all, these are all still continuations. Oh no. <laughs> Is it? It's Akito! Oh, yes, there's a little bow tie in the back. Oh? Oh, yeah, this is really good for her. I think out of everybody's, I like Tsukino's alternate outfit the most here. Does she also has the most outfits out of anybody? I'm pretty sure. Hey, you wore it. Well, what do you think? Is it weird? No way. It looks great on you. <laughs> you think so? I feel a bit awkward, but I like how it looks. yagami -sa. Thanks for meeting with me, Yagami-san. Of course. Care to have a seat? <laughs> ah, she has PTSD. <laughs> What's wrong? Yeah. Nothing. I'm just a little flustered. Oh? Well... Make yourself comfortable first. Hi! Right! I'll do that. Alright. We gotta take a picture right now. We should take a picture while we're at it. Hi! Okay. For memory's sake. Oh. Okay. Alright, let's see. Congratulations on the job. Again, congratulations on the job. Thank you. It's all because I talked it over with you. Don't second guess yourself. You're the one who did all the hard work. Oh. Well, I don't want to overestimate myself either, but thanks. It's a year-long contract position, so I'm going in with the mentality that I'm still being tested. You'll be fine. Just focus on doing the best job you can. Hi. Yeah, you bet I will. Did you tell your folks about the new job? Hi. Yes. And? How'd they take it? Were they mad? Actually, it seems like Ryu Zenji-san won them over. Huh? Ryu Zenji-san did? Hi. Yes. He visited my parents and asked them to support me. And when they hesitated to agree, he practically got down on his knees and begged. Wow. He really went that far. Yeah. 
I guess they couldn't say no to the heir of the Ryuzenji group. So now they're on my side, at least for the time being. I'm really happy to hear that. Oh, by oh, by the way. Hi. Y yes. What's this big thing you had to tell me? Oh, about that. <laughs> Are you alright? Hi. Yeah. Now that we talked it all out, I'm ready to share what's on my heart. <gasps> Wait. <laughs> but I'm still super nervous. Even more than I was at that interview. Don't worry. I'll wait as long as it takes. This is a surprise. Sorry for springing this on you out of nowhere. But I felt like I'd lose my chance if I didn't say something. And I just couldn't let that happen. <laughs> I'm just following your lead, you know? Stop overthinking and just go for it. Isn't that your take on things? Why me of all people, though? At some point... I realize I had feelings for you, but unlike me, you're a free spirit who lives by their own rules. And I really admire that about you. Thank you. I guess I need to give her an answer. Oh boy. Then let's be together. Huh? You, you really mean it? Yeah, I feel the same way about you. I've been wanting to spend more time together too. Get to know you deeper. <laughs> Yagami-san! Oh! I got myself a dream job and a dreamy boyfriend. Is this really happening? <laughs> Maybe this is all in my head and I'll wake up all of a sudden. If that's the case, then I don't want you to wake up either. Or I don't want to wake up either. Yagami-san! Yagami-san! You make me so happy, I could cry. Then let's be happy together. I do have one request, though. Huh? huh? What is it? I want you to call me by my first name. Huh? You do? Why? You don't feel comfortable? Yeah. But no, it's not that. I mean, I guess I could try. Takayuki-san. The Takayuki-san? <laughs> I guess it'll take some getting used to. <laughs> right? Ah. Well, let's keep in touch. Hi. Yeah, I'll be waiting for you. Are you gonna keep this a secret from Yosuke? Uh... For now, I think that would be best. Hey, hope he doesn't ask me to investigate when he finally figures out you're, you've got a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he just might. And what about you, Zenji? Uh, mm, so I guess I'll have to just break it to him. Yeah, that might be a good idea. I'm sure not looking forward to it though. Hope he doesn't start bawling his eyes out. Well, bye for now. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, looks like Sakino-chan and I are official. I hope we can enjoy a long-lasting relationship together. Ah, uh, 
After you start dating, you can use the message app to invite your girl out on dates. Oh, you can go to La March and buy her from something fancy. Okay. So this is what's going on in that case. Ah. Ooh, I'll have to... I'll have to move Tsukino over to where I actually want her in the rankings because because I wanted to do this where I go through each of the girls one by one in the order that I was thinking about ranking them. Oh! I misinterpreted the trophies. Okay, you don't have to say yes to all of the girls. You only have to say... You only have me to get them to confess. And that's what it is. Oh, in that case, I don't want to say yes to sakito san when I don't know for sure if she's the one yet. So, let me... Let me go back, actually. Ah, it's too late, though. And the autosave is too far back. Alright, so now that we're back here, because past me accepted, thinking that... You have to say yes to get all the trophies, but no, you do not. You just need to get them to confess to you, so yeah. We believe in monogamous relationships here on this channel, so <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Sakito-chan. I'm flattered, but I don't think we can work. <gasps> what? Why not? I'm in a dangerous and unstable business. I have no idea what the future has in store for me. But you still have your whole life ahead of you. Besides... You have a true English gentleman waiting to take your hand. I don't think you should be dating a guy like me. Uh, so no. mm. Then I guess we weren't meant to be. <laughs> Looks like I didn't make the cut. And here I was, thinking I passed the most important interview of all. Sorry. Well... Bye for now. I do feel bad for Sikino-chan, but that was the right thing to do. Oh, Man. Yeah, alright, time, time to explain myself. <laughs> That's what it feels like here, to be honest. Um, let's see. Yeah, this one. Yeah. So Sikino! So funnily enough, she was originally supposed to be the second place girl on my little rankings here, but she got bumped down to third because of how it turned out towards the very end. So yeah. But that kind of shows that for me personally, it all depends on what I know about them because well, when it comes to Sakino, she probably has like the strongest character overall, I'd say. Because she's cute, you know her for the longest thanks to the side cases. Her art is amazing. I really like just in general the fact that she's just trying to figure out how she wants to live her life. But especially away from the rulings of her parents. And especially from the arranged marriage that she has as well. Because that shows a level of independence that she wants for herself, which I really do respect the most, I would say. I don't know. It's, I'm just trying to think, and just overall, she's just a really solid person. But uh, it's, I can't put I can't find the words. I'm sorry. You would think that because of that, she would end up being last, since I can't explain why I wouldn't want to date her by comparison to everybody else. But I know that I would do it. I would go for her more than I would for Sana. Yeah. I can't articulate my thoughts very well for Sikino, unfortunately, which is the most unfortunate part, I'd say. But I guess overall, if I just start from the beginning, um, I like her character a lot. We know we know her for the longest, thanks to the side cases. I really like the fact that she is trying to get her own independence, I guess her own autonomy, from away from her parents, away from her arranged marriage, and trying to just find out what she wants to do with her life, because that's a scary prospect for everybody. That's something that everybody can relate to. Especially if you're trying to be a con- well, not a content creator, but as just a general creative creator. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. And just, yeah. She just doesn't resonate with me as much as number two and number one does as well. And I guess now that's just between Amane and, um, Nanami now, right? 
That's also the main reason why she ended up getting bumped down to third and fourth place with Sana. They don't resonate with me personally as much. And imagine them trying to be with Yagami is okay at best. As, but for Sekiro, I can see it more readily than Sana, but I still can't quite see it with Yagami in general. I guess in that case, Mafuyu takes the cake in that, so she's the real winner here, but <laughs> but alright. Let's go ahead and... No, don't do that. Not decorate. So let's go ahead and start with the second place girl. Though so this will be a cutback to the past, technically, so yeah. So who is second place? Well, that would be... Amane-san! Yagami-san, sorry to worry you today. At least our date was enjoyable. I agree. Are you feeling any better? I am, thanks to you. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you, okay? You have my thanks. Spending time with you like this is quite enjoyable. I hope we can do it more often, Yagami-san. Yeah, I agree. Let's see if this calamity decides to come back. For sure. Okay. Now we just gotta wait one more time. Wait. Oh. Huh. Wait, I didn't think about that. <laughs> I just kind of replied back to her instantly. Okay, but that's fine. We can, um, do it this way. So while I wait... Never mind, she just messaged back. Nagami-san, are you available to meet me right now? What's going on? Nothing in particular. I just wanted to see you. I wonder what's going on. This is pretty unusual for her. Sure. Thank you. Where should we meet up? I feel bad for imposing on you, so why don't I head over to your office? Okay, I'll be waiting. To my office? Oh. Interesting. Let's go ahead and get and summon everybody else. Oh snap, wait. Whoops, I'm stupid. <laughs> no, do not rest up. Oh, that just changed your time. Okay, now that it's daytime, let's uh, see what Amani-san wants. I would have liked for it to stay nighttime. Well, I guess I'm, I'll wait till Amani-san gets here. Oi. Don't mean to barge in on ya, but... Oh! Oh, it's this guy. Okay. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And you are? Hmm. You don't have to excuse my abruptness, but I need to speak with you for a moment. Is this work-related? Did you set up an appointment? No, I didn't feel that it was necessary. I noticed you from outside, so I thought I'd come in for a quick chat. Wait, I think I know this guy. That's Amade-san's patron, if I'm not mistaken. What? Is this a bad time? Well, I do have some very important matters to attend to. Then I'll make this as quick and painless as possible. Provided you take a moment to clean out your ears and listen. Uh, fine. Well, what do you want? First off, let me introduce myself. I'm Takeru Ushimata, also known as the obstinate ox of Kamurocho. Eh? You don't say... Unless I'm totally mistaken, an ox is pretty much a cow, right? Hello. Um, this might sound irrelevant, but would you happen to have a cow tattoo on your back? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. It's a magnificent one, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would. Anyway, well, there we go. What do you want from me, or with me? You don't need to stop seeing a money on eh? Huh? We're currently engaged in a minor scuffle, you see. Yet my men have suffered countless setbacks and injuries. Now, Mane-san's abilities have certainly helped us a great deal. But since she hasn't been able to see anything lately, we've been experiencing quite a bit of trouble. I'm aware of that. Now, why do you want to keep me away from her? Didn't she tell you? About how she can't get readings whenever she's deeply concerned? Yeah, she did. But she doesn't seem to know what the root of it is, though. Well, I would think it is very obvious. Fairly obvious. It is you, buddy. Mm -hmm. Huh? That girl started falling for you, but she just don't realize it yet. 
That's what got her thrown for a loop. No, that can't be it. I need her to get her powers back immediately. Otherwise, we might not have a future left to read. And while I understand she's having love issues, this is a matter of life and death, at least to us. So could you, uh, stop seeing her from now on? Well, pay you, of course. Two million yen. I have it all in cash. I understand the conditions, but unfortunately for you, I can't agree to those terms. Oh? Now, if that's all, I'd like you to leave. Ooh! What? You know, I'm not sure if you caught the subtext, but this is an offer you can't refuse. <sighs> yeah! Considering how many lives are on the line, I won't be holding back. Now say goodbye to Amade-san for good. Ugh. Damn. Yagami-san! Yagami-san! Amane-san! What happened to you? Hidoi. Why are you all... Let's just say your patron has a problem with me. Sonna. No. He thinks I'm making you lose your powers. <laughs> what? Yeah. He's saying I'm the major obstacle that's blocking your third eye. And apparently this guy Ushimata? He's nicknamed after a freaking cow. I am aware of that. Then, you mind if we talk for a bit? Amane-san, you knew about the Patriarch's name this whole time, didn't you? Hi. I did. And I apologize. Did it never cross your mind that he could be the cow calamity? Hi. Actually, I have been considering that. And I came to such a conclusion fairly early on. Then. Why didn't you tell me? Yeah. I wanted to, but... Don't worry, I get it. This is your first regular, after all. You couldn't risk losing such an important customer over some calamity that couldn't even be verified. That's not it! Am I wrong? Well, it is true that I wanted to take good care of my very first patron. However, if he truly is a cow calamity, then it means I was the one who brought this disaster into your life. Well, when you put it like that... That's why as long as you and I continue to meet, the calamity will never go away. If anything, it'll grow even worse. The closer we get, the more dangerous your situation will be. So that's why you kept saying the calamity was getting bigger. But I didn't want to admit that. I just... couldn't. Before I knew it, you'd become such a huge part of my life. I want to keep seeing you. Truly, I do. But doing so will only bring you more misfortune. That is the source of my troubles. And thus, the reason my power has dwindled down to nothing. I... had no idea. I'm so sorry, Yakumi-san. What turns out the real calamity... ...was me. Amane-san. Please, excuse me. I'll be heading home now. We should probably stop seeing each other, for good. You can't be serious. Am I really going to let it end like this? No, I refuse. Ah, okay. With just this, actually, this is bumping up Amane up into... second spot. But let's see as we keep going. Oh man, I've seen Kamurocho in the dark for so long that I forgot that there was even a daytime to begin with. <laughs> so I can stop hanging around my office for now. Because no way is she or is the next event for Amane-san going to be around here. Actually, let me try texting her too. Yeah.
Hey. Did you get your powers back? No response. I know she just... She just... I know she just... I know she should... What? I know she suggested that we stay away from each other, but I'll try contacting her, contacting her again later. Amade-san, how's, every, how's everything lately? Really? She still won't talk to me. Okay, there we go. We can finally message her again. Uh, Amade. Amane-san? Is everything okay? Damn, she's really walled herself off. Ah, time to wait again, huh? Okay, we didn't have to wait that long this time. Amane-san? Please, I just want to make sure nothing bad's happened to you. I've been worried. We gotta reply at least. Sorry. Amane-san! Are you okay? Can we talk now? Very well. Meet me at the usual spot then? The bowling place by the theater square? I'm glad I at least got something out of her. Hopefully she shows up. Okay, here we are. In front of the bowling spot. Uh, can I make it there first? Okay, I did. I apologize for being so late, and for failing to respond on top of that. It's okay. I'm just glad to see you, Amane-san. Yagami-san. Yagami-san. How about we find somewhere to sit down and talk for a bit? Alright. Hmm. So, the obstinate ox of Kamurocho was a calamity this whole time. How appropriate. Aye. Yes, and I'm the one who brought him to your doorstep. Ridiculous, is it not? How I would keep meeting you, we're hoping to repel your calamity, or at least a portion of it. <gasps> Yet, because of my selfish actions, I ended up bringing him right to you. But if it weren't for your predictions, we never would have met in the first place. That may be so. Come to think of it. If Cow Calamity's been keeping us together this whole time, hasn't it? I'll have to shake his hand when I meet it. Or, huh, I guess. Yagami -san. You're so positive, Yagami-san. How are you doing with the Calamity signs and all? Oh. Nothing has changed. I am still unable to perceive them. Which means you're still worried about something. Oh. I just don't understand. Oh, I thought everything would go back to normal if I cut off contact with you. I guess it wasn't that easy. Yagami-san. Yagami-san? If you, you know if we continue to meet like this, your life might be forfeit once again. If a calamity does appear, I'll just have to find a way around it. Like I always do. But this is not a matter you can simply leave to fate. Right. It's my job to put these kinds of problems to rest. So rest assured, I'll be just fine. Are you sure? Yeah. I'll just have to take the bull by the horns on this one. Hey, when you said we shouldn't see each other anymore, were you serious? Hi. I was. As, I, as our paths intertwine, so does your misfortune down, draw near. At this rate, I cannot guarantee the safety of your life. That is why I suggest such drastic measures. But if your powers come back, Ushimata won't have anything to complain about. Right? Mm. I'm sure if that was the case, then yes, he'd be fine. But what if my visions never return? Then what would I do? She seems really stressed over this. Would your concern really go away if we stopped seeing each other? Perhaps, if given enough time. But I cannot say for sure. Is that really what you want, though? <laughs> That's difficult to answer. Well, to put it bluntly, it sucks not being able to see you. 
Why do you say that? Well, that's just how I feel right now. Think about it. We spent all this time opening up to each other, learning about each other, having fun. Losing that all of a sudden would really hurt. But then, what should we do? Why not what we've been doing? We encounter a calamity, we deal with it, we move on. So far, that's been a pretty good system for us. But, surely you realize what we're dealing with? Yeah, and there's nothing we can't handle. After all, we're partners. The cow's got nothing on us. Yagami-san, or do you not trust me? Oh, come on now. You know I do. In any case, now that you understand the source of your troubles, you shouldn't have to worry any longer. Instead, you can finally have some Amade time. Focus on being yourself and doing what you want to do. You know? You're amazing, Yagami-san. I don't know how you do it, but you are. Truly. Nah, I'm always like this. Stressing is bad for your health. Looks like things are back to normal between us now. Well, wanna get going? I'll walk you halfway. Hi. Okay. Alright, if anything weird happens from here on out, you be sure to let me know. Huh? Um... Amane-san? I realized something while talking with you today. Perhaps there is a shortcut, if you will, to solving this matter. And what do you mean? Something that should solve all my concerns at once, but it requires determination. I'm listening. Alright, I promise you you'll listen all the way through. Of course. Oh! Yagami-san. わたしの力がなくなっても構いません。これからもずっとあなたと一緒にいたい。やっぱり私、ヤガミさんのことが好きみたいです。だから私の特別なパートナーになってほしい。You want me to be your... special partner? Yes, and I don't mean that in the workplace aspect either. I figured as much. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Amane's number two now. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can return those feelings. Your confession makes me happy and all, don't get me wrong. I'm just not in a position to be your full-time man. Is that so? Then I suppose I should say no more. I hope you're not too disappointed. No, I'm not. In fact, I think my concern is finally resolved. I'll no longer be troubled by you, so... Farewell. For good. Yeah, unfortunately, this is how it's supposed to be. Oh man. Now I imagine her powers have to come back after this, right? Ah. I hope they do. Uh, so yeah, I guess you know what that means. That means that leaves Nanami as my first choice. Which is also the same case for my last playthrough as well. So funny how that works out, huh? But okay, for continuity's sake though, I need to do Sakino. So, she is my third choice. Oh, you know what? I realized I'd never explained why Mane is my second choice, huh? And why that would leave... well, Nanami can wait until the very end. But yeah. So for Amane, let me go inside and put on some music for this. For her, it's the fact that she really just wants to help people. And using her powers, even just, which I get the feeling that even she didn't have them. Which one would be good here? I need to switch for Imane. But yeah, so ignore this ring for now. 
But for Amane-san, the thing with her is the fact that she... What I think she's probably the most attractive one to me out of the bunch. And then the second is the fact that she is a very selfless person with how she is. When she got her powers, she just, without hesitation, just went for, whatchamacallit, helping people as much as she could. And then even towards the end, the reason why she ended up leaving third place and going to second place is the fact that she was willing to give up what she wanted, which was a relationship with Yagami, because she thought that would be the right answer and especially the right way to keep him safe. So, yeah. Is there anything else that I want to talk about in this line? Um, not really, no. The times that we spent together were cute, but I will say that her storyline, by comparison to everybody else, is pretty weak, by comparison. It's not as personal as, like, say, Sana or Tsukino, and, or Nanami, so all of them, actually, so, yeah. We're just trying to work on a case together, or a avoiding a calamity together, and we just get to know each other during the process, and that's it. Even though she has that mark against her, I do find her character just kind of fascinating and just generally attractive overall. And probably if I hadn't, on yeah, yeah, probably if I hadn't met my current girlfriend, I probably would have chosen Amani first, which is the thing, huh? So yeah. That being said, let's continue. Let's see if we can't fix things for Nanami. Nanami. Oh wait, I said it right the first time. Nanami-san, I'm sorry about today. Of course she wouldn't answer. I should report to Yuko-san what happened. This is bad, Yuko-san. Nanami-san found out. What did she find out? That we totally set her up. That was you in disguise? Everything. What? Why? I was perfectly in character. There was a poster for a theater production you were appearing in. Nanami-san saw that. Ah! No! Ah, I'm so sorry. That's, that's totally my mistake. I didn't think that poster would be in Kamurocho at all. You see, there was an injury during rehearsal and the show was put on hiatus. I thought the posters were collected, you know? I'm so sorry. No, it's my fault too. I'm the one that agreed to all this. Don't worry, I'll explain it all to Nan Nanami, Nanami and tell her it was my doing. Ooh boy, okay. Everything is going down with everybody. Alright, let's try again. I wonder if Yuko-san contacted Nanami-san after all. I should send her a message just in case. You might have heard from Yuko-san, but I'm the one that agreed to your plan, so I'm the one at fault. Nothing. I should contact her. It's no use. I'm not getting anything from her. Neither am I. I suppose we have to wait this one out. I think you're right. Hmm. I want to apologize about before. Can you meet me tonight? I'll be waiting at the usual place at Theater Square. I'd really like it if you came. Oh no. I think because it's not nighttime, I can't. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I can't meet her if it's not nighttime, but I think I know a way that I can get around this. Okay, so this is the beginning of <laughs> the second recording. So right before I try to do stuff with Amane and Sugino, but this will be the only way that I can get Nanami's final scene without having to progress the story. Alright, here we go. I'll be sure to finish this on my own later on, but we'll do this now for the video. Yoga me son! Big trouble! Huge trouble! What's going on? Why are you panicking? Something really, really bad is happening. Can you calm down and tell me what's going on? It's about Nanami. Nanami? Nanami? Stan, what's happening? 
A strange man is trying to take her somewhere. What? My god, that's like the police, but they didn't come in time. Could it be that stalker that tried to kidnap Nanami-san before? But I thought he was arrested. I don't know. It's a man I've never seen. The police won't even listen to me. Where was it? The Gaichi Alley, in the alleyway behind Jungle Boy. Please, come quickly. Okay. I need to go over there, and fast. Oh. You ran for it, Yagami. No. <laughs> She's gone. Shit. Was I too late? Yagami-san! Yagami-san? What? What's going on? Na Nanami-san. Quick. Where's the attacker? Eh? What do you mean? Weren't you the one being attacked? I heard you were injured and couldn't even move. Eh? Huh? You did got the cops, didn't you? No, there must be some mistake. I heard you were being kidnapped. That's why I came running for you. Eh? What? Wait a minute. Masaka. Don't tell me. Did you go trick us both? Oh. That girl. I can't believe she did this again. Wait just a moment, please. I wanted to apologize to you face to face. I'm sorry for what I did. Honestly, I don't even care anymore. Are you sure? Because I don't want our relationship to end this way. Then let me ask you something. Why would you betray my trust like that? I poured out my heart to you. Gave me the one chance I'd never give anyone else. And what did you do? Well, I... You played it off like it was one of your little side cases. I know. And I apologize. Stop apologizing and just tell me what you're really after. Okay. What I'm really after is you, Nanami-san. What? All I've ever wanted to do was to get to know you better. To have a good time together and share some beautiful memories. That's the only reason I did such an idiotic thing. This isn't another trick you're playing on me, is it? Of course not. Please, believe me when, I'm, when I say I'm telling the truth. But how can I? After all that's happened? I'm sorry. I need time to sort things out. If you walk away from here, I'm assuming this is the last time we'll see each other. Right? <sighs> Maybe it will be the last time we see each other. I can't really say for sure. Then, what can I do to change your mind? How about letting go of me, for starters? Just let me ask you one last thing. What? How do you really feel about me, Nanami-san? You said you weren't interested in romance, but we still managed to hit it off real smooth. It even got to the point where we went out drinking. No investigations, no pretenses. Just the two of us having a good time. And it looked like you were happy whenever we were together. I know I felt that way about you. You really want to know how I feel? I feel like heading to the office. My job might, be break, might break my spirit sometimes, but at least it doesn't break my heart. I see. Then I guess it's truly goodbye. Sayonara. Yeah, I guess it is. Oh. Huh? You go. Are you sure you're okay with this, Natalie? Want to end on such a sour note? You keep stuffing your emotions away and burying yourself in work in an attempt to block the rest of the world out. Didn't you tell me you were going to make the next move when Yagami-san invited you out? Are you sure you don't need to tell him what you felt back then? You'll never change at this rate. I can see you becoming a bitter old lady, dragging her past around wherever she goes. Is that really how you want to end up? Because good guys like Yagami-san don't come around very often, you know? 
Stein. Yakimi-san, there is one thing I need to communicate to you. What's that? Brace yourself! Ow! Oh my! What was that for? There we go. Four girls revealed their true feelings. <laughs> you know, that actually hurt. More than any punch I've ever taken. What? You want me to apologize or something? Nah, I deserve that. So, uh, where, are, where are we? Are you going to be honest with me from now on? I feel like after all this, it would be better to reject her for what we did, but I feel like that would also just like really, ah, uh, play around with her feelings, because she she's trying to give us another chance, and then we's like, you know what? No, I can't go out with you. It's like ah, uh, but I said this earlier. It's like you shouldn't say yes to someone just out of pity. Wait, did I say that? No, I don't know if I did. But yeah, you shouldn't just say yes out of any kind of pity. If you don't like the person, you shouldn't go out with them if they confess to you. As much as I want to say yes, I feel like I need to say no for Nanami. Well, in the future, I've already rejected Amane-san, so... <laughs> of course, I promise not to keep anything between us. After all, we love each other, don't we? Yeah, and I can see how sincere you are. But if you betray me again, it'll be getting much worse in a slap. Don't worry, I'll make sure that won't ever happen. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Nanami. Um... No, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'll leave you two lovebirds alone. Enjoy! Wow, Yuka? Yeah, she saved all the drama for the final act. Well, Yagami-san, I know we've been through a lot. And now, I want to start fresh. How about we just go by our first name? Sure, I think that's a good way to do it. Alright then. Takayuki? -san. Takayuki? <laughs> it's nice to be so open with one another. It's nice to be so open with one another, right, Nanami? Hmm, I think it sounds more natural to call each other like this. Well, I'll be seeing you, Takayuki. Don't forget to message me, okay? I won't forget. Taking responsibility, huh? I think I can handle that. I definitely won't be leading you on any more wild goose, case goose chases, that's for sure. Ah, by the way, I will also point out, there is no penalty to saying yes to all of them. Yeah. There is one line in Nanami's, or I think in all of the confessions, where if you say yes, where it's like, wait, but what about all my other girlfriends? But it's just a throwaway line, so it has no real consequence in the long run. But, it's time to head back to the office and give my final thoughts on Nanami, as well as just every single one of these girlfriends if I need to. It's okay.
Oh yeah, right, this is the song that I chose for Nanami. Alright, so. Yeah. I've said this already during her storyline, but it bears repeating here at the end too. But the fact that Yagami went... Or... Well, the thing is that he didn't feel... Right, he felt guilty for doing that thing with Yuko. He tried to convince Nanami to hang out with him more often. So I won't hold it against him too much, personally, but it still was wrong to try to force her to move past her trauma this specific way. Because if she's not ready to move past her trauma with her past relationships on her own terms, then that's just that. The like Yuko pointed out at the end of her story, she was just using her work as an excuse to try to bury that pain instead of trying to confront her head on. But that being said, Yagami coming into her life really did do wonders for her. And Yagami was very clearly interested in getting to know Nanami and hanging out with her. More so than the other three girls, and even to an extent, Mafuyu. Which I feel like I'll save that point for later, actually. But yeah, back to that. If, realistically, they just had more time to just wait and, and let things play out naturally, then I feel like Nanami would have gotten past her drama, her PTSD of past relationships, more naturally by just spending time with Yagami. But no, because of the way that, because of Yuko trying to force things to rush it, things just got really messy and it happened the way that, the, that it did. But overall, it's because of the fact that Na Nanami reminds me of how, reminds me of my own girlfriend. That is the reason that I also chose her as well. And I brought this up at the end of Amane's little confession scene, her final storyline. That if I hadn't dated, dated my girl, current girlfriend now, that I would probably choose her. But yeah. And I will say that she is like right below Amane. Nanami and... Amane. She's, Nanami is right below her by just a little bit in terms of attractiveness, but I also find her really attractive too. So yeah, that's those two. And I guess now that was all that I really wanted to say. Overall, I even though the girlfriend content in this game was pretty in-depth, the characters were well written, and it did serve as a really nice addition overall for people who are into that type of stuff. It takes away from other characters for sure, mainly, and I was I wanted to bring it up earlier, but Mafuyu. How is she supposed to be the main love interest for Yagami when you have these girlfriends that you can do side content for? And that's exactly why I imagine Mafuyu doesn't get much development in terms of being with Yagami or just interacting with him just in general because they couldn't. If they did, then that would really defeat the purpose of the girlfriend system and would just make Yagami seem like a complete doofus, a complete scumbag because he's going behind Mafuyu's back to go out with all the other girls. Which again, he still can do and he does feel guilty for but that's just a story line like I said. So yeah, would this game have been better? without the girlfriend content, only if they had developed Mafuyu more as a love interest and gave her an active part in the story, then yes. But as it is now, then it's harmless, really. But I think that's everything that I want to say for all that regarding this. This was fun to do, especially the voice, though the headaches that I got when I was dealing with new audio settings and all of that is just ugh. I'm, I'm just gonna st I'm just gonna stick with what I know. They'll fix what ain't broke, right? Even if it would be easier to just have it embedded, my microphone embedded in the audio. But yeah, I just don't like the way that I sound to OBS. I just have to keep testing, probably. But I'll end this episode here because this is beefy. I am sorry. <laughs> I was not expecting to be at least an hour and a half, it seems like, of content for each of the girls. I hope you enjoyed of them or at least the ones that you came for. So yeah, uh, to give a final recap about my rankings, and especially my final ranking because that can be a little bit confusing with the way that I edit this, but it goes Sana, Tsukino, Tsukino, 
Amane, and then Nanami. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you made it this far. And I'm excited to see if you guys were right about your predictions about who I would choose. And hey, turns out I did end up choosing the same girl, right? <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you all in the next ones. Take care. Bye.